Spooky 2 Users Guide June 5, 2016 by David Burke Table of Contents Before we begin, 1 Important Advice, 2 System Requirements, 2 What You Get, 3 What's New, 4 The Spooky 2 Rife System, 5 Making Connections, 8 Spooky Remote, 11 Spooky Hand Cylinders, 13 Standard Electrodes, 14 Spooky Central, 14 Installing the Software, 15 Installing a Beta EXE, 42 Installing a Database, 45 Windows Warnings, 47 Testing and Configuration, 48 Treatment Choices, 49 Remote Mode, 54 Contact Mode, 55 Click on Chapter Title to go there, click on Back to Contents at the bottom of each page to return here Plasma Mode, 56 OK, Let's Rife, 57 JW, Killing, 75 JW, Healing, 76 TH, Killing Healing, 77 Spooky Spectrum Sweep, 78 Spooky Converge Sweep, 79 Morgellons Slime Mold Sweep, 80 Remote and Contact Modes, 81 Spooky Boost, 2.0 on Dual Remotes, 86 Foot Plates and Tens Pads, 91 Inverse Plus Sync, 95 The Spooky 2 Interface, 107 Menu Bar, 108 File Menu, 109 Create Frequency Set, 111 Create Carrier Sweep, 116 Create Spectrum Sweep, 118 Database Menu, 120 Click on Chapter Title to go there, click on Back to Contents at the bottom of each page to return here Edit in Notepad, 121 Global Menu, 125 Online Menu, 126 Utiles Menu, 128 Advanced Menu, 133 Help Menu, 136 Conditions and Database, 137 Program Options Pane, 139 Channel Data Web, 148 Status Bar, 151 Control Panel, 152 Biofeedback Scanning, 159 Wobbles and Feathering, 170 Waveform and Frequency, 175 Waveform and Offset, 180 Duty Cycle, 182 Understanding Spooky Remote, 184 Remote and Frequency, 185 Remote and Amplitude, 187 Click on Chapter Title to go there, Click on Back to Contents at the bottom of each page to return here Remote and Waveform, 187 Understanding Spectrum, 192 Formulas, 195 Multi-Lented Spooky 2, 196 Colloidal Silver, 196 Clark Zapper, 206 Pests and Molds, 207 How the Universe Works, 213 Speed, Space and Time, 217 How Rife Works, 218 Appendix A Terrain, 221 Appendix B Spectrum Story, 223 Appendix C Making Waves, 233 Appendix D Serial Numbers, 240 Thanks and Acknowledgements, 241 Precautions for Users, 242 Legal Notice and Disclaimer, 243 Spooky 2 Software License, 244 Click on Chapter Title to go there, click on Back to Contents at the bottom of each page to return here before we begin. Welcome to the new Spooky 2 Users Guide. This replaces both the 101 Users Guide and the manual, and takes the reader from setting up and testing a new Spooky 2 rig correctly to loading, running, and saving programs. We also examine Spooky 2's interface, explain the controls in plain language, and show how they can be used for maximum benefit. The guide has also been completely restructured. Practice now comes first, so that you can put Spooky 2 to use straight away. Then we dive deeper into the controls and underpinnings of the system. Next, we show you how Rife and Spooky 2 actually work, getting to grips with this is essential for effective program design. We also deal with other ways you can use Spooky 2 for health and home. Finally, we look at the big picture, the mind-blowing quantum laws that underlie our physical universe, how they dictate our lives and health, and how they relate to Spooky 2. However, the most important change of all must come from you, the Spooky 2 user. Despite the personal time and effort that went into creating the first edition of this guide and the Spooky 2 manual, I found that many people didn't read them, and asked a question on the Spooky 2 form instead. In some cases, this is due to illness, but in too many, let's be honest here, it's laziness. Answering such questions is a huge drain on Spooky Team resources. So, since this guide is now encyclopedic in scope, we expect you to play your part, and read it. In future, forum questions already fully answered by this guide will not receive a team response unless we're aware of extenuating to circumstances. Knowledge is power, but gaining it takes time and effort, viewers.
Unusually, my name appears on the front cover because I alone am responsible for all its contents, and the opinions and experiences recorded herein are mine alone, expressed on my own behalf and not that of any other member of the spooky team although it's all been checked by John White for technical accuracy so far. What I laughingly call government still allows me the basic human right of free speech. Now take control. And I salute you all with Goan Ari and Bothar Leet. Irish Gaelic meaning may your road rise with you. David Burke, December 2014 Back to Contents 1 Important advice for H Don't touch the generator controls unless you know what you're doing or you're being guided by tech support. The spooky to rife system is designed to be totally controlled by the software. 4-H drink pure water, lots of it. Ideally, you should drink from 6 to 8 pints daily, half of it before noon. This does two very important things it flushes toxins and dead organisms out of your body quicker, and it improves your electrical conductivity. HD don't keep your spooky 2 rig in your bedroom or general living area, the magnetic spooky remotes are so powerful that they sing when they're running frequencies in the human audio range. And it will eventually drive you crazy. If you can't put it into an unused room or space, line a cardboard box with foam or polystyrene and append it over the remote S. HI The Spooky Spectrum Sweep and Spooky Converge Sweep are intended for use only in the absence of a reliable diagnosis, not as a general panacea. Both these sweeps will kill all bacteria, pathogenic and beneficial. Prolonged continuous use may damage the immune system unless you supplement with natural probiotics using fermented foods such as sauerkraut kefir dairy and or water, kimchi, pickles, and the like. In no case other than an emergency should either of these sweeps be used continuously for more than 4-5 days. System Requirements PC Spooky 2 was originally designed for use with Windows XP, but it also runs on Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. USB 2.0 or greater is required for frequency generator connectivity. Mac Linux regrettably, there are no native Mac or Linux versions. We recommend you pick up a pre-owned Windows PC and dedicate it to Spooky 2. These can usually be bought for a very modest price. Since many of you will wish to try experiments with long run times, this may be a good idea anyway. Alternatively, you can use Bootcamp to create a Windows partition, or purchase virtualization software. You can download our helpful Spooky 2 inches Linux or Mac PDF guide here under useful documents. Back to contents to what you get Spooky 2-5M generator built from high quality components and optimized for Spooky 2. Unique wave cycle multiplication enables frequencies up to 25 mHz. Two damped wave from square and sinusoidal with configurable decay oscillations. New H-bomb wave form square and sinusoidal, plus colloidal silver, square harmonic, and lily. Spectral processing can transmit up to 1024 frequencies simultaneously with uniform amplitude. High voltage multiple spike injection into all waveforms to increase effectiveness. Enhance dual signal gate control. Software amplitude, offset, and phase angle control. Auto calibration, no adjustment necessary. Dual configurable amplitude and frequency wobble systems. Selectable wobble functions. Configurable automatic frequency transposition up or down with selectable harmonic generation functions. Direct entry of light wavelength in the database. Three types of sweep possible, carrier, spectrum, and linear. Global transport controls for multi-generator rigs. Individual channel gating on each output, pause scheduling, and auto start. Windows 32 and 64-bit support with auto detection for driver installation. Internet controls to update the database online. Database editor. Improved multiple subject handling. Auto resizing supports all screen sizes. Biofeedback spooky pulse accessory to detect MORs and yes no body responses. Program preset save and restore, including frequency set S, waveform S, and all settings. Real time control of frequency values. Download spooky to here. Visit the Spooky2 website to see full-size versions of main screen graphics contained in this guide. Back to Contents 3 What's new here's what's new in Spooky2 0106-2016-0506-2016-15 June 2016 New added preset, JW Spooky Coelgen Direct. 
This converts the generator output to a powerful magnetic field, and the coil may be connected to BN, MN, or high power Spooky Boost 3.0 outputs for extra power. Pound improved June 5, 2016 generator communication is now faster and more reliable, and launch times have also been slightly shortened. As a result, two redundant controls have been removed from the advanced menu. Pound improved changed position of channel control panel so that the channel buttons are all now visible when the panel is opened. The version text in the toolbar has also been raised. HI improved function of beat frequencies hertz checkbox in the outs pane. If the database frequency has not been raised by any harmonic value, then just half the database frequency is now subtracted rather than all of it. This runs a subharmonic beat frequency instead of allowing out 2 to run at 0 hertz. Pound improved outs pane, the hertz checkbox is now disabled when inverse plus sync or spike plus sync are enabled. Improved channel control panel, estimated runtime and treatment duration lines positioning. Pound improved status bar. The TE and WE fields have been removed as obsolete. Code improvements now mean that timer errors or write conflicts are no longer possible. HI improved code for handling illegal database command entries. Fixed bug that prevented very long programs presets from terminating or looping correctly. HI database entries from a you now have verbose additional notes, with additions and corrections pages changed since the June 1, 2016 edition 4 have a red triangle in the top right corner, as shown above. Pages changed since the May 1, 2016 edition 9 have a blue triangle. Back to contents for the spooky to rife system here are the components that make up a basic spooky to rife system. All of these, and much more, are available only from here. Spooky 2-5M generator While the Spooky 2 software is the brain that controls the system, this generator provides the muscle. It comes with power supply connector cable, USB cable, and a BNC to alligator a pair of Spooky tubes. Spooky hand cylinders used for contact treatment. They are connected using the BNC to alligator clips cable that comes with your generator. An extended cable is also available. For hands-free contact sessions, you can use TENS pads and a TENS cable instead, also available from the website linked above. Spooky Remote VIL 1 MN and BN Spooky Boost 2.0 II used for remote treatment. The Magnetic North version black is slightly faster for killing pathogens, but should never be used for more than 4-5 days. The Biomagnetic North version white also kills pathogens, and heals and regenerates faster. Both come with a BNC connector cable. I this clever signal processor can quadruple the power of contact mode, and double the power of remote. It has dedicated outputs for each remote model, pass-through connections for the generators OUT1 and OUT2, and an optimized output for the manufacture of high-quality colloidal silver also used for contact mode. The Spooky Boost 2.0 signal processor is essential for some of Spooky 2's most powerful features. Back to Contents 5 Spooky Central The most powerful and versatile plasma machine on Earth, Spooky Central can transmit up to 3.5 mHz without using a wasteful and potentially harmful fixed carrier frequency. It comes with built-in PEMF pulsed electromagnetic field, ultrasonic, and its own contact mode capable of true reversible cell electroporation. All can be used together or separately. Its plasma tube is encased inside a bulletproof clear polycarbonate tube for easy handling and safety. You can also use any third-party tube with internal electrodes and high-voltage banana plugs. Spooky Central requires a Spooky 2-5M generator to supply its frequencies, and we highly recommend a second one to run non-stop detox support programs remotely during and after plasma sessions. The Spooky 2 Essential Kit for Cancer, Lyme, and Morgellons is the perfect fit for this unit because it comes with two generators and all the other accessories. Back to Content 6 Warning. To use the Spooky 2 Rife system safely, you MUST always connect your Spooky 2 XM frequency generator to an electrical outlet before attempting to use it. Don't use USB only. Pound C never unplug it while in use, always stop and switch it off first. Ensure that plug socket adapters cannot be accidentally kicked or nudged by cleaning vacuuming, small children, or curious pets, causing momentary disconnection. Failure to observe these precautions at all times may result in damage to your generator and will void your warranty. Back to Content 7 Making Connections Let's get your generator S hooked up first. 
Connecting a Spooky 2-5M The first essential is power. With the 5M generators, power means electricity from your home's main electricity supply, not from the PC's USB port. While a 5M generator's display will light up when you connect it via USB alone, it's designed to be driven by a normal 120-220 volt wall power supply, otherwise it won't work correctly, and is highly likely to sustain damage. So connect the small connector on one end of the power cord to the socket on the left side of the generator and make sure it's pushed all the way home. Then connect the wall wart transformer plug on the other end of the cord to a wall power socket, along with any adapter you may need for your particular country's socket design. If you're connecting multiple 5 milliseconds, you'll need to go to a hardware store and buy one or more surge-proof socket strip extensions that can plug into a single wall socket and provide power for between 4 and 6 devices. Connect each generator to this in turn. As you can see, the unusual orientation of the transformer plug only allows 4 to be connected per 6 socket UK style strip. Back to contents 8 now take the USB cable that came with the generator and connect the long boxy end to the socket on the left side of the unit. You need to be careful with this connection because both plug and socket are shaped so that they can only be mated if the plug is presented correctly to the socket. You can see this in the image on the left. The specially shaped plug is on the lower right, closest to the camera. Connect the other end of the USB cable to your PC. Connecting multiple generators to use more than two or three generators, you really require a multi-port USB hub. The one shown on the right is a four-port non-powered hub, and you can use it to connect up to four generators to a single PC USB socket. This one looks decent. These hubs can also be daisy-chained which means you can use one of the sockets on the first hub to connect a second hub to it, giving you seven USB sockets connected to a single socket on the PC. You can also buy seven port hubs, even more efficient. I've successfully daisy-chained five four-port hubs from two PC USB sockets, allowing me to connect 10 5M and 6 UDB generators to my netbook, and still have one socket left over to connect a USB stick. However, because these hubs are non-powered, the UDBs on the end of the daisy chain don't receive enough power from the PC to display the frequencies clearly enough on their front panels to be legible, but they work perfectly. Back to contents port USB 2.0 mini hub 9 substituting a powered 28 port USB hub like this one solves their problem, with more than enough sockets still available to connect an external hard drive and a camera. And to extend my spooky 2 rig substantially should I need to. One one for an online visual guide to connecting multiple generators, please click here. Connecting a UDB 1108S Although it looks like this unit has just 12 sockets, there are actually another 16, 8 along each side that you can't see in this overhead shot. And every socket has its own individual power switch and LED status indicator. So connect all generators to USB sockets and turn them on now. This older generator is USB powered. So the only connection required is to your PC hub with a supplied USB cable, no mains. Now we have our generator S connected, so we'll move on to the Spooky 2 accessories. And we'll start with the Spooky Remote. Back to Contents 10 Spooky Remote There are a number of different ways you can connect a Spooky Remote to the generator. The first is by using a Spooky Boost 2.0, and its connection depends on which model remote you're using. A Spooky Remote V1.1BN with Spooky Boost 2.0B Spooky Remote V1.1MN with Spooky Boost 2.0 To connect a BN remote using a Spooky Boost cable, connect the blue ring plug to out one red mark and the red ring plug to out two blue mark, blue to red, and red to blue. For an MN remote, the connection is red to red, and blue to blue. Make sure your BNC connections are secure by turning the milled wheel on each plug to lock it in place. Back to Contents 11C Spooky Remote V1.1MN or BN Direct Connect If you don't have a Spooky Boost 2.0 or a Spooky Boost cable, you can connect your Spooky Remote directly to out one of a 5M generator using the remote cable. Since the UDB1108S generator has just a single out, you can't use a Spooky Boost 2.0 to connect a remote to it anyway. The image at left shows the UDB1108S with a Spooky Remote attached. Above is a different way to do it devised by Spooky24 moderator John M. Kane. This dispenses with a remote cable and uses a simple BNC mail-to-mail -mail connector, also called a coupler. Essentially, it's two BNC plugs end-to-end -end with a straight-through connection. 
These also work fine for the UDB1108S. Like all great ideas, it simplifies and makes things easier, it's tidier, and it's also inexpensive. You can buy them here. Another really cool thing about these connectors is that if you ever need to use two spooky remotes with one 5M generator, you can attach two as shown above, useful if you have large numbers of subjects with the same condition, and to keep things tidy. Back to contents 12 spooky hand cylinders There are two different ways to connect spooky hand cylinders depending on whether you use spooky boost 2.0 or not, and they're both very simple. First, Connection via Spooky Boost 2.0 A Spooky Hand Cylinders with Spooky Boost 2.0 Web Link Boost Cable Connect the BNC to Alligator Clips Cable that came with your generator to the colloidal silver output of Spooky Boost 2.0. Then connect each alligator clip to a cylinder as detailed below. With a Spooky Boost Cable, connect to its output. B Spooky Hand Cylinders Direct Connect Connect the BNC to Alligator Clips Cable that came with your generator to out one of the generator. Then insert the alligator clips into the holes located at the plastic end of each spooky hand cylinder as shown below left. The image below right shows the correct orientation for your spooky hand cylinders. Back to contents 13 standard electrodes Many spooky 2 users already own electrodes that came with conventional rife machines or zappers which they may wish to use. I'm one, and here's how I do it. Left two copper electrodes are attached via cheap standard banana cables to a BNC to dual banana adapter right, available here. The adapter can then be connected to a Spooky Boost 2.0 colloidal silver output, or to out one of the generator. In all cases when using contact mode, we recommend using Spooky Boost 2.0 for deeper body and cell penetration. Spooky Central The Spooky Central User's Guide is available for download from our website here. This includes connection and usage instructions. Unlike most plasma systems, Spooky Central is incredibly simple to connect and operate, and you can be up and running a few minutes after taking it out of the box. Back to contents 14 installing the software first, make sure that your rig is properly connected to the PC and turned on. Then double click the installer. This will have a file in M ending in Setupix. The following series of screens are presented each of which you must respond to after this one note if you've installed Spooky 2 before this, you should leave it in place and choose to overwrite it. This will not affect your own files, and the installation will be easier, more efficient, and foolproof. Language selection Select installation language Afrikaans Albanian Arabic Bulgarian Chinese Simplified Chinese Traditional Croatian Czech Danish Dutch Flemish DUTCHF Standard Estonian Farsi Next, you'll see this language selection dialog. Choose your installer language from the list, then click OK. Here, the installer is unpacking its files. Confirm 1% I1-1 Confirm a previous copy of Spooky 2 is already installed on this PC Continue Setup? Yes No If you previously installed Spooky 2, you'll see this screen next. Choose Yes to move to the Install Start screen. If this is your first Spooky 2 installation, you'll see the Install Start screen on the next page instead. Back to contents 15 back next cancel the installer program starts. Click next back to contents 16 license agreement license agreement please read the following license agreement carefully. Press the page down key to see the rest of the agreement. Cancer Clinic NZ Limited hereafter referred to as CCNZ and its directors or shareholders are not responsible for any damage or injuries of any sort or form that may be sustained by any person or persons, any animal or to any equipment or any other thing or things. The equipment, devices and methods used by CCNZ have not been inspected or approved by any governmental or medical agency or inspection service. No medical claims are made for, nor implied by CCNZ. You are advised to always consult with your physician or other healthcare professional at any time should you have or think you might have a health problem. Please check with your physician or other healthcare professional before starting any diet. Exercise, Takina over the counter OTCO yes minus one accept the terms of the license agreement. No minus one do not accept the terms of the license agreement. Back next cancel the license agreement. Choose yes minus one accept the terms of the license agreement. As shown above. Then click next back to content 17 redum 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 important information if your hardware is not recognized by Spooky please install the drivers manually. Do this by starting Spooky, enabling file slash expert mode, 
in entering the advanced menu. Plug all your generators into your computer before starting Spooky. Spooky Pulse must plug directly into your computer to operate correctly. Please visit us at Spooky2Com for further assistance. Back next cancel Redum, the Redum screen contains important information. Please read it. Then click next back to contents 18 choose destination locadium and choose destination location setup will install Spooky2 in the following directory. To install to this directory, dick next. To install to a different directory, dick browse and select another directory. Destination directory browse. See Spooky 2 space required on drive 31.2 megabytes space available on drive 253,461.7 megabytes back next cancel choose destination location, accept the default location or click browse to select another. Then click next back to contents 19 set program shortcuts impound m set program shortcuts setup will add shortcut to the start program menu. Start program menu Spooky 2 back next cancel set program shortcuts. The installer adds a shortcut to your Windows Start menu. Click Next back to Contents 20 Confirm Setup Setting MIAUE Confirm Setup Settings Setup has enough information to start copying the program files. If you want to review or change any settings, dick back. Target Directory C Spooky 2 Start Program Menu Entry Spooky 2 Click Next to begin copying files, back next Cancel Confirm Setup Settings. The Spooky2 directory is created and the installer asks you to confirm your settings. Click Next back to Contents 21 File WDFI Company Installer 01009. DLL Folder C Spooky2 on CP210 XVCP Windows X64 V Dodge AV Cancel Copying Files, Spooky2 S Files are copied to your hard drive. When done, the following screen appears back to Contents 22 Setup Complete, tick the checkbox labeled Yes. Launch the program file, then click Finish. If you're not ready to start using Spooky2 just yet, simply click Finish. If this is the first time you've installed Spooky2, you'll see the following alert back to Contents 23. The alert on the left will appear. Choose Yes to install the driver. Choosing No will cause Spooky2 to enter test mode, and you will see 128 virtual generators in its interface. Doing this will not install the driver required for REL. Physical Generators CP210X USB to UART Bridge Driver And when you click Yes, the driver installer for the Spooky 2-5M generator launches. Click Next back to Contents 24 CP210X USB to UART Bridge Driver Installer License Agreement Oh I accept this agreement I don't accept this agreement to continue, accept the following license agreement. To read the entire agreement, use the scroll bar or press the page down key. License Agreement Silicon Labs VCP Driver Important Read carefully before agreeing to terms This product contains the Silicon Labs VCP Driver and Installer programs and other third-party software Together these products are referred to as the licensed software Use of the licensed software is subject to the terms of this license Save as print back next cancel license agreement Select I accept this agreement then click next back to contents 25 CP210X USB to UART Bridge Driver Installer Completing the installation of the CP210X USB to UART Bridge Driver The drivers were successfully installed on this computer. You can now connect your device to this computer. If your device came with instructions, please read them first. Driver name status v slash silicon laboratory sila. Read R to use Finish Cancel the driver installation for the Spooky 2-5M generator completes. Click Finish. Unless you also need to install a driver for the older UDB1108S generator, please restart your PC now. Back to Contents 26 Computer Acer C Spooky 2F Search Spooky 2 Favorites B Desktop Pound I Downloads Recent Places Libraries Q Documents J Music B Pictures 3 Videos Hum Group Computer Acer C Wintrans D I.1 Microsoft Office Glee Percent Network Include in Library Share with Name CP 210X VCP Windows Data Languages New Folder E a date modified March 30, 2015 1642 March 31, 2015 1353 September 27, 2014 1710 Type File Folder File Folder File Folder Size P. 
L2303P row AFIC file folder PL2303P row 1FIC DRI VER LN stud 11 or VL80 March 30, 2015 1642 file folder recommended settings March 30, 2015 1642 file folder scan data December 2, 2015 1333 file folder users March 16, 2015 0342 file folder waveforms March 30, 2015 1642 file folder PNE February 15, 2015 14 1959 DAT file 1 kilobyte I. AM Compat TLB September 11, 2013 0936 TLB file 17 kilobytes air size OCX April 13, 2005 0408 ActiveX Control 325 kilobytes and COM DLG 32.0 CX February 16, 2010 14 22 ActiveX Control 153 kilobytes CSVED July 24, 2012 0636 application 1253 kilobytes I percent X May 21, 2012 13 1322 compiled HTML 497 kilobytes custom February 15th 2015 1450 CSV file 7 kilobytes custom February 15th 2015 1459 Microsoft Excel C 7 kilobytes 1 I email footer December 5th 2013 2158 text document 1 kilobyte email header May 13th 2013 2032 text document 1 kilobyte English in June 29th 2010 13 21 LNG file 11 kilobytes frequencies September 27th 2014 03 21 CSV file 600 kilobytes frequencies February 26th 2015 0035 Microsoft Excel C 594 kilobytes Mossy 32.0 CX February 16, 2010 14. 22 Active X Control 211 kilobytes I. Scum to OCX February 5, 2012 11 17 Active X Control 1046 kilobytes MS MAPI 32.0 CX February 16, 2010 13 22 Active X Control 148 kilobytes LG MS VBVM 60 DLL April 14, 2008 13 12 Application Extends 1,353 kilobytes notify June 19, 2013 0630 Irfan view WAV file 480 kilobytes since compat TLB September 11, 2013 0936 TLB file 23 kilobytes installing a UDB 1108S driver installation of the driver for the Older UDB 1108S generators may be performed manually click on the Windows start menu and choose computer. A new window will open. The icon at the top left is your C drive. Double click it, and you'll see a list of folders. Double click the folder named Spooky2. With the exception of some user created items, on the left is what you'll see. The fourth folder from the top PL2302 Prolific Driver Installer VIL80, highlighted contains the installer for the UDB1108S driver. Double click this folder. Back to Contents27 this is what you'll see. The installer program is fourth in this list, and it's highlighted here. Left click it, then choose run as an administrator from the context menu. The installer will launch and present a series of screens very similar to those you've just seen for the CP210X USB to UART bridge driver installer. Respond positively to all prompts. When the final screen exits, please restart your PC. Back to Contents 28 Launch Spooky 2, and this simple view appears. Depending on how many physical generators are connected, the number of red buttons you see circled in red will be different. Each red button represents and controls one single physical generator. Back to Contents 29 Follow the numbered steps in Simple Views Instructions Graphic to run Spooky 2 with effective settings. Tick the Customize Control in the menu bar to show details view above. In the File menu, you can save this as Spooky 2 as default view. Back to Contents 30 Together. Each generator and its red button in Spooky 2 is called the channel, and you may have between 1 and 127 inches your rig. So if you have one generator connected to your PC, you'll see one red channel button. If you have four generators, you should see four buttons. In the images on the previous two pages, there are two physical generators connected. So you see two numbered red channel buttons. On the lower right, there's another red channel button labeled PC, this is your phantom channel. There's no physical generator connected to this, it's a virtual channel, not a real one, and I'll explain its purpose later. If this window has the correct number of channel buttons that matches your physical generator setup, your rig is ready to be used and you can proceed directly to the next section, 
testing and configuration. However, not all PCs are set up identically or even correctly, so it's possible that a number of other things may happen when you launch the software runtime error 8002 invalid port number this is a Windows error and normally indicates that the PC is confused about exactly what's connected to its USB ports. It's usually resolved by restarting the PC. Remedies for driver problems sometimes, an incorrectly configured PC or other software already installed can interfere with driver installation calls. You can fix this by installing drivers manually. Here's how one. Click the Utiles menu on the menu bar and choose whichever install Spooky 2x MXX bit drivers command is not grayed out. To install the drivers for UDB 1108S generators, select the Install UDB drivers command. 2. The installer should launch and take you through the installation process. When it's done, quit everything and restart your PC. You should now see your red physical channel button S, plus the PC button. If the driver installer doesn't launch, or if it does launch but nothing has changed and you still see no red physical channel button second, it's time to take a look under the hood back to Contents 31 Programs 1 Microsoft Office Starter to Go Device Manager 2010 Control Panel 30 Devices and Printers PN Device Manager 053 View Devices and our 8th Device Manager 0 Change Device INJ VJEW and Update Your Hardware Settings and Driver Software F. S add a device 3 find and fix problems with devices 5 F add a wireless device to the network Y view network computers and devices files 6 installation of F scan 20 X software with device installation of F scan software with device L F Y frequencies I 1 PL 2303 driver installer L.8.0 release note IPL 2303 check chip version readme PL 2303p ROI if I CD Riverland stud I one RVL 80 ZC more results back to contents click on the Windows start menu at the bottom left corner of your screen click into the search box and type device you'll get a list of results the one you need is device manager highlighted in the screenshot on the left click on it to open device manager the window shown in the next screenshot will open 32 back to contents find and click on ports highlighted in the screenshot. The navigation tree will expand to show all device drivers and the ports which they're controlling. The Silicon Labs Camp 210X USB to UART bridge entries are all instances of the 5M drivers with the USB port numbers they control in parentheses. The prolific USB to serial COM port entries are all instances of the UDB 1108S drivers, also with the USB port numbers they control. If you see yellow exclamation marks on any of these entries, it means that the drivers weren't installed correctly, and you will have to reinstall them. But you don't have to go through the entire installation procedure all over again, you can simply reinstall the drivers you require. There's another way to do this manually, and it's pretty simple. 33 But first, an explanation there are two kinds of accounts on Windows, administrator and user. If you log in using an account with admin rights and permissions, you can pretty much do anything you like on the PC. However, it's not a good idea to go online using an admin account because hackers can put this power to use if they get past your firewall. The answer is a user account. This has less power to change anything, so it's safer for online use. However, it can cause problems with certain kinds of software installations. Thankfully, there's a way around this without having to log out and back in as an administrator. First, quit Spooky 2. Then click on the Windows Start menu and choose Computer. The Start menu will disappear and a new window will open. Search Computer Organize Properties System Properties Uninstall or Change a Program Map Network Drive 5K Favorites Desktop Pound Downloads Recent Places Libraries J Documents Music B Pictures FJJ Videos Hum Group L Computer Acer Co Intrans Duel Microsoft Office Clay Hard Disk Drives 2 Acer Company 248 GB free of 284 GB Microsoft Office Click to Run 2010 Protected QO Devices with Removable Storage 1 Wintrans Do 7.08 GB free of 7.46 GB Percent Network Acer C Space Used HL Local Disk Space Free 248 GBJ total size 284 GB file system NTFS the highlighted icon shown at the top left here is your C drive Wintrans is my USB stick. Double click the C drive icon. Back to contents 34 the window now displays a list of all the folders on your hard drive. 
The Spooky 2 folder is highlighted left. Double click it. Note the Spooky 2 documents folder here is not part of the Spooky 2 installation it's my own collection of personal documents related to using the system. Back to contents 35. KJI Computer Acer C Spooky 2 F Search Spooky 2 Favorites include in library name share with new folder date modified type CP 210 XV CP Windows date modified October 11th 2014 1603 file folder size H desktop CP 210 XV CP YNDOs October 11th 2014 1603 file folder for downloads I Data November 14, 2014 1532 File Folder VI Recent Places Languages September 27, 2014 1710 File Folder PL 2303P Row 1 FI CDRIV ERL INSTA 11 ERVL 80 October 11, 2014 1603 File Folder Libraries I Scan data January 3, 2014 0119 file folder H documents users August 8, 2014 2043 file folder music J wave firms October 11, 2014 1603 file folder BL pictures TJ Pini October 28, 2014 1321 DAT file 1 kilobyte B videos M compat TLB September 11, 2013 1036 TLB file 17 kilobytes JFB JR size OCX April 13, 2005 ActiveX Control 325 kilobytes for Home Group Com DLG 32.0 CX February 16, 2010 15 22 ActiveX Control 153 kilobytes 0 CSV ED July 24, 2012 07 36 Application 1253 kilobytes Computer JJ Jakes Vetter May 21, 2012 14 22 Compiled HTMI 497 kilobytes and Acer COISJ Custom October 30, 2014 16 40 Microsoft Excel C, 7 kilobytes Wintrans do email footer December 5, 2013 2258 text document 1 kilobyte. TI Microsoft Office CLI IQ email header May 13, 2013 2132 text document 1 kilobyte 11 1 English. In June 29, 2010 13 21 LNG file 11 kilobytes network IJJ frequencies September 27, 2014 03 21 CSV file 600 kilobytes frequencies October 27, 2014 09 57 Microsoft Excel C 600 kilobytes W Mossy 32.0 CX February 16, 2010 15 22 Active X Control 211 kilobytes I% 1 Scum till OCX February 5, 2012 12 17 Active X Control 1046 kilobytes MS MAPI 32.0 CX February 16, 2010 14 22 Active X Control 148 kilobytes WMS VBVM 60 DLL April 14, 2008 14 12 application extends 1353 kilobytes notify June 19, 2013 07 30 view WAV file 480 kilobytes James Compat TLB September 11, 2013 1036 TLB file 23 kilobytes JSCOM 32 OCX February 16, 2012 1346 Active X Control 136 kilobytes setup October 11, 2014 1604 text document 7 kilobytes now you can see everything that's contained in the spook folder. This folder is where you'll have to visit if you wish to manually install a new database, or edit your own custom database in Notepad. The top 7 icons are folders, the rest are files folders always contain files. The first one in the list on the left CP210XVCP Windows, contains 5M driver installers. The fourth folder from the top PL2302 Prolific Driver Installer VIL80, contains the installer for the UDB-1108S driver. Since this procedure is identical for installing either driver, we'll do it for the Silicon Labs 5M drivers. So double-click the first folder in the list to open it. Back to Contents 36 If your PC is a recent 64-bit model, choose the installer whose name ends with X64. If it's an older 32-bit machine, choose the X86 installer. In either case, Right-click on the file and choose Run as Administrator from the context menu that pops up. This will temporarily give you the permissions to install software into the deeper levels of the operating system. When the installation finishes, it's best to restart your PC because some flavors of Windows require this to correctly register newly installed components. If, after all this, Spooky2 still can't find your generator, it's possible that your installation is damaged. 
In this case, it's best to uninstall, then run a fresh copy of the installer again. Here's how back to contents 37 click on the Windows Start menu at the lower left of the screen and choose Control Panel as shown below. Spooky Irfan View MLTM Vidur 9 CV Avast. Free Antivirus Skype Windows Media Center Getting Started I. West Irfan View Thumbnails A Sticky Note Snipping Tool VL Programs Search Programs and Flies J. The Start menu will disappear and a new window will open. Back to Contents 38 Control Panel. Search Control Pages 3HD Adjust Your Computer Settings UD System and Security Review Your Computer's Status U. Back up your computer find and fix problems network and internet a connect to the internet view network status and tasks choose home group and sharing options hardware and sound view devices and printers add a device connect to a projector adjust commonly used mobility settings programs uninstall a program view by user accounts and family saw fjjf1 add or remove user accounts v set up parental controls for nes category large icons small icons appearance and personalization change the theme change desktop background adjust screen resolution clock language, and region change keyboards or other input methods ease of access let Windows suggest settings optimize visual display if you haven't been here before, this is probably what you'll see, not terribly informative or useful. So click on the view by menu at the top right and change it from category to small icons. And this is what you'll see instead back to contents 39. IHJ Control Panel All Control Panel Items I4FII Search Control Panel Adjust Your Computer Settings View by Small Icons Action Center G Administrative Tools J Auto Play Backup and Restore Click to Run Application Manager CJ Color Management IJGJJ Credential Manager Date and Time Default Programs Desktop Gadgets Device Manager S3 Devices and Printers BP Display Ease of Access Center Flash Player 32-bit P Folder Options of Fonts JJ Getting Started Dollar Home Group Indexing Options Internet Options 5 Pounds Keyboard Location and Other Sensors Y Mouse Network and Sharing Center O Notification Area Icons Parental Controls H Performance Information and Tools F Personalization L C Phone and Modem Power Options JIU Programs and Features M one Recovery Region and Language Remote App and Desktop Connections Smart Audio Sound I Speech Recognition Sync Center System Taskbar and Start Menu H Troubleshooting User Accounts Windows Anytime Upgrade LJ Windows Card Space Windows Defender Windows Firewall 9 Windows Live Language Setting Windows Mobility Center S Windows Update Choose Programs and Features Highlighted in the Image Above. This will open a new window back to contents 40 is all control panel items programs and features control panel home view installed updates v turn windows features on or off uninstall or change a program to uninstall a program select it from the list and then click uninstall change or repair organize uninstall change s equal pound name publisher microsoft sql server 2005 compact edition enu microsoft corporation 111 microsoft visual c 2005 redistributable microsoft corporation at microsoft visual c 2008 redistributable x86 9.0.30729.17 microsoft corporation microsoft visual c 2008 redistributable x86 9.0.30729.4148 Microsoft Corporation FL Microsoft Visual C 2010 x64 redistributable minus 10.0.30319 30, Microsoft Corporation Jimi Win Locker Suite Aegis Technology Incorporated Unuespresso Asobi Incorporated T7 PL2303 USB to Serial Prolific Technology Incorporated Realtek USB 2.0 Card Reader Realtek Semiconductor CC Skype of 5.3 Skype Technologies SA 1 JJ Spooky 2 Cancer Clinic NZ Limited BFL Synaptics Pointing Device Driver Synaptics Incorporated 3 Team Viewer 9 Team Viewer 1 Welcome Center Acer Incorporated Windows Driver Package Silicon Laboratories Silabin Import Silicon Laboratories Windows Live Essentials 2011 Microsoft Corporation, G. Silicon Laboratories Product Version March 19, 2014 6.7.0.0 Here, I've highlighted the 5M Silicon Labs driver. You can also see Spooky 2 in the UDB 1108 SSPL 2303 driver package entries further up the list. To uninstall, either double-click the name, or select, then click Uninstall at the top of the list. Back to Contents 41 Uninstall both driver packages in succession, but don't bother trying to uninstall Spooky 2, Windows isn't very effective at removing anything that doesn't have a registry entry. 
so it's quicker and easier to manually delete it. To do this, simply navigate to the Spooky 2 folder as you did before Windows Start Menu Computer Hard Drive double click. Then drag the Spooky 2 folder to the recycle bin and empty it. Now you can download a fresh copy of the installer and try again. To do this new installation, I advise disconnecting from the internet, logging into an administrator account on your PC, and installing Spooky 2 for all users. Then restart the PC and log into your normal user account so you can re-enable internet access if you wish. Finally, click the advanced menu button to open the advanced menu, then enter the number of generators you've connected into the DDS generators field near the top, and Spooky2 will find your entire rig a lot quicker on subsequent launches. Generators missing if you have 4 generators connected, but only 3 red channel buttons. It means that either the driver hasn't installed properly for the particular port your missing generator is connected to, or its USB cable may be faulty. To fix the first, quit Spooky 2, disconnect each generator's USB cable from the PC hub, and restart the PC. One by one, reconnect the generators and watch the right side of the taskbar for alerts that tell you whether the driver installed for that port was successful. With luck, they should all be. If not, it's time to try swapping the USB cable for that missing generator so that Windows can identify it and install the correct driver. Installing a beta EXE the latest stable version of Spooky2 can always be found on the Spooky2 website's downloads page. This is the one that most people will wish to use. But John White often provides advanced beta versions of the next proposed official release for download on his own site, usually a software-only EXE files. Beta means that they're test versions, and so may contain bugs. And this is the main reason that they're made available, so that experienced users can download and test them, then report any bugs found so they can be fixed for the next official release. Back to Contents 42 The length of time between official stable releases is generally a month, but three or four beta versions may be released for testing in the same period, and the final beta then becomes official and is uploaded to the Spooky2 website. At that time also, if an update contains no changes to Spooky2's support files, an EXE file download will usually also be provided for users with existing installations. Because of the nature of beta software, no technical support can be provided since it's essentially a work in progress. So unless you know your way around Spooky2 and your PC, it may not always be a good idea for you to install a beta, especially if you're dealing with something serious. But if you wish to go ahead anyway, Here's how I do it download the beta or exe to your desktop. The file name will always lack the word setup and end in X. This means that it's an executable and doesn't need to be decompressed like a zip file or double clicked like a full setup installer. Click once on the file to select it, then press CTRLC on your keyboard to copy it. Navigate to the Spooky2 folder, Windows Start Menu Computer Hard Drive double click. Click anywhere on the list of files. Then press CTRLV on your keyboard to paste the beta into the folder. You don't have to worry about the beta replacing your existing installation because its file name is different. However, you will need to make an easy way for yourself to launch the new beta. To do this, you can either create a shortcut, or you can pin the beta to the taskbar or the Windows Start menu. For a shortcut, right-click on the beta file and select Create Shortcut from the context menu that pops up. Then drag the newly created shortcut out of the Spooky2 folder and onto your desktop. You can then close the Spooky2 folder window because double-clicking the shortcut will now launch the new beta version. To pin the new version to the taskbar or the start menu, you also right-click on the beta file, but this time choose either pin to taskbar, or pin to start menu clicking on the beta's icon in either of these two locations will then launch your new version. The following screenshot shows all the options back to Contents 43Z Computer Acer C Spooky 2 Search Spooky 2 Organize Slash F Favorites K Desktop 4 Downloads, Recent Places Libraries I Documents Music Hot Pictures 3 Videos Hum Group Computer Acer C Wintrans DII Microsoft Office Glee Network Open New Folder Name PL 2303P Roy F I C D Riverland Stud 11 R V L 80 Scan Data Users JPNE.TJ Compat 6 Arisize.com DLG32 at CSVEDJFX Veditor Custom I, Email Foot I, Email. Head I1 English Ing Frequency AR Pound I Mossy 32.0 CXIB James Scum to I percent LMS MAPI 32. MSVBVM 60 INS Compat. 
Ellen Icecom 32, one j set up Lee Spooky Open V Run as an administrator troubleshoot compatibility VAR scan Spooky Beta 15032014 XP into taskbar pin to start menu F Shredder Restore previous versions sent to cut copy paste create shortcut delete rename properties I type size 18 file folder 19 file folder 19 file folder PDAT file 1 kilobyte RTLB file 17 kilobytes are active X control 325 kilobytes are active X control 153 kilobytes p6 application 1253 kilobytes are compiled html 497 kilobytes are microsoft excel c 6 kilobytes are text document 1 kilobyte 12 text document 1 kilobyte are lng file 11 kilobytes are microsoft excel c 595 kilobytes are active x control 211 kilobytes 7 active x control 1046 kilobytes b active x control 148 kilobytes 2 application extends 1353 kilobytes rtlb file 23 kilobytes are 6 active x control 136 kilobytes 19 text document 8 kilobytes 84 text document 146 kilobytes Spooky Beta NMOTM IJF V5 Urzar VM2 Application Spooky 2 IGJ Spooky 2 28022014 Setup 17910 LSPO OKI 2 28022014 Set 2 Pages 17910 R1 STDOLE 2 TLB Spooky Beta L5032014 Date Modified March 15, 2014 07 12 Application Size 1.88 MB June 11, 2013 15 12 of January 12, 2013 1008 January 3, 2014 0119 April 14, 2008 0542 Earth and VYCO file application text document TLB file date created March 20, 2014 0001928 kilobytes 64 kilobytes 558 kilobytes 8 kilobytes, 8 kilobytes 17 kilobytes the context menu pops up when you right click on the new spooky 2 beta file the pin to taskbar and pin to start menu options appear close to the top of the menu. The create shortcut option appears closer to the bottom. Back to contents 44 installing a database there are two different file formats for databases used in Spooky2, zip and CSV. The zip format we use is encrypted, cannot be manually unzipped, and cannot be read by any software but Spooky2. This is to help prevent third party profiteering on planned future frequency development and the main database now comes in this format. Please note once again that this can only be unzipped and read by Spooky2. CSV files can also be read and loaded as custom databases, and these can be edited and used normally. How to install a main database zip file either use a browser or the download database command in the online menu to download the database file, then quit Spooky2. Go to your downloads folder and click on the zip file to select it. Then press CTRLC on your keyboard to copy it. Now navigate to the Spooky2 folder, you know how to do this by now. You'll see the older frequency zip file in the folder, and you have two choices, you can either drag the older file into the recycle bin, then click back into the Spooky2 window and press CTRLV on the keyboard to paste the new file in. Leave the existing file where it is and just press CTRLV the existing zip will be overwritten. But Spooky2 will not overwrite the 0 byte CSV file, which should be left in place. Close the window and launch Spooky2. The new database will be loaded into memory and be available for immediate use. Back to Contents 45 How to install a custom database CSV file Click the Database menu on Spooky2's menu bar and choose Select Custom Database. A Windows File Navigation dialog will open. Navigate to the folder that contains your custom CSV file. Here, I've navigated into the Custom Databases folder inside my Documents Library to load one into Spooky2, one selected, then click the Open button to make it immediately available in Spooky2. The Refresh Database command reloads the custom file after manual edits. Back to Contents 46 Windows Warnings There are two very important settings in Windows that you need to be aware of when using Spooky2 PC Sleep Settings If your computer is set to sleep or hibernate after a certain amount of time with no user activity, here's what happens The contents of your memory are temporarily written to a file on the hard drive. The drive then stops spinning, this means that nothing more can be read from it into memory. So when your PC sleeps or hibernates, it is effectively no longer working much like a TV on standby. 
Consequently, Spooky2 will simply suspend transmission until you wake your PC again. To fix this, go to Control Panel's Power Options Change when the computer sleeps, and set everything except the screen to never. Alternatively, you can use a dark screen saver to extend Display Life Control Panel's personalization screen saver. Windows Update reboots if your PC is also used for the Internet. Be aware that default system settings mean that Windows can download and install updates automatically. It can then quit Spooky2, install the updates, and restart your PC, ending your entire Spooky2 session without any warning to you. To fix this, go to Control Panel's Windows Update Change Settings and choose anything other than Install Updates Automatically. If you don't want to lose this auto-install functionality, you can simply switch off your modem Wi-Fi router before going to sleep or leaving your home. But do remember to keep an eye on things while you're at home but away from the computer. If you don't use a Wi-Fi system, your computer is connected to the Internet with an Ethernet cable plugged into a modem or switcher. If you unplug this cable, Windows can go looking for updates, so your Spooky2 session can't be interrupted. Back to Contents 47 Testing and Configuration Now your rig is connected, and your software installed, so it's time to check that everything's working correctly. Connect your Spooky remote to the appropriate Spooky Boost 2.0 output or to out one of the generator. Set all the parameters as shown program options frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier amplitude wobble frequency wobble amplitude ramp 1 duty side 1 amplitude 1 offset 0 phase angle 1 disabled disabled out 250 20 0% 0, 0 V% O frequency limits hertz 0 use harmonic type 0 hex. An experimental I apply R up R down pause from Foshalbum 10 108 1 p.m. JDR out R out 24 I reduce amplitude 10 I skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate frequencies auto start hertz scape kilohertz percent 16 steps frequencies directly percent 16 steps do not sort frequencies ZL out 1 equal 0 x1 plus 0 hertz out 2 equal out 1 x1 plus 0 mxl out 2 equal out 1 x1 volt swap waveform seconds I swap frequencies plus amplitudes for out 1 and out to spike spectrum. F2 equal F1 XI add FI to F2 Hertz I signed follow out 1 spike plus sync FF1 inverse plus sync 10 length ratio percent L020 L020 L02 I02 I02 2 plus spike W. Spike count 00, 0 duty cycle should be 50%. Amplitude should be 20. Square wave should be selected. Inverse plus sync should be selected. Now search for and load the signal test frequency set. In older databases, this may be named Calibrate. When the channel is started, both LED should be lit. If so, your spooky remote is now ready for action. No lights? Check the generator display for the blue ON icon. If you see a red off icon, quit spooky 2 and turn off your XM. Reseed USB connections. Then turn on the XM and launch Spooky2 again. If the generator still shows off, try swapping the USB cable for a known good one. If you do see the ON icon, check that all BNC connectors are secure. Note if offsets are set to 100 and minus 100, only one LED will light. This is normal. Back to Contents 48 Treatment Choices Before you use Spooky2 to tackle any problem, you have a number of very important things to consider first one. Killing or healing? This will affect your choice of waveform, its settings, amplitude, and wobbles. Generally, killing pathogens requires a wobble or feathering to cover possible mutations. But a much better alternative is to use a well-designed spectrum. Contact mode needs higher amplitudes to achieve adequate body penetration 14-20 volts unless a carrier wave is used to use a higher harmonic multiplier on out to rather than a static carrier. I'll show you how later remote mode can use any amplitude from about 4 volts up to 20. High voltages are not necessary because all we need to penetrate is the fingernail clipping in spooky remote, not the entire body. For plasma mode, please see the documentation for your spooky central coming soon or other amplifier. 2. Which spooky remote model? Both remotes kill. And both remotes heal. A spooky remote VIL-1 magnetic north black foam top will kill slightly quicker than a bio north model white foam top, but we don't recommend using it non-stop for longer than 4-5 days because it can produce unpleasant side effects such as irritation, mood swings, 
and even in some cases a return of symptoms. It should never be used for pest or mold eradication. A spooky remote VLL Bio North White will kill pathogens, too, only not quite as quickly as a Magnetic North, but it's quicker for healing, repair, and regeneration. The Bio North model can be used continuously without problems, making it a far better and easier to manage option for serious conditions where longer term application is required. Back to contents 49.3. Which waveform? Sine the gentle curve of the sine wave's amplitude makes it suitable for healing. Its trajectory is the purest form of energy slash motion, and you will see its shape throughout the natural world. Best for high frequencies, where it will also kill efficiently. Square the abrupt rises and falls in amplitude coupled with long peaks and troughs make this wave very suitable for killing pathogens. However, it's also effective for healing, especially if low frequencies are used. Sawtooth up to now, this does not have a history in Rife, so it's still considered largely experimental. However, our experiments so far have shown that it's a very effective waveform to use for healing. Inverse Sawtooth the sharp rise to peak level combined with the linear fall in amplitude make this waveform excellent for killing organisms, and it does this more effectively than the square wave. At higher amplitudes voltages, it's not really suitable for healing, but some users have reported good results using it at reduced power. Triangle does not have a history in Rife, so it's still experimental. Its linear slopes make for a less efficient whip crack effect but it may be useful as a possible substitute for a sign. Damp sinusoidal drive Rife's well-known cancer killer waveform, as documented by the Smithsonian. When liberally sprinkled with spikes, this becomes a truly fearsome weapon. But because it's based on gradually decaying sine waves, it's also excellent for healing applications without spikes. Damp square damping applied to square waves, a brand new spooky to exclusive. Its energy trajectory makes it lethal for pathogens, and it's currently also being tested successfully in healing situations. H-bomb sinusoidal designed by John to feature energy spikes on leading and trailing edges. It's based on sine waves, and this should make it a good choice for powerful healing. But it should also be useful as a pathogen killer. H-bomb square I feel that this may be spooky to S most powerful killing machine. John has questioned if it may be too powerful for remote use, but I've used it successfully in this way without hurting. Back to contents 53. Database sets, pulse results, or spectrum sweeps? For killing, the spectrum sweeps are convenient and very powerful. It's best to adjunct or alternate with targeted database sets. Most powerful of all, but not quite as convenient, are spooky pulse scan results. Spooky Pulse has now clearly shown itself capable of detecting early cancer. The effectiveness or otherwise of database sets also depends on the accuracy of your diagnosis. It's possible, too, that a different strain or a mutation of the pathogen is involved. Either way, if you get no results after 2-3 days, you should try another database set instead. For healing, I would use either Pulse results or targeted database sets. The spectrum sweeps are designed for killing. Most healing works through frequency entrainment, and sweeps don't work for this process. 4. What source of DNA for remote? Nails the DNA contained in fingernails is encased in hard keratin which protects it from degradation. In theory, it should be good to use for scalar transmission forever, and indeed some practitioners never change their specimens. However, my research suggests that since photonic energy has been shown to be intimately bound up with DNA, nail specimens may be best renewed each month. Russian experiments show that the photonic energy imprint which shadows DNA fades after this time. If you choose to change your samples regularly, you may wish to substitute lightweight cigarette rolling papers for paper masking tape. Here is a good way to package your nail clippings using paper tape back to contents 51R1R. MVUVTLT1. First, cut your nail into four equal pieces, as shown. You only need to use one piece of nail for each remote. 2. The correct length of two paper tape, sticky side up. Bottom left is a single piece of nail. The red mark shows where to place it. 3. Fold tape over lengthwise. Write initials on one end if required. Place as shown and mark the tape at the edge of the remote. 4. 
Insert tape in the remote so the mark aligns with the remote's edge as shown. This ensures DNA is correctly placed. Saliva cut a strip of blank paper blotting paper is best about 2 inches long and 1 inch wide. Place the top one third of this in your mouth for about 5 minutes, or until it becomes saturated with saliva. Allow it to air dry for about 10-20 minutes before placing it into your remote. Good for about 3 days. Back to contents 52 buckle skin cells this is how police do large scale DNA testing after certain serious crimes. As above, use a strip of paper, but don't allow it to soak in your mouth. Instead, rub the top one third gently but firmly against the inside of your cheek for a moment. If it becomes wet, allow it to air dry as above. Good for about 4-5 days. Blood for this you need a pack of lancets designed for diabetics to safely test blood sugar levels. These are inexpensive and available from all pharmacies. Wash your hands thoroughly first, then follow the directions on the pack. Smear the droplet of blood on the top one third of a strip of paper. Allow to air dry for a few moments. Good for about 5-6 days. Hair the shaft contains no DNA, only RNA. So it must have the root bulb attached. Good for about 2 days. 5. Remote, contact or plasma? Plasma well designed and implemented plasma is quickest and most powerful. The very best available today at any price comes from the Spooky team, Spooky Central. Contact used with the carrier wave, this comes next for speed and power. Remote scalar DNA treatment has been vastly improved by the introduction of Spooky Remote V1.1, such that it has gained markedly on contact mode. The convenience of remote mode makes it a winner. For serious conditions, I would do one plasma or contact session daily, then switch the generator to remote mode. The following three screenshots are good default settings for each of the three modes, remote, contact, and plasma. In all cases except plasma, which requires a square wave for everything you run, you should choose your own waveform based on whether you're killing organisms, or healing healing also includes detoxing. Back to contents 53 remote mode settings repeat each set 1. Repeat program 0 for an endless loop that must be stopped manually or repeat program 124 a timed session equivalent to 6 consecutive contact treatments. Dwell multiplier 0.33 cuts program times to one third original remotes must use 1, which John White always uses on all remote models. Duty cycle 50 may be changed to alter the harmonic content relevant to square wave only. Amplitude 5-20 volts. Offset 0 and 0 can also be 100 and 100, or 100 and minus 100 if Spooky Boost 2.0 is connected. Apply plus minus 0.02% feathering for kill, or frequencies directly for heal and detox. Waveform user's choice. How remote works, back to contents 54 contact mode settings repeat each set 1. Repeat program 1. Dwell multiplier when programs run for default dwells times. Duty cycle 50 may be higher to create more harmonics, relevant to square wave only. Amplitude 14-20 volts. Offset 0 and 0 can also be 100 and 100, or 100 and minus 100 if spooky boost 2.0 is connected. Apply frequencies directly for kill, heal, and detox. Reduce amplitude LOKHZ check prevents low frequencies from causing discomfort. Waveform user's choice. Note high amplitude low frequencies can cause unpleasant muscle contraction. The threshold for this is different for everyone mine is about LKHZ. Try values lower than LOKHZ to find yours. How contact works, back to contents 55 plasma mode settings frequency limits high 3,500,000 Hz, low 100,000 Hz for spooky central slash high 400,000 Hz for Spectratech amplifiers. Repeat each set 1. Repeat program 1. Dwell multiplier when programs run for default dwells times. Duty cycle 50 may be higher to create more harmonics, relevant to square wave only. Amplitude 5 volts. Offset 100 and 100. Apply frequencies directly for kill, heal, and detox. Waveform square wave only. Note spooky boost 2.0 is not used for plasma mode. However, if you also use your spooky central generator in remote mode, you may leave a spooky boost 2.0 inch place and connect spooky central to the boosts out 1 and out 2. 
more about Spooky Central. Back to Contents 56 OK, let's Rife if you've never used Rife technology before, I'm willing to bet that your reaction on first seeing this interface was sheer panic. That's entirely understandable. At first sight, Spooky 2 looks so overwhelmingly complex that you naturally think, how the heck am I ever going to learn this? But I'm also willing to bet that your first reaction on getting into a car to take your first driving lesson was also panic, and that the exact same thought went through your head. Well, just like a car, you don't need to use everything that's on display in order to actually drive it, do you? Spooky 2 is no different. Over the next few pages, I'm going to show you how to use it quickly and easily, and in less than 15 minutes, you're going to be loading and running programs like a pro. The best way to learn something is by doing it. So please follow along over the next few pages and I'll show you how easy it can be. Program options frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier amplitude wobble frequency wobble due day side amplitude offset phase angle out 15500 disabled percent out 25500 16 percent v percent o frequency limits hertz zero use harmonic type hex y equal experimental apply amplitude ramp pause from disabled 5 i steps frequens directly h slash up down 081 pm to 1081 pm i out 1 out 2 4 hertz gate i I reduce amplitude 10 kHz I skip concurrent duplicate frec F. Remove duplicate frec and A's auto start RR. RR CR F2 equal F1 X1 I add FI to F2 Hz 0% 16 steps do NOT sort frec and A's JLL out 1 equal 0 X1 plus 0 Hz out 2 equal out 1 X1 plus O. R Hz out 2 equal out 1 X1 volt swap waveform 0 seconds F swap frequencies plus amplitudes 4 out 1 and out 2 spike spectrum 1 minus 1 minus 2 R R R R C R C C waveform alpha steam wave alpha steam wave follow out 1 spike plus ink inverse plus ink TX length ratio percent R 1 0 2 0 R 1 0 2 0 R 1 0 2 R 1 0 2 R 1 0 2 R 8 0 2 R 8 0 2 R 16 0 2 R 16 0 2 R1020 I10207 I slash plus spike FV. Spike count 0 back to contents 57 with Spooky 2, we use what we need, and ignore everything else. Eventually, over time, you'll get comfortable and confident, and you'll want to get the most out of this fabulous system. When that happens, use this guide to learn what everything does, and how it can be used for maximum benefit. It's not going to be a walk in the park but it's certainly not climbing Mount Everest either. I'll bet you're a pretty good driver now, aren't you? Believe in yourself, keep at it, and soon you'll be a pretty good rifer, too. So let's get going with something simple like a cold. Please note that I've removed excess black space from this screenshot and later similar ones in order to make all the elements big enough to be clearly seen. Program preset clear customized spooky to April 1st 2016 cold coughing CAFL cold feet and hands CAFL cold in head or can 3 T1 CAFL cold or flu winter 2001 CAFL cold source 2 extra cold source 3 extra 727.10000. 2015 1800, 1850, 2489, 470, 647, 648, 650, 652, 654, 656, 658 million 660,000, 847, 5641, 8650 RI UEM is out 1 out 2 frequency multiplier 1 due day side 50 50 percent repeat every frag 1 amplitude 20 20 V repeat each set 1 offset 0 0 percent repeat program 0 phase angle 0 0 O dwell multiplier 0.33 amplitude wobble disabled 0 percent 16 frequency limits hertz 0 use harmonic type 64,000 steps equal experimental apply plus minus 0 0.02 percent feathering spooky 2 IF Cold in head or chest 2-0 first, I type called into the search field. Spooky 2 returns 31 results. In the red circle, 31 is the second number shown. I select the one I want to run. This is result number 17 in the red circle, 
17 is the first number shown. So here, I've selected result 17 out of a possible 31. Back to contents 58 I double click it, and it loads into the selection field on the lower right. However, since I'm going to be killing pathogens, I need to run a detox set as well. It's always better to keep killing sets on one channel and put detox on another, but in this case we'll suppose I only have a single generator. So I type detox into the search field, there's no need to click the clear button first, and I get a bunch of results, from which I choose detox for toxins throughout the body CAFL, and I double click this also. Both sets are now loaded into my program and can be seen in the selection field. If I change my mind about one of them, I just double click it here to remove it, or I can clear both selections I made by clicking the button circled in red. Channel 35 Channel Data Email Program Preset When Allow Channel Overwrites Notes P Every Time Email Message JLI Enable Email Selected Programs F Send Screenshot or Send Error Log Cold In Head or Chest 2 CAFL Detox 4 Toxins Throughout the Body CAFL O Total Runtime 002727 Send Email Save As Now It's Time To Make Settings That Will Work To Kill Pathogens And Clear Out Toxins Any Of The Square Waves Are Good For Both Of These Tasks but I want to use a 100% positive offset as recommended by Dr. Hilda back to contents 59 Clark, so I'll stick with her classic settings of a plain square wave and an amplitude of 9.5 volts. However, I could also choose a H-bond square or a damp square if I desired. Below left are all the settings I enter in the green program options pane I lead an active life, and I don't want to let treatment of a cold interfere with that. So I'll use remote mode. First. I enter 64,000 in the field of the frequency limits pane to bring all these low subharmonics up to more effective levels. I enter 1 for repeat each set, 0 for repeat program, and a value of 0.334 dwell multiplier but note that John White uses 1 for this. Remote also normally calls for an apply menu setting of plus minus 0.02% feathering, but because I'm also running detox frequencies which need apply to be set to frequencies directly, I've set it to use that instead. I also have a Spooky Boost 2.0 connected, so I select Inverse plus Sync for added power. If I didn't slash have this, I would connect the remote to out one of the generator and select Inverse plus Sync or follow out one here instead. Now I'm ready. But there's one more essential box to check 60 program options frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier 1110.33 duty side amplitude offset phase angle. Out one out 250 50% 9.5 9.5 V100-100% 000 frequency limits hertz 0 use harmonic type 64000 I decade. And I equal experimental apply amplitude wobble disabled 0% 16 steps frequenase directly frequency wobble disabled 0% 16 steps do MOT sort frequenase JL amplitude ramp 17 up Y down pause from OS 1 p.m. to 108 1 p.m. out 1 F out 2 4 hertz gate reduce amplitude 10 kilohertz skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate frequenase auto start. F2 equal FIR hertz out 1 equal 0 X1 plus 0 hertz out 2 equal out 1 X1 plus 0. R hertz out 2 equal out 1 x1 volt swap wave for 0 seconds f swap frequencies plus amplitudes for out 1 and out 2 add fi to f2 1 2 rcarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
10,000 estimated total runtime 00027 treatment duration 00000x cold in head or chest 2 CAFL detox 4 toxins throughout the body CAFL output Frequency 047 frequency waveform duty side amplitude offset phase angle out 10 square 50% of 0% 0 degrees out 20 inverse plus sync 50% of 0% 0 degrees the red channel control panel appears and you're ready to rumble so click the start button and get on with your day back to content 61 but hold on suppose I realize I made a mistake and I want to change a setting or frequency set how can I do that at this stage? IVJ at the top right of the channel control panel, you'll see three buttons. The rightmost one with the X closes the panel, as you'd expect. However, if you use this to close, you won't be able to change anything, it simply closes the panel and locks the channel so it can be changed. Its purpose is to allow you to close the channel and move on to set up the next one. So, to fix my mistake, I must click the settings button instead with the curvy wave image. This also closes the panel, but it unlocks the channel so I can make changes. However, when I've done, I must again tick the allow channel overwrites box before I reopen the channel, otherwise it will discard my correction. The leftmost, but then goes further it unlocks the channel and clears all sets so I can start again. However, it leaves my settings intact. Nice. Now here's a different case. Let's say I want to treat for Epstein-Barr virus. So, again, I type Epstein into the search field, and I get 43 results. The set I want to use is Epstein-Barr virus 1 extra, the 14th in the list. Drogam preset search Epstein clear spooky 2 April 1st 2016 EBV EBV Epstein-Barr virus 1 Epstein-Barr virus 1 Epstein-3 air virus 2 Epstein-3 air virus 2 Epstein-3 air virus 3 program options frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier amplitude wobble 111033 disabled CAFA 1051722 667,669,738,825 Vega 660,663,669 CAFA 428465660727776778 880 extra 1.1, 4.9, 6.29, 20 27.5, 738,744,776,778 CAFA 1044 extra 95,125,330. 444, 788, 802, 1550, 1800, 1865, 2720, 10,000, 11,640, 62 equal 1800, 11,718, extra 105172253660663669743 825, 1032, 1920 duty side amplitude offset phase angle. 3 out 1 out 2 50 50 20 20 0 0 0 0 0 percent 16 frequency limits hertz 0 use harmonic type 64,000 hours x3 equal experimental apply 16 steps plus minus 0.02 percent feathering Epstein Barr virus 1 herpes virus causing mononidiosis, also called infectious mononucleosis or glandular fever, C sets FRG eats. When you select some sets, you'll see additional notes related to your selection appear in the area ringed in red above. Usually, these instruct or inform. Some will also describe important settings you must make for that set when you load it. Back to content 62 so I double click Epstein-Barr virus 1. 
Now my selection field looks like this channel 35 channel data email program preset allow channel overwrites notes one every time three email message VR enable email selected programs F send screenshot I send error log Epstein bar virus one extra total runtime 0049 send email save as I've also ensured that the allow channel overwrites box is ticked so I don't forget to do it after I've made my settings. Unless you also tick every time, you will have to tick this box immediately after loading all your sets. And this is a good habit to get into because you can get caught up in making settings and forget to do it before you try running the program. Well, I do anyway. The total runtime of your program, taking into account all repeats, is shown beneath the selection field circled in red above. However, because entering zero into the repeat program field tells Spooky2 to loop the program until I manually stop it, what you see here is the total time the program would take to run through just once. Now for our settings. We're killing pathogens here, and we have detox either running on another channel, or we'll load a detox program with appropriate settings in waveform after this one has finished. So we can choose settings that kill exclusively back to content 63 once again, I'm using remote mode for convenience, and I've loaded all its recommended settings 1 for repeat each set, 0 for repeat program, and a value of 0.334 dwell multiplier. I want all the power I can get for this virus. So I'm using one of John White's favorite kill settings here a better one is shown later. I also want to raise all the frequencies up into the KHZ range to be closer to the original fundamentals, so I enter 64,000 in the field of the frequency limits pane. Now is a good time to explain that each waveform in the list has its own row of controls. Those for the square wave we're using for these settings are shown in the red box. So all my settings are now entered. And I've remembered to tick the allow channel overwrites box, so I click the chosen channels button. Back to content 64 channel control 35 reverse lookup in dude octal 4.96.29202027.535723105121482120 estimated total runtime 00491010 treatment duration 00000 output frequency 044th frequency waveform duty side amplitude offset phase angle out 10 square 50% of 0% 0 degrees out 20 inverse plus sync 50% of 0 percent zero degrees and here's my loaded channel control panel waiting for me to click the start button next we'll take a look at building a complex healing program specifically I want to normally and stimulate a whole bunch of organs and systems in one go normally adrenal gland function blood pressure and circulation endocrine glandular system and lymphatic system I also want to stimulate and normally my kidney and liver functions plus a couple of others thrown in for good measure. The important thing here is that I can use the same waveform to optimize all these tasks. If I added in some pathogen killing sets, I'd be more limited in my choices for settings and waveforms because what I do must work for both these different jobs. Back to content 65 to get started, I type normal into the search box when program for set WJ search normal clear W customize spooky 2 April 1st 2016 nervous system function street normalize estrogen product normalize red 3 lewd cell F extra 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 764 13 51 15 24 normalize white blood cell extra 1434 pancreas function stimulate extra 654 pineal function normalize extra 480 pineal function stimulate extra 662,480 80 program options out 1 out 2 frequency. Multiplier 1 duty side 50 50% repeat every frag 1 amplitude 20 20 V repeat each set 1 offset 00% repeat program 0 phase angle 00, 0 dwell multiplier 1 amplitude wobble disabled ZL 0% 16 same frequency limits hertz 0 use harmonic type hex x equal experimental apply spook I. 2 SL. 132 per watts normalize white blood cell production plus minus 0.02% feathering AJ% percent spooky 2 returns 144 results for my search, and adrenal function normalize extra is fifth in the list please note that US spelling is used throughout the database, so it's normalize instead of normalize, and hemorrhage and edema instead of hemorrhage and edema. By double clicking each one, I then add blood pressure normalize extra, circulation stimulate normalized extra, Endocrine system function normalize extra, glands general normalize extra, kidney function normalize stimulate extra, liver function stimulate and normalize extra, lymph function stimulate normal extra, 
plus a few others I think I might need. Here, I need to point out something that's important when searching if I had typed normalize into the search box instead of normal, my results wouldn't have included lymph function stimulate normal extra. So it pays to give some thought to what you type in order to search. In general, partial words often work better than complete ones, stimuli will find stimulate, stimulatory, and stimulation. Back to content 66 so now here's my selection field, stuffed to the roof with sets, as you can tell by the appearance of a scroll bar channel 35 channel data a program preset allow channel overwrites notes one every time email message email r enable email selected programs f send screenshot i send error log adrenal function normalize extra blood pressure normalize extra circulation stimulate normalized extra endocrine system function normalize extra glands general normalize extra kirt and pv function normalist stimulate extra total runtime 003 send email save as but I've loaded so many sets that I've lost count. Not to worry, Spooky2 tells me that I have 11 sets loaded into this channel. The set count is circled in red at the bottom right of the selection field. Note that the program runtime is still short even through there are 11 sets. It's 33 minutes, to be precise. This tells me that all the sets I've loaded are very short, with each containing just one frequency. It's perfectly fine to stuff your programs like this with very short sets. But it would be a big mistake to load, say, 10 sets each with an individual runtime of 60 minutes. Why? Because in remote mode, each repeated frequency sets needs to be reasonably close in time to the last one, otherwise you're giving pathogens a chance to recover and or mutate. If you loaded 10 1 hour sets, this would mean the break of 9 hours between each set repetition. Not good. So please don't do it. Aim for an absolute maximum program runtime of about 3-4 hours or less. With Spooky 2, more is not always better. Back to content 67 so now I have the sets in my super program for healing loaded, I need to enter the settings I want originally, Dr. Royal Raymond Rife's waveform for killing was the damp sign, which can be extremely effective at very high frequencies. The vast majority of commercial Rife machines today can only transmit up to 1 mhz. But Spooky2 can transmit up to 25 mHz using its unique wave cycle multiplication technology so even though my frequencies are all quite low, I've chosen the waveform Dr. Rife used to cure cancer, the damp sign. But note that square and plain sawtooth waves can also be used, and may actually be better for low frequencies. There's one very important difference in these settings, dwell multiplier is 1 instead of 0.33. This is because organ system support programs use frequencies to entrain, not to kill. This requires adequate time, so we use the default dwell. Note that this applies to all healing programs, including detox where possible. 68 program options frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier amplitude wobble frequency wobble 1 duty side 1 amplitude 1 offset 0 phase angle 1 disabled disabled out 1 out 2 50 50 percent 20 20 v 0 0 percent 0 0 0 0 percent 16 0 percent 16 frequency limits hertz step steps use harmonic type decade equal experimental apply L frequencies directly do MOT sort frequencies amplitude ramp 0 F up T down pause from 080 IPM T to 108 1 PM T out 1 R out 2 4 reduce amplitude 10 skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate frequencies auto start hertz gate kilohertz F2 equal F1 X hertz add FI to F2 out 1 equal 0 X1 plus 0 hertz out 2 equal out 1 X1 plus 0 R hertz out 2 equal out 1 x1 j volt swap. Waveform 0 seconds f swap frequencies plus amplitudes for out 1 and out 2 2 cr cr c c c waveform l w n j l i r r r r r r r r spike length ratio spectrum colloidal silver i signed follow out 1 spike plus ink inverse plus ink 8 8 16 16 1 1 r w w count 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 plus spike spike back to contents now that all my sets and settings are entered. And I've made sure that the all-important allow channel overwrites box is tech. I'm good to go. So I click my red channel button, and my start button awaits channel control 35 start hold stop reverse look up FTNDUDE octal 13 35 13 35 13 35 15 15 15 15 
1337 estimated total runtime 004333 treatment duration 0000 adrenal function normalize extra blood pressure normalize extra circulation stimulate normalized extra endocrine system function normalize extra glands general normalize extra kidney function normalize stimulate extra liver function stimulate and normalize extra lymph function stimulate Normal extra output 337 out 1 out 2 337 frequency 0 0 15 waveform damped inverse plus sync R1 duty side 50% 50% 0 frequency 0 44 amplitude of, of offset 0% 0% phase angle 0 degrees 0 degrees personally, I actually like sitting down to work out the best settings for a program I want to run, some of my decisions are based on science, some are intuitive and others are in the time-honored rife tradition of try it and see. However, there are times when you come up with effective but complex settings which are tedious to enter and can be hard to remember if you suffer with certain neurological symptoms. For this reason, and for people in a hurry, Spooky2 offers a way to save a program, with all its sets and settings, so you can store and recall it instantly. We call this a preset program, and there's no limit to the number of presets you can save and store, as long as you're prepared to scroll through the resultant menu. Back to content 69 so let's clarify our terminology at this point a frequency set is a collection of individual frequencies, a program is a collection of individual frequency sets, and a preset is a program together with all of its desired settings. Let's say I've noticed a lot of aerosols spraying by high altitude jet aircraft, or chemtrailing, going on in my area, and I've found, like many, that it seems to be affecting my breathing. It's a good idea for me to assemble a preset with frequency sets that will help take care of this so I can just look out the window at the sky, and load it up if they're spraying us again. So first, we'll assemble all our frequency sets, and I start by typing chemtrail into the search box. Program preset IT search chemtrail clear J. Customize SPOOKV 21st April 2016 COPD Chronic Obstructive P Extra I COPD Extra I Detox Chemtrail 1 Extra 100 310,610,970, 7500,15,310,87,500,204,720,309,210,405,271,200,410,457,200,264 7344, 1,132,779.9, 829.3, 659.2, 865,963.1,067,883.6, 800.4, 1,062,673.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 690.9, 
I double click it to load it. I also pick Lung General CAFL, Breathing Deep CAFL, and Breathing Difficulty Dyspnea Extra, and double click each in turn. This gives me a nice short program just over 40 minutes long whose sets will repeat more often in a given time, and thus will be more effective. Back to content 70 now I have the program I want to save as a preset. So I tick the allow channel overwrites box, then give a descriptive name to my preset so I can find it again. I type DB lungs into the preset program field, then move on to its settings because the sets in this preset are essentially detoxing and supporting my lungs, not killing things. I want to use a powerful square wave derivative, and they don't come any more powerful than the H-bond square. I've added to that power by selecting inverse plus sync. And because this is detox and support, I've also used the default dwell by entering 1 for the dwell multiplier. But I could also have chosen a simple square wave with 100% positive offset, a lower amplitude of 9.5 volts, perhaps a duty cycle of 67% rather than 50% to increase the number of harmonics, then coupled it with inverse plus sync as well. And my preset would probably be equally effective, or perhaps even better. As always, the key to effective riffing is thoughtful experimentation to find the best way for you. Program options out 1 out 2 frequency multiplier 1 duty side 50 50 repeat every frag 1 amplitude 20 20 repeat each set 1 offset 0 0 repeat program 0 phase angle 0 0 dwell multiplier 1 amplitude wobble disabled 0% 16 frequency wobble disabled 0% 16 v percent o frequency limits hertz 0 use harmonic type decade. Equal experimental apply step steps frequencies directly do NOT sort frequencies amplitude ramp pause from R up to I down 08 1 pm J 108 1 pm R out 1 R out 2 4 F reduce amplitude 10 I skip concurrent duplicate freq remove duplicate frequencies auto start J U U L W L F 2 equal F 1 X hertz hertz gate kilohertz add F I to F 2 out 1 equal 0 X out 2 equal out 1 X out 2 equal out 1 X swap waveform hertz R H Z volt seconds 1 2 R C R C R R C. RRRRCI swap frequencies plus amplitudes for out 1 and out 2 waveform XRC spike length ratio VNTLL. J. Colloidal silver sign RRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRR
I must ensure that the Allow Channel Overwrites box is ticked before I click the button for whichever channel I wish to run it on and here's my preset loaded into the Channel Control Panel and ready to start back to Contents 73 Channel Control 35 Start Pause Hold Estimated Total Runtime 0042000 JJY Treatment Duration 0000000U1 J Detox Chem Trail 2 Extra 16939.43 Lung General CAFL 9 Breathing Deep CAFL 20 Breathing difficulty dyspnea extra 36 72 12 34 37 02 36 72 73 44 100 you would put out one out two frequency 0 0 wave form square H bomb inverse plus sync RI duty side 50 percent 50 percent frequency 0 tenths reverse look up mute octo amplitude offset phase angle of 0 percent 0 degrees of 0 percent 0 degrees so I click start and I can breathe easier note when you install spooky 2 you will find JW presets in the menu. 2 contain John White's recommended settings for killing pathogens and 2 are for, for healing detox. Another is optimized for Charbom's affordable DNA frequencies found here. Latest additions are recommended settings for Spooky Central, PEMF Papimi Waveform, and Colloidal Silver Generation. Many function as a shell into which you can load your own choice of frequency sets from the conditions list. Now that you know how to build and run programs and presets, here are some recommended settings for killing pathogens, for detoxing and healing, and for Spooky 2S Spectrum sweeps back to content 74 JW killing these are John White's recommended settings for killing organisms using any targeted set. John recommends one as your dwell multiplier. However, I've had good results using .33, cutting total run times to one third. Try both and stick with what works best for you. Two versions are installed with Spooky 2 as presets in your presets menu, one for contact mode, and one for remote mode. These settings are most effective when a Spooky Boost 2.0 or a Spooky Boost cable is connected to the generator's two outs. Important run detox for toxins throughout the body CAFL at the same time on another generator, or immediately after on the same one. Back to content 75 JW. Healing these are John White's recommended settings for healing and for detoxification. John recommends using one as your dwell multiplier. However, I've had good results using .33, cutting total run times to one third. I've also had success substituting a plain sawtooth or a H bond square. Try all these alternatives, and stick with what works best for you. Two versions are installed with Spooky 2 as presets in your presets menu, one for contact mode and one for remote mode. These settings are most effective when a Spooky Boost 2.0 or a Spooky Boost cable is connected to the generator's two outs. Back to content 76th, Killing Healing These are David Halliday's recommended settings. They can be used with any frequency set for all purposes, killing, healing, and detox. When killing, you may wish to try entering 64,000 in the field of the frequency limits pane. This will raise all low subharmonics into the more effective KHZ range. These settings are designed for remote mode, and are most effective when a Spooky Boost 2.0 or a Spooky Boost cable is connected to the generator's two outs. Important if you use these for killing organisms, run detox for toxins throughout the body CAFL at the same time on another generator, or immediately after on the same run. Back to content 77 back to content spooky spectrum sweep these are the settings for a dual output program using the spooky spectrum sweep CUST set. Best used when a spooky boost 2.0 or a spooky boost cable is attached to the generators two outs with one spooky remote. They will also work when two spooky remotes are connected. With one spooky remote direct connected to out one, you will lose the fine grain second sweep from out two but the main sweep will still transmit. Dwell multiplier must be set to 1 for the sweep to work correctly. Important run detox for toxins throughout the body CAFL at the same time on another generator, or immediately after on the same run. Also eat fermented foods. 78 back to content spooky converge sweep these are the settings for a dual output program using the spooky converge sweep CUST set. Best used when a Spooky Boost 2.0 or a Spooky Boost cable is attached to the two outs with one Spooky remote, but will also work when two Spooky remotes are direct connected to out 1 and out 2. With one Spooky remote direct connected to out 1, you will lose the reverse second sweep from out 2, but the main sweep will still transmit. 
dwell multiplier must be set to 1 for the sweep to work correctly. Important run detox for toxins throughout the body CAFL at the same time on another generator, or immediately after on the same run. Also eat fermented foods. 79 Morgellons Slime Molds Convert Sweep Here's a dual output program using the Morgellons Slime Mold Sweep Cust Set. Best used when a Spooky Boost 2.0 or Spooky Boost cable is attached to the two outs with one Spooky Remote, also works when two remotes are direct connected. With one Spooky Remote direct connected to out 1, you will lose the reverse second sweep from out 2, but the main sweep will still transmit. The dwell multiplier must be set to 1 for the sweep to work correctly. This is an example of what you can do when you know the frequency range for any organism species. Back to contents 80 remote and contact modes. The vast majority of Spooky 2 users will spend their time using remote and contact modes. Although these two ways of working may seem worlds apart, in reality there are only a few important operational differences between them. Here's a table that summarizes those differences. Differences Remote Mode Contact Mode Transmission Wireless Delivery Spooky Remote Viaduct DNA Scalar Energy Wire Delivery Spooky Hand Cylinders Electrodes Via DC Electricity Treatment Durations Takes More Time Usually 1-3 Minutes Per Frequency Repeated Up to 20 Times a Day, or Even Non-Stop Takes Less Time Usually 3 Minutes Per Frequency Repeated Once or Twice a Day Radio Band Carriers Carrier Not Required Frequencies are received by every cell that contains DNA. But use of a dynamic carrier will add therapeutic effect. Carrier may be required for deep body penetration. Static or dynamic carriers are possible, with dynamic strongly recommended for added therapeutic effect. Spectrum sweeps currently, spectrum sweeps are specifically engineered to be used in remote mode only. Currently, spectrum sweeps are not effective in contact mode because of their voltage requirements. Inverse plus ink doubles the power of remote mode by inverting out 2's waveform and adding its harmonic content to out 1. Quadruples the power of contact mode by inverting out 2's waveform, doubling its voltage potential, and adding a to out 1 doubling the voltage of a signal squares its power. As you can see, remote mode looks extremely attractive for those who lead busy lives. And there is also the problem that the very powerful and effective spectrum sweeps are not yet practicable in contact mode. However, there are considerable benefits to be had from using both modes, and our recommendation is to do one contact session on the main problem every day, then switch the generator over to remote mode. So you get the best of both worlds. Back to contents 81 this section deals with using spooky 2 inches either mode, or both. Usually, the only software settings that need to be changed for each mode are repeat program, dwell multiplier, amplitude, and the reduce amplitude checkbox. The wonderful thing about remote treatment is that it allows you to come and go as you please, and to lead a normal daily life. You're not spending hours out of each day connected by electric cables to the generator, nor are you required to stay within about 10 centimeters of a plasma tube although certain serious illnesses will require some daily contact or plasma sessions. In fact, you can even go abroad, as some users have done, and remotely control Spooky 2 from a laptop, an iPad iPhone or an Android tablet smartphone using a free for personal use program called TeamViewer. So you can see it makes sense to use a spooky remote, particularly as they're so inexpensive. As you'll find out, it's even possible to connect two remotes to a generator, or to the Out1 and Out2 sockets on a Spooky Boost 2.0. However, we don't recommend connecting two remotes to its BN and MN sockets. And don't connect a BN and an MN directly to the generator or its pass-through connections on a Spooky Boost 2.0 either. The remote's opposing field polarities mean that the signals will likely cancel each other out. It's not a good idea either to connect two different transmission devices to a Spooky Boost 2.0 at the same time, like a remote and pair of electrodes. This is because every connection uses up power. For everyday use with one Spooky remote and a set of Spooky tube electrodes, here are the out2 settings to enter type 1 inch both factor X fields, and 0 in the constant plus field. You can also choose to copy your gate settings if any from one output to the other. There's another setting to make at the bottom of the window out1 equal 0 x0 0 minus 0 hertz out2 equal out1 x1 plus 0, or hertz out2 equal out1 1, 1 volt swap waveform 0 seconds are swap frequencies plus amplitudes for out1 and out2 back to contents 82 cents they're in the 2 column. These controls only affect OUT2, 
so you use them with a spooky boost or two spooky remotes. By its nature, direct connect to out 1 means that out 2 is not being used, so these controls do nothing in this case. With a boost or dual remotes, follow out 1 makes out 2 copy the waveform settings only from out 1 to out 2, out 2's frequencies are controlled by out 2. With a spooky boost and follow out 1 selected, you must alter out 2's frequency factor or constant settings in some way. Otherwise both signals will be identical, and cancel each other out. Select inverse plus sync or spike plus sync instead. Selecting a different wave for out 2 deselects all options here since you can't sync two different waveforms. Finally, when you're switching between contact mode and remote mode on one generator, don't forget to change these settings program options frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier program options frequency multiplier 1 repeat every freq 1 repeat each set 1 repeat program 0 dwell multiplier 0.33 program options frequency multiplier 1 repeat every freq 1 repeat each set 1 repeat program 120 dwell multiplier 0.33 a contact repeat b remote repeats endless loop c remote repeats timed Full dwell necessary dwell cut to one third dwell cut. To one third a inch contact mode, just one run through the program is necessary all repeats are one, but default dwell should be used one. B in remote mode, each set should be repeated once. You can run an endless loop by entering zero for repeat program. You can safely reduce default dwell times to one third by entering point three three as the value for dwell multiplier. See you can also choose to run a time loop in remote mode. A value of 124 repeat program delivers the equivalent of 7 full contact treatments. But the dwell is cut to 0.33, so they're delivered one after another in a third of the time. So if your program takes 60 minutes in contact mode, using the settings in example C above would deliver 7 in a row in 2 hours 20 minutes. It's tempting to consider going all remote, but some of Spooky 2's goodies are best used in contact mode. Back to contents 83 you can quadruple the power of remote mode by using a spooky boost 2.0. Connecting two remotes directly to one generator combines harmonics to the second remote, boosting effectiveness. However, even with one remote, you can boost your treatment power very substantially indeed by using the Holland 11th harmonic effect, or by using extremely high frequencies. The Holland 11th Harmonic Effect Remote Contact Dr. Anthony Holland demonstrated that when the 11th harmonic of any frequency is applied simultaneously, its results are dramatically improved. Our own research agrees. There are two different ways to achieve this. The first uses frequency addition anner 11 in the Hertz field. Check the box on the left and choose Add Fi to F2 from the menu. Spooky 2 shows the new additive wave in the waveform display. But Spooky2 can also be set up to use the higher harmonic as a variable carrier, a world first. The carrier helps body penetration and also provides a powerful punch. As before, enter 11 in the Hertz field. Check the box on the left and select Modulate F2 using FIM DSB from the menu. Spooky2 shows the new modulated wave in the waveform display. To create dynamic carriers using octal multipliers 64, 128, Back to contents 256, etc., always try to use a value that will transpose your frequencies up to at least 50,000 Hz or higher. Damped waves have built-in gating, this makes them much better at dealing with viruses, pathogens, and cancer cells. For frequencies lower than about 1 mHz 1 million Hz, a damped square wave format is best. This applies to most of the frequencies in Spooky 2S database. Frequencies greater than about 1 mHz are best used with the damp sinusoidal formats. This would include all the original rife frequencies and some of Spooky 2's custom sets cost, extra. Contact mode note because this method allows you to use the Holland 11th harmonic as a dynamic carrier frequency, it means that contact electro treatments can be made much more effective, with deeper body penetration without requiring a Spooky Boost 2.0. Using very high frequencies remote contact the Spooky 2-5M generator has a top limit of 5 mHz for arbitrary waves, which is what Spooky 2 creates. Using its wave cycle multiplier technology, Spooky 2 can transcend 84 F2 equal FIX 11 Hz LW add FI to F2, F2 equal FIX 11 Hz 0W modulate F2 using F1M DSB this hard limit radically. 
Here's how to transmit up to 25 MHz with zero fall off in power or waveform distortion. You can use any waveform in the top red box for out one, or their counterparts in the custom menu's bottom red box. Make your settings for out two. Now enter 5 into your chosen waveform's wave cycle multiplier X field in red above. This tells Spooky2 to create 5 subwaves inside a single wave cycle. Since the hard limit for all XMs is 5 MHZ, a value of 5 back to contents will multiply this up to a ceiling of 25 MHZ. Spooky2 will then upload the wave of fun to the generator and instruct it to run at 5 MHZ. But the output frequency will actually be what you specified, be transmitted at full power, and with perfect waveforms up to 25 MHZ. Now you have to transpose your low frequencies to higher values. There's no need to get out a calculator or re-enter numbers to do this frequency multiplier LJ just use Spooky 2S frequency multiplier feature. This is normally set to a default value of 1, but you can click in the field and set any value you wish. However, you should examine the list of frequencies you're transmitting so you can determine the best multiplier to use. Aim to get your lowest frequency up into the MHZ millions of hertz range, or as close to 1 MHZ as possible. Although you can actually go higher than 25 MHZ with this, note that towards the top end of your overdriven frequency range, power will attenuate as frequency increases, and the wave shapes will not be as accurately formed. But Spooky2 makes it possible to use your Spooky2 XM generator to output accurate and powerful frequencies far beyond its hardware design limits. 85 Spooky Boost 2.0 on dual remotes The Spooky Boost 2.0 signal processor enables you to combine the output of OUT1 and OUT2 and transmit a composite signal via a single Spooky remote, or electrodes. However, you can also use two Spooky remotes. Each remote needs its own DNA. While every set in the treatment database can be made more powerful by adding a Spooky Boost 2.0 or a second Spooky remote, some can actually have extra functionality added and a few require one or the other to work optimally. You'll always find the setup information for these in their additional notes 1 program preset v search normal clear f7 customized spooky 2 april 1st 2016 nervous system function street normalize estrogen product normalize red 3 lewd cell p extra 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 764 13 51 15 24 normalize white blood cell extra 1434 f1 pancreas function stimulate extra pineal function normalize extra pineal function stimulate extra program options 654 480 662, 480 frequency multiplier repeat every freq repeat each. Set repeat program dwell multiplier amplitude wobble duty cycle amplitude offset phase angle disabled out 1 out 250 50% 2020 v 00% 0000% 16 frequency limits hertz 0 use harmonic type 0 hex equal experimental apply spdqky normalize white blood cell production. 132 slash 144 steps J plus, 02% feathering R, to see any set's additional notes, select it in the list. Its full name and notes if any will appear in the area ringed in red. So why would you ever want to use two spooky remotes instead of a spooky boost 2.0 with one? Here's one very good reason epidemics remote you can easily treat a whole family for the same condition with a single spooky remote. But you can treat a whole neighborhood with two. Most people assume that when we talk about using fingernails, we mean that one person's DNA package should consist of multiple nails. Not true. You don't even need a full fingernail, a small segment of a nail will be just back to contents 86 fine. Personally, I cut each fingernail clipping into three or four small parts, and use one part per remote. If you go smaller than this, so you can fit up to 50 nail segments into one spooky remote. Even the tiniest sliver of a fingernail will contain DNA. So with two remotes on one generator, you could treat up to 100 people at a time. All will receive exactly the same treatment and power as if there were only one being taken care of. Load the set as you want and check all additional notes for extra settings information. Then make these settings type 1 inch both factor fields, and 0 in the constant field. You can also choose to copy your gate settings if any from one output to the other. Then select follow out 1 to copy the waveform and related settings, and you're ready for some prime spooky 2 action. This copies what's going through out 1 to out 2, so the signals from both outputs are identical. 
Spooky Spectrum Sweep Dual Output Turbo Boost Remote This all pathogen sweep in the database is already a very powerful weapon against viruses, bacteria, and parasites. In its default state, it can work fine with just one spooky remote. But if you add a Spooky Boost 2.0 or a second remote, you can make it output a complementary sweep that will completely saturate the frequency bandwidth occupied by viruses and bacteria with mortal oscillatory rates MORs, giving them no place to hide. Load the Spooky Spectrum Sweep set, make settings as detailed in its additional notes, then enter the following back to contents 87 out 1 equal 0 x 0 minus 0 hertz out 2 equal out 1 x.25 plus 0. R hertz out 2 equal out when 1 volt swap wave form 0 seconds F swap frequencies plus amplitudes for out 1 and out 2 type 0.25 and 0 in the frequency factor and constant field second line. This will divide all out L sweep frequencies by 4 and transmit the result. So out L spectrum sweep runs from 0 hertz to 3.2 million hertz, while out 2 adds a second spectrum sweep from 0 hertz to 800,000 hertz, which is where most major pathogens live. Type 1 in the volts factor field third line. This copies out 1's amplitude settings to out 2. Again, select follow out 1 to make out 2 transmit the same waveform and settings as out 1. Now you're ready to go hunting pathogens, both known and unknown. Follow out will see spike plus ink inverse plus sync spooky converge sweep dual output turbo boost remote running frequencies from low to high can have a different effect from running them high to low. Some targeted sets are designed to cripple pathogen components in a certain order for efficient devitalization. Some are also designed to kill life cycle stages in a set order. This program gives the best of both words by creating two sweeps, low to high, and high to low. Both sweeps will converge on and pass through their mutual center frequency, coming at organisms from both sides. To run the spooky converge sweep, load the set, make the settings shown in the set's additional notes, then enter these also out 1 equal 0 x 0 i, 0 hertz out 2 equal out 1 x minus 1 dash 3 million 258,125 minus 1 hertz out 2 equal out 1. 1 volt swap wave form 0 seconds f swap frequencies plus amplitudes for out 1 and out 2 type minus 1 and 3 million 258,125 in the frequency factor and constant fields top line. The negative factor tells Spooky to sweep on out 2 inches in negative direction from high to low, and the constant value tells it to start at 3,258,125 Hz. Back to contents 88 type 1 in the voltage multiplier field second line. This copies out 1's amplitude settings to out 2. Select follow out 1 to make out 2 transmit the same waveform and related settings as out 1. Now you've got two spooky spectrum sweeps running in opposite directions, both produced by one 5M generator. Harmonic power remote contact frequencies are always more effective when they're augmented by a higher harmonic of themselves. Remember that every frequency can be transposed down into the human audio range and experienced as a musical pitch. So what you're doing by adding a harmonic is playing a chord. In music, and in rife, a chord is always more powerful than a single note frequency. Although harmonics can be calculated by repeatedly adding the fundamental, or original, frequency, it's easier to just use a factor. Some harmonics we've come across in Rife include the Holland 11th harmonic 11 is the factor, the 3rd harmonic 3 is the factor, and the 64th harmonic used in the Parasites Ropeworm CUST set. So to add a harmonic frequency on the second spooky remote, you simply enter your positive value in the second factor field of the outs controls and a value of zero in the constant field. The frequencies transmitted via out1 will then be multiplied by your harmonic value and transmitted simultaneously via out2. It's also possible to add a harmonic by building it into the fundamental frequency using the F2 equal F1 controls, then choosing an option from the menu below. But using a second remote and the outs controls gives you something you can't get any other way, control over your harmonics amplitude. Here. Out1 has an amplitude of 5 volts. Let's say you wish to add the Holland 11th harmonic but run it at 9 volts. Enter the settings on the left to get the results on the right 9 slash 5 equal 1.8. Back to contents 89 inches the second example, Out1 amplitude is 20 volts. This time, you decide you want your Holland 11th harmonic to run at 7 volts. Enter the settings on the left to get the results on the right 7 slash 20 equal 0.35. 
the Schoon Effect Remote Contact Aubrey Schoon was one of the UK pioneers of Rife therapy. The story, possibly apocryphal, is told that while experimenting with two machines transmitting what he believed was the same frequency, he found that the effects were greatly amplified, but was then astounded to discover that one of the machines had actually been transmitting a frequency that was 0.1 Hz greater than the other. There are still people alive today who were part of that circle who claim it never happened, and that it was based on a conversational misunderstanding that became set in stone. Nevertheless, there are some highly experienced researchers who swear by it, and use it constantly. Here's how to do it using both outputs in Spooky 2 out 1 equal 0 x 0 minus 0 hertz out 2 equal out 1 x 1 plus 0.1, or HZ out 2 equal out 1 x 1 volts swap waveform 0 seconds I swap frequencies plus amplitudes for out 1 and out 2 just enter a value of 1 in the second factor field to copy out else frequencies to out 2, then enter 0.1 in the constant field. Simplicity itself. If you wish. You can add extra punch if you choose to implement the Holland 11th harmonic on the signal from out one by making the following extra settings in the F2 equal FI pane I F2 equal Phi X 11 Hz 1 1 add FI to F2 J now you have two copies of a waveform that incorporates its own 11th harmonic, and one of them is, 1 Hz greater than the other. Plus, its voltage is controllable. Back to contents 90 foot plates and tens pads I've already shown you how to connect and use handheld electrodes in the sections headed spooky tube electrodes on page 12 and standard electrodes on page 13. But there are other kinds of electrodes, too, foot plates and tens pads. Foot plates are electrodes which can be used in addition to, or instead of, handheld tubes. Some commercial Rife machines only have one set of connections, so they allow you to use tubes or foot plates but not both. You can, of course, use an adapter to physically connect both. But in this case, your output power will be shared between them. With Spooky 2, you can simply connect your tubes to out 1 and your foot plates to out 2, and you'll get up to 20 controllable volts from each. Believe it or not, your skin is quite a good low voltage insulator. This is why higher amplitudes are required for contact treatments, generally 14 to 20 volts. By adding foot plates to your hand tubes, you can get greater body coverage without skin resistance attenuating the signal too much. This is generally a good idea when dealing with systemic problems. And it's specifically indicated when you're treating the legs or lower trunk, colon or lower GI tract, gynecological, and prostate problems, for example. The foot plates on the left came with a mid-range commercial machine, and they're full-sized, solid plates of stainless steel. The Nike tennis wristbands I use to ensure contact with my soles whenever I wish to use them while lying down. The hand electrode at the top is for size comparison with the image on the following page back to contents 91 the set of foot plates came with a much more expensive setup, and I've included the same hand electrode in the photo at the same scale so you can see how much smaller they are, half as long and wide as the previous set. I've no idea what kind of metal they're made from. But when you pick one up by its connector, it will wobble and bend readily. Proving that price is no guarantee of quality. However, they serve to show how easy it would be to make these yourself. Two decent sized pieces of thin stainless steel, attach the alligator clips cable that came with your generator, and you have a serviceable set of foot plates to connect to out too. When you do use foot plates, remember that the skin on the soles of your feet is much tougher which means it's a better insulator. So it's a good idea to place your foot plates on a towel and wrap them in kitchen tissue dampened with tap or salted water to enhance conductivity. And although they're called foot plates, you can use them anywhere on your body. A more flexible alternative is a TENS pad right. These are rubber sticky pad electrodes for transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation units used in medicine for pain control. They are available on the Spooky 2 mall site here, along with the TENS cable. Pad placement should be on either side of the area to be treated. For an organ, front and back is best, so you transect it with energy through the body. Some TENS pads use snap-on electrical connections, and some use pin sockets like those pictured right. Back to contents 92 for snap-on connectors, simply attach an alligator clip to each one TENS pads should be used in pairs, like any other electrodes. For pads that use sockets, you can buy two of the TENS pin 6-inch cables pictured below here. Each pin is inserted into a pad socket, 
and the other end of each cable can be stripped of its insulation and connected to an alligator clip. The connections can then be wrapped with paper masking tape. Or, if you can handle a screwdriver, you can quickly make up your own permanent cables using tens pins and banana plugs, both from here. Attach these to the ends of two suitable lengths of 12 gauge single core wire from any electrical supplies store. Then connect it all up to your generator with this BNC to dual banana plug adapter for a more durable, tidy, and professional setup pictured below right. For foot plates and for tens pads, here are the settings, which can also be used to connect two sets of hand electrodes to treat two subjects with the same condition, as you'll see in a moment out 1 equal 0 x 0 plus 0 hertz out 2 equal out 9 1 plus 0. R hertz out 2 equal out 9 1 volts swap wave form 0 seconds swap frequencies plus amplitudes for out 1 and out 2 I follow out spike plus sync I see inverse plus sync 1 back to contents 93 using a carrier wave contact carrier waves allow frequencies to penetrate the body easier. However, they are not required for remote mode. In contact mode, you can use almost any carrier frequency. We recommend using the Holland 11th harmonic as your dynamic contact carrier since it will not only carry the encoded fundamental frequencies, but also act as a powerful additional left hook in itself. Today's most common static carrier waves are 3.1 mHz and 3.3 mHz. We don't recommend using static frequencies for this, but here's how you'd create a 3.1 mHz carrier out 1 equal 0 x 0 0 Hz out 2 equal out 1 x 0 to 3 million 100,000. R hertz. Out 2 equal out 1 x 1 volts. Swap wave form 0 seconds. I swap frequencies plus amplitudes for out 1 and out 2. This will create your carrier on out 2. Note that static carriers have no therapeutic effect, they're used for transport only, and may be potentially counterproductive if used long term. You can enter any carrier frequency you like, and out 2's gate is completely independent. To create a dynamic carrier instead, Enter your multiplier back to contents value like 11 for the Holland 11th harmonic into the first field in the second line of the outs controls factor, and 0 into the second field constant. Using electrodes with two subjects contact Spooky2 allows two subjects with the same condition to receive frequencies using two pairs of contact electrodes. Here's how make all the settings you require for waveform, etc. Then click the follow out one selector button at the bottom of the waveform pane. Now go to the outs controls and enter the following out 1 equal 0 x 0 plus 0 hertz out 2 equal out 9 1 dash 0, or hertz out 2 equal out 9 1 volts swap wave form 0 seconds swap frequencies plus amplitudes for out 1 and out 2 you can also choose independent gate settings, and even change the amplitude of out 2 if you wish. Connect one pair of electrodes to out 1 of the generator, and another pair to out 2. Now both subjects will receive the same frequencies. 94 inverse plus sync I've shown you how Spooky2 provides a way to greatly increase the effectiveness of contact treatment by connecting foot plates or TENS pads in addition to the handheld electrodes, thus putting both outputs to work. And of course connecting a Spooky Boost 2.0 also harnesses both outputs by optimally mixing their signals and sending the result to one remote or set of electrodes. But can you do this without a Spooky Boost 2.0? Yes, you can if you have two BNC to alligator clips cables. Every 5M generator comes from the factory with one. If you have more than one generator, you can use a second cable. You can also buy these at electronics stores, or make one yourself. By doing this, you can apply a constant amplitude of up to 20 volts in contact mode treatments doubling the voltage squares its power. So you get four times the power, thanks to inverse plus sync. Here's how connect both cables to out 1 and out 2. Now separate the red clips from the black ones we won't be connecting the black clips, so you can wrap each one in paper masking tape. Now connect one red clip to a spooky tube electrode, and do the same for the other red clip, each red clip should be attached to an electrode. By connecting in this way, you're about to enable a true bipolar signal, which give an additional fourfold increase in power. Back to contents 95 now. Depending on when you bought your XM generator, you may have one simple extra step to complete. Models sold from about two weeks after the range was launched will automatically synchronize both their outputs when you select Inverse Plus Sync or Spike Plus Sync and Spooky 2. So if you bought yours after that time, you can skip this step. See here for help with identification. If you were an early adopter, 
simply enter the following key sequence on the generator's front panel CH2, F5, F5, sync, TF. NB after you've finished your inverse plus sync session, you must enter the exact same key sequence again to desynchronize the outputs and return the generator to normal use. Later models automatically desynchronize when you reselect follow out 1. Follow out LJ now select inverse plus sync. C spy plus sync JL inverse plus S9 J Lu J Y R program. But before you click the start button, please make sure you check this box in the program options pane. Reduce amplitude 10 kHz while you don't, and there's a low frequency somewhere in your program. You're going to have a very close encounter with your ceiling, because at this amplitude, low frequencies are going to bite hard enough to make you jump like a steep lacaser. So you can imagine what this kind of power is going to do to pathogens. For killing, this can also be prevented by using the JW killing preset. And before standard electrodes, use a second BNC to do a banana adapter on out too and connect both electrodes to the red sockets. Inverse plus sync makes an amplifier unnecessary for all but the most serious problems. But there's more, isn't there always with Spooky too? Because the implementation of inverse plus sync also enabled something very special indeed. Originally, I called it the chainsaw wave thanks to my writer's flair for the dramatic. I've calmed down a bit since, so I can discuss it sensibly now. Up to this, We've only mentioned using inverse plus sync in contact mode. But note that this can be used in remote mode, too. Back to contents 96 back to contents in order for you to understand it clearly, I want to show you what happens to the waveforms on out 1 and out 2 when the three different options at the bottom of the list are selected. In all three cases, the waveform is the default damp sinusoidal. On the left, follow out 1 is selected. This means that the signal on out 1 is copied exactly to out 2. You can see this clearly because the red and blue waveforms are identical. Over the first peak, both waves amp up from 0 to plus 10 at the same time, so the total energy from this positive peak is 10 volts from each output. In the second example, the only difference is that I've selected inverse plus sync instead of follow out 1. At first glance, the red and blue waveforms don't appear to have changed. But look closer. The blue one is no longer an exact copy of the red one. Instead, it's a reversed mirror image of it. Over the first peak, the red wave moves from 0 to plus 10 at the same time as the blue wave moves from 0 to minus 10. This means that the total energy from this positive peak is now 20 volts from each output since the difference between minus 10 and plus 10 is 20. 97 and this piece of electronic wizardry explains how an initial 10 volt signal on out 1 can become a 20 volt wallop when you use two outputs coupled with inverse plus sync. But something rather different happens to the wave on out 2 when you select spike plus sync and put a tick in its invert waveform checkbox to the right. For every subwave in the composite waveform and there are 11 as you can see from the X field spooky 2 injects one high voltage spike at every positive and negative peak on out 2. These spikes are extremely powerful and can be tailored to your liking. However, although they're based on the technical requirements for cell electroporation, higher voltages are required to cause cell walls to open. Nevertheless, this provides a unique and very powerful way to hammer the living daylights out of even the toughest pathogen or parasite. For certain acute or very advanced conditions where time is of the essence, however, Spooky Central will deliver rapid and effective electroporation puncturing pathogen cells walls to kill in milliseconds, and opening up cancer cells so that rife frequencies delivered via plasma can destroy them quickly. Now I need to show you how to sculpt and control all this awesome power, so I'll start with the chainsaw wave graphic that John used to introduce in verse plus sync to the world. Back to contents 98 this is one single cycle of a damp sinusoidal that's been transformed into a chainsaw wave. As you can see, there are an awful lot of spikes, 50. To be precise, 25 of them positive and 25 negative. The number of spikes is controlled by the number of subwaves that make up the composite wave. 25 is entered in the X field. Spike length controls the length of time the spike is applied for. 2 is a good value for frequencies over 10,000 Hz, and 1 for frequencies lower than this. Spike ratio dictates how powerful the spike amplitude is in relation to the rest of the waveform. To demonstrate these controls more clearly, I'll use something a little less confusing to the eye, 
a plain sine wave back to contents 99 f2 equal f1 x add fi to f2 hertz waveform spike length ratio rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
the invert waveform system is even more flexible back to contents 105 f2 equal f1 x hertz at fi to f2 2 a r r r c 1 2 a r r r c waveform bx by follow out of spike plus ink inverse plus sync spike length ratio 16 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 spectrum percent 0 0 v plus spike f spike count 5 f2 equal f1 x ri at fi to f2 hertz waveform i w r r bx by bx by follow out of spike plus ink inverse plus ink r511 one one eleven eleven sixteen sixteen one one spike length ratio sixteen zero 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 spectrum percent zero zero v plus spike f spike count five back to contents I've returned to our earlier example of a sine wave so you can see this clearly. This image shows our sine wave on out one together with the spikes we've added via its spike length slash spike ratio controls. Spike plus ink is selected, and its invert waveform box is ticked. In most cases, this is exactly what you want. But you can invert every waveform in the list, not just the spike plus sync one. Here, I've chosen to invert the sine wave instead of the spike plus sync wave by ticking its invert waveform box, and sticking the spike plus sync box. If you compare the output waveform panes in both images, you can clearly see the two different output signals, they are mirror images of each other. Now that's what I call taking control. 106 The Spooky 2 Interface Spooky 2 June 1, 2016 C. John White File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help 1 Spooky 2 June 1, 2016 Program Preset Minus 3 Search Clear 7 Customize May 31, 2016 17 28 53 Database 1 Prov 17 Bio 17 Vega 17 Caffel 17 Extra W Cust 17 Rife 17 HCWKHZWALTI Abdominal cramps extra abdominal inflammation CAFL abdominal pain CAFL abdominal pain extra abscess no cardia steroid extra abscesses 2 extra abscesses 3 extra abscesses secondary CAFL 72 95 million 190,340 Seven two seven six six zero four six five four five zero four 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 zero four two eight three hundred eighty thousand one hundred forty six twelves ninety five ten thousand three thousand ninety five three three zero four zero five two two four four zero one six zero one two four twenty six five thousand ten thousand two two eight two three one two three seven six nine four seven one zero eight eight seven twenty eight ninety eleven thousand ninety two point one nine. 11,092.7,87.7,27.500.400.44.190.27.20.2170.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80.80
F2 wave form 1 alpha steam wave 1 alpha steam wave C follow out 1 C spike plus inc 17 inverse plus sync spike X length ratio 16 16 1 1 I slash plus spike 17 spike count 0 spectrum percent 0 0 spooky 7 0 slash 6092 air channel 41 channel data program FR allow channel overwrites notes I every time email enable email selected programs send screenshot or send error log for email message send email save as 350% T4PCGC2CH41DXBFTQOQQOOORXOKRE0CU0LPO0Pages10P20P30P401 menu bar to conditions, database and support three program options for channel S and user. Data web pane. 5 status bar. Back to contents 107 menu bar R file database global online U tiles advanced menu help J Spooky 2 has 7 menus which allow quick access to vital functions. Click on any blue link below to go to that section. File this menu offers commands for various file operations, like creating new frequency sets and sweeps. Reading or saving settings files, and loading new waves. It also allows you to exit Spooky 2. Database This menu features commands that allow you to load a different custom database from the one that's currently loaded, edit the custom database, and to load those edits immediately into Spooky 2. You can also export all additional notes for each set in the database as a text file. Global The Global Menus commands allow you to control all generators in your rig at the same time you can start. Pause, resume, hold, and stop everything all at once. Online choosing a command from this menu will launch your web browser and take you to various spooky to connected websites. Utiles you'll find 10 very useful commands in this menu, allowing you to install drivers, re-establish communication with offline generators, relate generators to port numbers, and identify patients. Advanced menu you won't find a list of commands in this menu. Instead, Clicking it opens the advanced menu where you can set all sort of important things, then forget about them. Help for very good reasons, there are actually no help related commands in this menu. Instead, you can see the people who help make Spooky 2 what it is today, and find out which version you're running. So let's start with the file menu and take a look at all its commands back to contents 108 file database global online U tiles advanced menu help. Create frequency set say create carrier sweep create spectrum sweep restore original default save as star chop default CTRL plus S refresh waveforms exit CTRL plus XK72 95190 3L2720 2489 2L10000 3000 K5000 10000 K225 million 231237 K2720 2170 1 K2720, 2170, 1 out 1 out 1 1. Create and save your own frequency sets. File database global online U tiles advanced menu help. Create frequency set create carrier sweeps AK72, 95190, 3 create spectrum sweep L2720, 2459, 2L10000, 3000, K5000. 10,000 K225 million 231,237 K2720, 2170, 1 K2720, 2170, 1 Restore Original Default Save as Star Chop Default CTRL Plus S Refresh Waveforms Exit CTRL Plus X Out 1 Out 1 3. Create and save your own Spectrum Sweep programs. Back to Contents. One File Database Global Online U Tiles Advanced Menu Help. Create frequency set say create carrier sweep V72, 95190, 3 create spectrum sweep restore original default save as star chop default CTRL plus S refresh waveforms exit CTRL plus XL2720, 2489, 2L10000, 3000, V5000, 10000, V225,231,237, K2720, 2170, 1v2720, 2170, 1out 1out 22. Create and save your own carrier sweep programs. File database global online U tiles advanced menu help create frequency set create carrier sweep create spectrum sweep restore original default save as star chop default CTRL plus S refresh waveforms exit CTRL plus XK72, 95190, 3L2720, 2489, 
to L10,000, 3,000, K5,000, 10,000 Pi 228,231,237 K2720, 2170, 1K2720, 2170, 1 out 1 out 255. C4. Restore Spooky 2S Original Factory Default Settings. File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Create Frequency Set Create Carrier Sweep Create Spectrum Sweep Restore Original Default Save as Starchut Default CTRL Plus S Refresh Waveforms Exit CTRL Plus X Fay. 72, 95190, L2720, 2439, to L10000, 3000, H5000. 10,000 H223,231,237 K2720, 2170, 1K2720, 2170, 1 out I out. 5055. Save the current settings as Spooky 2S Starchup Default File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Say Create Frequency Set Create Carrier Sweep Create Spectrum Sweep Restore Original Default Save as Starchup Default CTRL Plus S Refresh Waveforms Exit CTRL Plus XK72, 95190, 3L2720, 2439, 2L10000, 3000, H5000. 10,000 feet 223,231,237 K2720, 2170, 1K2720, 2170, 1 out 150 out 57. Quit Spooky 2. The Red X also does the same job. Back to Contents File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Create Frequency Set Create Carrier Sweep Create Spectrum Sweep Say. Restore original default save as Starchup default CTRL plus S refresh waveforms K72, 95190, 3L2720, 2489, 2L10000, 3000, K5000, 10000 Pi 223,231,237 Pi 2720, 2170, 1 Pi 2720, 2170, 1 exit CTRL plus X out 16. Reloads all custom user waveforms into Spooky 2. The Create Commands Create Frequency Set allows you to create your own frequency set and add it to your custom database. Simple codes to specify waveform, amplitude, offset, and other settings while the frequency set runs can be inserted. Create Carrier Sweep lets you design a unique type of sweep where the carrier, normally static, is modulated. Very powerful, and another Spooky 2 world first. Create Spectrum Sweep lets you create three different kinds of Spectrum Sweep, similar to the powerful Spooky Spectrum Sweep and Spooky Converge Sweep. 1101. This is the window that opens when you choose the Create Frequency Set command from the File menu. Back to Contents 111 Spooky 2 allows you to enter an unlimited number of your own frequency sets into a custom database. The Create Frequency Set screen contains comprehensive instructions. We'll reproduce them here in a moment so you can appreciate fully how much power you have when you write your own frequency sets and print them out if you wish. I program name program name click in the field and type your program name. Give it a good descriptive one so you'll be able to identify it in a search list. Something like Cancer Throat Sweep XX is good because it will show in searches for Cancer, Throat, and Sweep. You can substitute XX with your own initials, a numeral, or leave it out entirely. It's your choice. Frequencies now we come to enter the frequencies. You can either type them in, or copy and paste them all at once from another document. In all cases, each frequency in the set must be separated by a comma, with no spaces, otherwise Spooky2 will report an error and name the offending frequency set when your custom database is next loaded or you try to load the program you've just entered. So please check all the information you've entered here very carefully before finalizing your entry. You can also enter a plethora of very powerful commands in this field along with your frequencies. We'll deal with entering these commands in a moment. I I dwell dwell this is the amount of time in seconds you wish to transmit each frequency in your set for. If you're unsure of what this should be, 180 seconds is a good default. Note that you can specify individual frequency deviations from this default by entering a simple command shown later. Back to Contents 112 Additional Notes You can use Field This to add notes to your program for any purpose. 
the text you enter here will be included in all Spooky2 searches, and will appear in the text area beneath the conditions list when you click on the set's name. Additional notes I if you make a textual mistake when entering a set, don't worry, you can edit it later by selecting the Edit Custom Database command in the Database menu. You can also choose to manually open your custom file in Notepad and edit it there. The commands list the following commands are entered into the frequencies field at the point in your frequency sequence where you want them to take effect. Most letters can be capitals or lowercase. Letters are entered like this 125 W2A09000, 208, 1000, 7.83 XXXE frequency sweep. This is how you enter a sweep between two frequencies, XXX stands for one frequency, and E for the other. If you want an ascending sweep, enter the lower frequency first, then type a hyphen on the sweep command, followed by the higher frequency. For a downward sweep, enter the higher frequency first, then a hyphen, and then the lower one. Equal XXX custom dwell for any frequencies, you can specify different dwells from the default you want applied to the rest. Just type an equal sign the dwell command followed by the dwell in seconds. Back to content spooky 2 allows you to select a different waveform for every frequency in your set if you wish. WX waveform after the frequency for which you want to use a different wave, just type W followed by the number of the wave as shown in the list below. Use W for out one's waveform, and W for the wave on 0 at 2. Sine wave 1 square wave 2 sawtooth wave 3 inverted sawtooth 4 triangle wave 5 damp sinusoidal 6 damp square 7 H bomb sinusoidal 8 H bomb square 9 The last four waveforms shown above are only available on the Spooky 2-5M generators, not on the UDB1108S. 113 GX gate after the target frequency or command. Type G followed by 1 to turn gating on, and G followed by 0 to turn it off. With the Spooky 2-5M generator only, you can boost or cut the amplitude, or output voltage. Axe amplitude after your target frequency or command, type A followed by the voltage you wish to use. Aux offset after your target, for positive offset type uppercase O followed by the value desired as a percentage of amplitude rather than a voltage. For negative offset type lowercase O. PX phase angle after your target, type P followed by the value you require. LX light wavelength spooky 2 allows you to enter light wavelengths directly. Type L followed by your wavelength in nanometers nm. Spooky 2 will automatically convert this to the highest subharmonic frequency your generator is set up to transmit. CL can be used as a constant for out 2 c below. FX dictates the value you want for out 2s frequency factor. CX constant this is the value for out 2s frequency constant. Back to contents codes examples you have 6 frequencies, 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, and 600. You want 100 and 200 to transmit for your default dwell of 3 minutes, and 300 to transmit for 10 minutes, all using a square wave with amplitude of 9 volts and an offset of 0. Enter 100 w 2 a 9 200,300 equals 600, you then want 400 to sweep up to 450 over a period of 30 minutes using a sine wave. Add 400 minus 450 equal 1800 WL. Finally, you want 600 to use a square wave again for your default dwell. You also want an amplitude of 5 volts and a positive offset of 2.5 volts which is 50% of the amplitude. Add 600 w 2 a so here's your entire string of frequencies and commands 100 w 2 a 9 200,300 equals 600,400 minus 450 equals 1800 WL, 600 w 2 a 5 Here's another example that's specifically useful for Spooky Central you wish to run some very low frequencies using the plasma tube, 7.83, 10, 20, and 33 but spooky central outputs from LOOKHZ upwards. So how can you do this? By writing factor and constant commands 114 to control out to into your frequency set like the 7.83 F1C 7.83, 10C10, 20C20, 33C33, this creates beat frequencies of the exact values you want, and the signal's high frequency component ensures they will achieve complete cell penetration. Note that some features and waveforms are only available on the Spooky 2-5M generator, not on the UDB1108S.
When you're happy with your program, click the Save and Exit button. The following alert will appear IJ click Yes to write the new set to your custom database. Click No to return to the Create Frequency Set window and continue working on your set. Remember, you can always go back and edit your programs in the database editor available from the database menu. Back to Contents Clinic NZI Save and Exit Confirm Save and Exit If you wish to give back to the Spooky2 community, you can do so by ticking the box provided to email us your scan results for inclusion in an anonymous database that will be freely provided to all who need it. If you change your mind for some reason, you can simply click the Cancel button. The following alert will appear Exit without saving I click on Yes to Exit. Your set will not be saved and you will be returned to the main Spooky2 window. Clicking No brings you back to the Create Frequency Set window to continue working on your set. Please note that you will also see these same alerts in the Create Carrier Sweep and Create Spectrum Sweep windows when you click the Save and Exit and Cancel buttons. 115Q Create Carrier Sweep Zero Carrier Sweeps are vastly superior to modulation sweeps but will only work with Spooky Central. All frequencies are hit over a definable time period. You may create your own sweep to suit your requirements. Always connect OUT1 to input, OUT2 to modulation. Preset MARN give your preset a descriptive name. This will assist you to find this preset at a later date. Cancel save and exit carrier center frequency 200,000 modulation frequency 5500 frequency tolerance 0 0.0250 frequency application time 300 seconds hertz hertz carrier sweeps distribute power over a broad range. This frequency region will receive most of the power. The modulation is a fixed frequency. Low frequencies provide a narrow but powerful application of frequencies. The frequencies in this range will be applied for the frequency application time. Apply the frequency within the frequency tolerance for this number of seconds. Notes Spook RF logarithmic decibel percent zero carrier sweep and full carrier start frequency 197,225 hertz carrier finish frequency 202,775 hertz carrier sweep speed. 1667 hertz per second sweep duration 9 hours 15 minutes 200,000 hertz 400,000 hertz 600,000 hertz 600,000 hertz 1 million hertz 2. This is the window that opens when you select the create carrier sweep command from the file menu. Back to contents 116A carrier is a fixed frequency. More frequencies can be created if this frequency is turned on and off very rapidly. Another word for this is modulation. Usually this modulating frequency is quite high, so the switching cannot be observed. When a carrier frequency is modulated, multiple frequencies are created on either side of it. These are called sidebands. The modulation sets the distance between sidebands. Imagine an inverted hair comb. Its teeth represent frequencies created by a modulated carrier. Each tooth is evenly spaced, just as modulating a carrier frequency makes evenly spaced frequencies and the distance between each is the modulation frequency. Now imagine dipping the teeth into black ink and placing them onto white paper. You will see a series of black dots. Each is a frequency. Slide the comb lengthwise by one tooth. You now see a solid black line. Every frequency has been written by moving the comb fractions of an inch. This analogy closely explains how a carrier sweep works. Only a very small movement in the carrier is required to hit all frequencies. Until now, Rife machines have had fixed carriers. They could not sweep a wide range of frequencies by altering the carrier, since circuit efficiency would drop dramatically to make the machine useless. The only option available was a modulation sweep. In the comb analogy, the teeth would gradually move further apart. The comb would also grow larger to cater for the extra spacing. The dots would cross each other as the spacing increases. This means that each frequency is hit several times. While this sounds wonderful, there is an embarrassing disadvantage. Each frequency is produced for 8 seconds or less. Dr. Reif applied his frequencies for 3 minutes. This may explain why such sweeps have not produced spontaneous remissions as they should. The Spooky 2 carrier sweep applies each frequency once but it pounds on it thoroughly for at least 3 minutes. The carrier will receive most of the power, so choose a frequency in the center of your target range. The modulation frequency sets how far apart the other frequencies are. A high modulation frequency will cover a broader range, 
but the sweep time will increase since there are more frequencies to target between each comb tooth. The frequency tolerance sets the maximum distance a frequency can deviate but still be effective. Royal Rife specified one quarter of 1%, or 0.25%. Spooky 2 sets the default to 0.025%. The frequency application time sets how long each frequency will be applied within the tolerance band. When creating a carrier sweep, keep an eye on the sweep duration. This is the time required to complete the sweep. Often this can extend to many hours if the settings are altered without care. Spooky 2 can also perform modulation sweeps if required. Back to Contents 117 Create Spectrum Sweep. Spectrum applies many frequencies simultaneously. Here you may design your own spectrum sweep that covers a broad band of frequencies. Program name Give your program a descriptive name. This will assist you when you do a program search. The program will be saved in the custom database. Cancel spectrum low frequency 0 spectrum high frequency 3 million frequency tolerance 0.025 slash O frequency application time 180 seconds wave cycle multiplier 96x frequency hits per sweep 1 hertz hertz create single spectrum sweep uses out 1c create dual converge sweep uses both outs are create dual weighted sweep low freq weighting uses both out save and exit spectrum sweep and full spectrum equal 100% sweep start frequency equal 1,491,812.5 hertz sweep stop frequency equal 1,508,187.5 hertz frequency spacing equal 15,625 hertz total sweep duration equal 010530 sweep speed equal 4.16667 hertz slash second spectrum amplitude equal 0.208 volts database entry view cost 65.5 x equal 96 spectrum equal 100% 1,491,812.5-1,508,187.5-392930. Here's the window that opens when you choose the Create Spectrum Sweep command from the file menu. This allows you to design and create your own spectrum sweeps based on the information you input. Program name makes searches easier with a meaningful name. Including something like Spectrum or Sweep is a good idea. Spectrum low frequency spectrum high frequency enter your lower and higher sweep limits here. Example Dr. Helder Clark found that the bandwidth for molds and mycotoxins was approximately 77,000-288,000 Hz. To build a spectrum sweep to target these, you'd enter 77,000 for spectrum low frequency and 288,000 for spectrum high frequency. Back to contents 118 frequency tolerance this is the range above and below an organism's mortal oscillatory rate MR in which a frequency will still be effective. Although Dr. Reif originally expressed this as a wavelength of light, it's generally accepted that a good rule of thumb is plus or minus 0.025% of the organism's MOR. However, larger values may generally be input for sweeps that are intended for purposes other than killing pathogens. Frequency application time The amount of time in seconds you wish each MOR to be applied for 180 is a reasonable value. Wave cycle multiplier The number of subwaves that will create your sweep. We recommend using 96 or fewer. Note that setting a value here does not set it in the wave cycle multiplier field in the program options pane. This must still be set manually by you when you enter your settings for the program you're about to create. The value you input here is solely for sweep calculation purposes. Frequency hits per sweep the number of times during your sweep you wish each MOR to be applied. Sweep type buttons you have three choices. Single creates a single sweep that will use out one only and will proceed from low to high frequency. Dual converge creates a dual convergence sweep that will use out one and out two, requires connection to both outputs. These will proceed simultaneously from low to high, and from high to low. Dual weighted creates a dual sweep, one weighted towards the lower frequency range, requires connection to both outputs. Both sweeps will proceed simultaneously from low to high. Spectrum sweep info shows necessary settings and other information for the spectrum sweep based on your input. To update it after changing a field, please select a sweep type. Database entry view at the bottom of the screen, you see your custom spectrum sweep exactly as it will appear in your database. To update it after changing a field, please select a sweep type. Save and exit cancel buttons when you're happy with your sweep.
click Save and Exit. To discard your work, click Cancel. Back to Contents 119 Database Menu These four commands allow you to carry out various database file operations while Spooky2 is running, from selecting a different custom database to editing those databases, then loading your edits. File database prog abd 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 abs abs global online utiles select custom database edit custom database refresh database write database text download database advanced menu help I say 2 95 million 190 thousand 304 720 24 89 21 70 18 point 0 0 0 0 3 thousand 95 3 3 0 0 0 10,028,231,237,694, 7,720, 2170, 1865,151. Opens a Windows File Navigation dialog to allow you to select and load a different custom database. File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Select Custom Database POA ABD ABD AFCD ABD ABS ABS Edit Custom Database Refresh Database Write Database Text Download Database L 2 95190 3420 2439 2170 180000 3 3 IU 10,028,231,237,694, 7,720, 2170, 1865, 15,2Q-2 2 L. L5 pounds L pound. 3. Reloads the custom database into Spooky2S memory after it's been edited and saved. Back to Contents File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Prog ABD 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 ABS ABS Select Custom Database Edit Custom Database Refresh Database Write Database Text Download Database Street HR 190304 720 2489 2170 13 0000 3000 95 3 3 IU 10,023,231,237,694, 7,720, 2170, 1365,15,2. Opens the current custom database in the built-in database editor so you can make changes and save them. File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Pro ABD ABD AFC DAFC DABS ABS Select Custom Database Edit Custom Database Refresh Database Write Database Text Download Database 2 95 million 190 thousand 304 20 24 89 21 70 18 3 thousand 95 3 3 10 thousand 23 billion 231 million 237 thousand 694 7 720, 2170, 1865, 15 JU, JU, 1 4. This will write the names, durations in minutes, and additional notes of all database sets to a text file. 120 File Database Global Online Utiles the Prod IABA. ABD 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 IABS. IABS Select Custom Database Edit Custom Database Refresh Database Write Database Text Download Database Advanced Menu HLPS 2 95 million 190 thousand 304 720 24 89 21 70 18 0 0 0 0 3 thousand 95 3 3 1 thousand 10 thousand 28 million 231 thousand 237 94 20 21 70 18 5 15 20 point 217 J 1 18 5 5 this will take you to the spooky to calm downloads page and download the latest database to your downloads folder 1 below is the Windows file navigation dialog that opens when you choose the select custom database command from the database menu navigate to the database file you want to load select it then click open Spooky2 will load the new file and make it available in the conditions list for immediate use. 2. And 3. The database editor has its own built-in help manual, so I don't propose to go into it here. And I must be honest and say that I find it needlessly complex for the task of editing what is really quite a simple database. So I never use it myself. Instead, I'm going to show you how I prepare every new Spooky2 database update for general release. It's simpler, it's quicker, and it's a heck of a lot less confusing and cluttered. All you need is Notepad, the little text editor that comes standard with Windows.
But first, before you do any editing, make a backup copy of the file you're going to work on. Back to contents 121 let's say I want to edit my custom database to add a cancer set. First, I navigate to my Spooky2 folder on C drive and open it. Then I right click on the custom CSV file and choose open with notepad. I then select and copy all the yellow text below name, CUST, OO, add your own notes here. Comma 123456, 654321. 180 The database files are in CSV format, which stands for comma separated values. This means that the different types of value in the frequency set, the name, sub database, running time, additional notes, frequencies, and dwell, are all separated by commas, as you can see. The name, notes, and frequency values are each enclosed in double quote marks. Ok, so why are there three commas before the 180? The first comma after the frequency's closing quote mark tells Spooky2 that the frequency list value is now complete, and it should interpret any characters between this comma and the next one as a new value. But there's nothing there, so Spooky2 looks for a value after the next comma. It finds none, so it continues beyond the last of the three commas, and finds 180, the dwell. The reason for this is that the database has two optional extra values which can be used to aid searching if desired and some of the existing frequency sets use these values. The first one is system illness, and refers either to the part of the body affected or the general name of the condition, and the second one is manifestation, which either describes the physical result produced by the pathogen or illness, or the type of organism responsible for it. Open the frequency CSV file and scroll to comma done CAFL, system illness is skin, and manifestation is blackheads. So. Since I'm adding a frequency set to tackle the cancer BX and BY viruses, I could type cancer between the first and second of the three commas, and virus between the second and third commas. Or I can choose not to use these at all since a search for cancer will return the set in its results anyway. And this is what I've done. Note that this set is already present in the main database and is simply used here as an example. For clarity and ease, I navigate to the end of the file. Place the cursor at the start of the blank line at the bottom, then choose paste from the notepad edit menu. And this is when I get back to contents 122 test custom, notepad. 0. File edit format view help no GRU, cust from Dr. Plinkai Mishra universal base frequency. Comma 1.14600 platinum, CUST from Dr. Plinkai Mishra. For bacteria, viruses, fungi 312 180 sulfur. CUST from Dr. Plinkai Mishra. For liver, bile, skin, wounds. Comma 256 180 Vitami NA Defi CIMC, CUST Caffel Anecdotal. Comma 2100, 9120, 15200, 23500, 33297, 28750, 26440. 22530381 Vitamin B12 Deficiency, Cuscafel and Aglodal, Use Also for Vitamin B Deficiency. Comma 50, 6560160 C Vitami NC Defi CIMC, Cuscafel and Aglodal. Comma 2100, 11680, 29500, 23750, 15420, 34065, 5009, 39375, 36 C Vitami ND Defi CIMC, Cuscafel Anecdotal. Comma 2890, 3740, 9920, 33270, 40,000, 28750, 25000, 37 million 233340 C Vitami ND Defi CIMC Avitami no CS, Cuscafel Anecdotal. Comma 2400, 4420, 7360, 15000, 37500, 28750333 name, CUST, OO, add your own notes here. Comma 123456, 654321184 now I select the word name, and type cancer BXBY in its place. The CUST value is fine since this is a custom set. The dwell for the single frequency in the set is 180 seconds, 
so I select the OO and type 3, this is the total running time in minutes. I select the test custom, notepad file edit format view help no GRU, cust from Dr. Plinkai Mishra Universal Base Frequency. Comma 1.14600 Platinum, cust from Dr. Plinkai Mishra. For bacteria, viruses, fungi 312-180 sulfur, CUST from Dr. Plinkai Mishra. For liver, bile, skin, wounds. Comma 256-180 Vitami Na Deficiency, Cus Caffel Anecdotal. Comma 2100, 9120, 15200, 23500, 33297, 28750, 26440, 22500, 30381 Vitamin B12 Deficiency, Cus Caffel Anecdotal, Use also for Vitamin B Deficiency. Comma 50. 6,560,160 C Vitami NC Deficii NC, CUST Caffel Anecdotal. Comma 2100, 11,680, 29,500, 23,750, 15,420, 34,065, 5,009, 39,375, 36 C Vitami ND Deficii NC, CUST Caffel Anecdotal. Comma 2890, 3740, 9920, 33270, 40,000, 28,750, 25,000, 37 million 233,340 C Vitami and FECI and C Avitami Gnosis, Cuscaffle Anecdotal. Comma 2400, 4420, 7360, 15,000. 37,500,287 50,333 Cancer BXBY, Cust, 3, from JW. Must be run at 782,937.42 Hz to hit BX and buy simultaneously. This I notes text and replace it with my own. I then select the placeholder frequencies and replace them with 782,937.42 back to contents 123 but I am not quite finished yet. When Spooky 2 launches, it reads the main database into memory first. Then it adds the custom database by tacking it onto the bottom of the main file. If I leave things as they are above, and later add another bunch of cancer sets, my searches for cancer will find them all but those from my custom database may not be in correct alphabetical order. So at this stage I select the entire line of the new entry, then choose cut from the notepad edit menu. I insert the cursor in the correct alphabetical sorting position in the custom file for the new set, in this case, it's right at the top, then I choose paste from the edit menu. And this is when I get test custom, notepad O. File edit format view help zero cancer bxby, cust, 3. From JW. Must be run at 782,937.42 Hz to hit BX and BY simultaneously. This I know GRU, cust from Dr. Pankak Mishra Universa. Slash base frequency, 1.14600 Platinum, cust from Dr. Plinkai Mishra. For bacteria, viruses, fungi 312-180 sulfur, CUST from Dr. Plinkai Mishra. For liver, bile, skin. Wounds. Comma 256 180 Vitamin A Deficiency, Cuscaffel Anecdotal. Comma 2100, 9120, 15200, 23500, 33297, 28750, 26440, 22500, 30381 Vitamin B12 Deficiency, Cuscaffel Anecdotal. Use also for Vitamin B Deficiency. Comma 50, 6,560,160 C Vitamin C Deficiency, Cuscaffel Anecdotal. Comma 2100, 11,680, 29,500, 23,750, 15,420, 34,065, 5,009, 39,375, 36 C Vitami ND Deficiency NC, Cuscaffel Anecdotal. 2890, 3740, 9920, 33270, 40,000, 28,750, 25,000, 37,233,340 C. Item and deficiency of vitaminosis, Cuscaffel anecdotal. Comma 2400, 
4420, 7360, 15000. 37,500, 28,750,333 and are finally, I check to see that the black line at the end of the file is still there. If it's not, Spooky2 will report a loading error when it tries to read the custom database file because it expects to see a carriage return new line control character at the end of every line, including the last one. I check by clicking into the space below the last line. If the blinking cursor appears, as it does above circled in red, then I'm OK to go ahead and save the file. If not, I must position the cursor at the very end of the last entry's line, vitamin deficiency of vitaminosis above, then hit the return key on my keyboard. This gives me a new blank line at the bottom of the file. Once you've done this a couple of times, you'll find it's faster and less bewildering than using the database editor. Back to Contents 124 Global Menu These five commands allow you to control the transport of multiple generators with a single operation. With four generators, you can start or stop them all at the same time by choosing a command here rather than opening the channels one after another. File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Program Preset Start Say, Pause J Abdominal ICTRA 72, 95190. 3 abdominal and pause AFL 2720, 2439, 2 abdominal hold PAFL 10,000, 3000, abdominal stop KTRA 5000, 10,000 ab 3 C 33 noi KTRA 223,231,237 1. Choose start to fire up all the generators in your spooky 2 rig at the same time. File database global program preset abdominal j abdominal j abdominal j abdominal j abs 33 number 1 online start pause unpause hold stop utiles advanced menu help ktra 72 95190 3 pafl 2720 2489 2 afl 10000 3000 ktra 5000 10000 ktra 228231237 Choose Unpause to resume transmission on all pause generators. File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Program Preset Start. J Say, Pause L Abdominal SKTRA 72, 95190, 3. Abdominal and Pause PAFL 2720, 2439, 2 Abdominal Hold PAFL 10000, 3000, Abdominal Stop KTRA 5000. 10,000 AB 3 C 33 No KTRA 223,231,237 Choose Pause to temporarily stop all the generators without losing positions reached in their programs. File Database Global Program Preset Abdominal Abdominal J Abdominal J Abdominal AB 3 C 33 No Online Start Pause Unpause Hold Stop LGTI LS Advanced Menu Help KTRA CAFL CAFL KTRA KTRA 72 95,190, 32720, 2439, 210,000, 3000, 5000, 10,222, 231,237,4. Choose hold to remain on current frequencies on all generators. This stays in force until you choose hold again. Back to Contents 125 File Database 1 Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Start Program Preset Say Pause Abdominal KTRA 72, 95190, 3 abdir.ear.l and plus PAFL 2720, 2439, 2 Abdominal Hold PAFL 10000, 3000, Abdominal KTRA 5000, 10,000 stop ab 3 c 33 noi ktra 223,231,237. Online menu 4. Choose stop to end programs on all your generators at the same time. If your PC is connected to the internet, these five commands will be very useful for Spooky2 related tasks. For each command, Spooky2 will launch your browser or open a new window tab if it's already running. File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Purchase Equipment View Videos IVHMPI Abdominal Inflammate Abdominal Fain Abdominal Pain Abscess No Cardia as Spooky 2 Com 1 The SPCOKY2 Forum Spooky 2 Facebook Page 1 This will take you to the Spooky 2 Mall website where you can buy all the components of the Spooky 2 Rife system. File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Purchase Equipment View Videos 
L abdominal inflama JF cosminal fame abdominal fame abscess cardia s spoiler to com I I the spooky two forum spooky two Facebook page two. This will take you to the spooky two Vimeo channel where you can watch instructional videos. Back to contents 126 file database global online who tiles advanced menu help IB abdominal inflammat abdominal pain abdominal pain A J B S C E 33 no cardia abs C S equal pound equal purchase equipment view video spooky to calm the spooky to forum spooky to Facebook page 3. This command takes you to the spooky to calm website for the latest information and downloads. L I R B I T X minus 1. Abdominal inflammat abdominal pain abdominal pain abscess no cardia as I5. This command will take you to the original Spooky2 Facebook page. File database global online who tiles advanced menu help purchase equipment view video Spooky2 com the Spooky2 forum Spooky2 Facebook page back to contents file database global online 4000 abdominal inflammat abdominal pain abdominal pain abscess no cardia as who tiles advanced menu purchase equipment view video Spooky2 com the Spooky2 forum Spooky2 Facebook page HELPL4. This will take you to the Spooky2 forum entrance page where you can then log in. 127 U tiles menu these 10 commands install drivers, show you which generator is being controlled by which channel, and more. File database global online U tiles advanced menu help identify generators CRH identify users identify USB devices install UDB drivers install spool CXM64 bit drivers show generator status abdominal cramps abdominal inflammation abdominal pain abdominal pain abs 3 s no cardia asteroids abscesses 2 abscesses 3 abscesses secondary frequency multiplier 1 repeat every frag 1 repeat each set 1 repeat program 0 dwell multiplier 1 rescom devices colloidal slash Ionic Silver Calculator Show Errors and Warnings 1. Identify Generators Replaces the Rightmost 0 Inches Stopped Generator Display F Equal Lines with their Channel Numbers File Database Global Online Who Tiles Advanced Menu Help Identify Generators Identify Users Search Abdominal Cramps Abdominal Inflammation Abdominal Fain Abdominal Pain Abscess No Cardia Acetercide Abscesses 2 Abscesses 3 Abscesses Secondary Identify USB Devices Install UDB Drivers Install Spooky XM32 Bit Drivers Install Spooky XM64 Bit Drivers Frequency Multiplier 1 Repeat Every Frag 1 Repeat Each Set 1 Repeat Program 0 Dwell Multiplier 1 Rescom Device colloidal slash ionic silver calculator show errors and warnings 3 identify USB devices opens USB view a small program that lets you see what USB peripherals are connected back to contents file database global online who tiles J advanced menu help identify generators search identify users abdominal cramp 3 abdominal inflammation abdominal pain abdominal pain abscess no cardia asteroids abscesses 2 abscesses 3 abscesses secondary identify USB devices install UDB drivers install spooky XM32 bit drivers install spooky XM64 bit drivers show generator status frequency multiplier 1 repeat every frag 1 repeat each set 1 repeat programs 0 dwell multiplier 1 rescom devices colloidal slash ionic silver calculator show errors and warnings 2 identify users will produce a list of subject names useful for clinicians using the preset menu for subject info File database global online who tiles advanced menu help identify generators identify users identify USB devices search abdominal cramps abdominal inflammation abdominal pain abdominal pain install UDB drivers abscesses 2 abscesses 3 abscesses secondary install spook install spooky XM64 bit drivers program options frequency multiplier 1 repeat every frag 1 repeat each set 1 repeat program 0 dwell multiplier 1 rescom devices colloidal slash ionic silver calculator show error errors and warnings. 4. As its name suggests, the install UDB drivers command installs drivers for the UDB 1108S generator. 128 file database global online who tiles advanced menu help I search identify generators identify users identify USB devices install UDB drivers abdominal cramp 3 abdominal inflammation abdominal pain abdominal fain abscesses 2 abscesses 3 abscesses secondary install spooky XM32 bit drivers install spooky XM64 bit drivers Frequency multiplier 1 1 repeat every frag 1 repeat each set 1 repeat program 0 dwell multiplier 1 rescom devices colloidal slash ionic silver calculator show errors and warnings 5 and 6. 
Whichever of these two commands is available not gray will install appropriate Spooky 2-5M drivers. File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Identify Generators Identify Users Identify USB Devices Install UDB Drivers Install Spooky XM 32-bit Drivers Install Spooky XM 64-bit Drivers Show Generator Status I Search Abdominal Cramps Abdominal Inflammation Abdominal Pain Abdominal Pain Abscess and Cardia Astrocyte Abscesses 2 Abscesses 3 Abscesses Secondary Frequency multiplier 1 1 repeat every frag 1 rest and devices repeat each set 1 repeat program 0 1 dwell multiplier 1 colloidal slash ionic silver calculator show errors and warnings. 8. Sends a handshake signal to an offline generator, bringing it back online without having to stop your entire rig. Back to Contents File Database Global Online Utiles Advanced Menu Help Identify Generators Identify Users Identify USB Devices Install UDB Drivers Install Spooky XM 32-bit Drivers Install Spooky XM 64-bit Drivers Search Abdominal Cramps Abdominal Inflammation Abdominal Pain Abdominal Pain Abscess and Cardia Astrocyte Abscesses 2 Abscesses 3 J Abscesses Secondary Show Generator Status Program Options Frequency Multiplier 1 1 Repeat Every Frag 1 Repeat Each Set 1 repeat program 0 1 dwell multiplier 1 rest and devices colloidal slash ionic silver calculator show errors and warnings 7 opens a window showing the frequencies and voltage for both outs on each generator which can be saved to file file database global online utiles advanced menu help search j abdominal cramps abdominal inflammation abdominal pain abdominal pain abscess and cardia asteroid abscesses 2 abscesses 3 abscesses secondary program options frequency multiplier 1 i repeat every frequent one repeat each set 1 repeat program dwell multiplier identify generators identify users identify usb devices install udb drivers install spooky xm 32 bit drivers install spooky xm 64 bit drivers Show generator status rest and devices colloidal slash ionic silver calculator show errors and warnings disabled 9. Opens a window which allows you to enter information to find the optimum values for making colloidal silver. 129 file database global online search abdominal cramp 3 abdominal inflammation abdominal pain abdominal pain abscess and cardia astrocyte abscesses 2 abscesses 3 abscesses secondary program options frequency multiplier repeat every freak repeat each set repeat program dwell multiplier disabled utiles when advanced menu help identify generators identify users identify USB devices install UDB drivers install spooky XM 32 bit drivers install spooky XM 64 bit drivers show generator status rest and devices colloidal slash ionic silver calculator show errors and warnings 10 opens a list of channel errors and warnings this may be safe to file wherever you wish 3 this is the s view window that opens when you select identify usb devices it allows you to see and save all your usb information back to contents 139 this is the window which opens when you choose the colloidal ionic silver calculator command. E5 colloidal slash ionic silver calculator spooky to colloidal slash ionic silver calculator colloidal slash ionic silver is easy to make. Making truly great nanopartide silver takes more effort. Spooky can help. Enter values in the boxes to find the optimum setting. Close by calculation volume mil ppm current mega ampere duration mins duration hours duration days 520.2750 by measurement initial TDS final TDS ppm 1020 by entering parameters here, this handy calculator will show you the values you need to use to generate colloidal ionic silver of the quality you desire. Spooky 2S colloidal ionic silver generation system features in its own section later here in this guide. Back to contents 131 2, 5, and 8. These commands open new windows, identify users, show generator status, and show errors and warnings. Since they are very similar to each other, we'll just take a look at show generator status when you choose show generator status. Spooky 2 takes a snapshot of the frequencies and voltages being transmitted from both outs of each generator. This snapshot can be saved as a plain text file named generator status txt. Generator status reports and errors and warnings reports can be saved to file. A file dialog will open when the save is initiated, allowing you to store the information wherever you please. Back to Contents 132 Advanced Menu you'll find many powerful and useful goodies tucked away in here, 
ranging from troubleshooting tools to controls for setting up momentary channel control panel toggle buttons to apply amplitude and or frequency wobbles. Advanced Menu J This menu is different from all the others. When you click it, there's no drop-down list of commands shown. Instead, a new window opens. Although it isn't strictly speaking a menu, it's always been called the Advanced Menu. Inside it, among other features, you get Enable Sound Control. This enables or disables Spooky 2S launch sound, the biofeedback scan completion alert, and all error report audio alerts. It also allows Spooky 2 to beep when a Hz frequency starts transmission, and on program completion. Global controls for amplitude wobble, this wobble is applied with a toggle button in the channel control panel. Global controls for frequency wobble, also applied as a toggle in the channel control panel. All generators are 19,200 BPS, used to ensure smooth operation of UDB generators with slower USB speeds. Utility controls for important functions like writing a program log for troubleshooting. Control to enable a social media site links pane. Frequency blacklist control, used to block Spooky2 from ever transmitting specified frequencies. Blacklist sub-options for harmonics. A graph for some important Spooky pulse functions plus a HRV tolerance control. A driver load check pane, useful for channel driver troubleshooting. When a Spooky Pulse is connected before launching Spooky 2, you will see the line Spooky Pulse detected here. Main database file paths, these show the exact locations of the currently loaded databases. A count of all frequency sets contained in both main and custom databases. Back to Contents 133 Advanced Menu DDS Generator 0x% Steps Amplitude Wobble Triangle 8016 Frequency Wobble Jungle All Generators are 19,200 BPSI Write Program Log 157 Enable Sound V Search CUST In Reverse Lookup Double HRV Tolerance 57 Enable Social Media Sites Frequency Blacklist Control I Notify When 0 Hertz I Disable Tool Tips Restart Required J Avoid Octal Harmonics Slash Sub Harmonics Avoid Decade Harmonics Slash sub harmonics BPM emulating spooky pulse JDBC spooky 2 frequency zip JC DBC spooky 2 custom CSV back to contents DDS generators enter the number of physical generators you have connected here this speeds up spooky 2 launches amplitude and frequency wobbles these prevent organisms from becoming adapted to frequencies these controls are separate from those in the channels program options pane they will only be applied when you click the amplitude and frequency wobble toggle buttons in a channel control panel. All generators are 19,200 BPS allows Spooky2 to drive UDBs with slower V4.2 firmware. Write program log writes a complete record of Spooky2 activity to a log file. This log is saved to the data folder. Enable sound activates startup sound and audio alerts for scan completion, errors, OHertz transmission, and program completion. Search CUST in reverse lookup when ticked, sets labeled CUST will be included in reverse lookups. 134 double HRV tolerance if you have a naturally high HRV, this can result in many data error reports. Use this option to allow successful scan completions. Enable social media sites tick to display the web pane with 8 social media sites in Spooky2's main window. Notify when 0 Hz Spooky2 will beep when starting a frequency of 0 Hz. Useful for zapping and set design. Disable tool tips relaunch Spooky 2 after checking this. Frequency blacklist control A very few frequencies are known to cause problems. Two to enter into this list are 1840 Hz and 1910 Hz, both can cause malignancy growth. You can avoid octal and scalar harmonics by checking their boxes if you wish. However, this can result in very important frequencies being skipped in some programs. To enter a blacklisted frequency, click in the top field and type it, then click the Add button. To remove all frequencies from your blacklist and start over, click the button top right. Graph pane click on the pane to show the graph below. If Spooky Pulse is connected, this displays a scrolling graph of your biofeedback scan use pulse choice. If not, you'll see the text emulating Spooky Pulse. Back to contents BPM 86 I8 when this graph show the BPM, and it's the same one shown in the biofeedback scan pane in the channel control panel. Clicking the graph starts and stops the scrolling display. 
Now here's the graph that's shown when you choose HRV note the two different scales to the right of each graph. Refresh rates for running channels will slow to the subject's pulse rate. It's advisable hide the graph by closing the advanced menu if you require fast feathering or gatting. Driver load check pane this shows an entry for each driver load on all channels including spooky pulse. Check this if you're having generator communication problems. DB this shows the file path for the currently loaded main database. DBC this is the total number of frequency sets contained in your main and custom databases. Help menu file database global online Lutiles advanced menu help search clear credits about abdominal cramps extra 72. 9,190,3341, 1 FCIL and AHA file database global online Lutiles advanced menu help credits search J clear abdominal cramp 3 extra 72, 9,190,304 about the credits command opens a window with information about the people who develop and support the Spooky2 Rife system. Spooky2 is normally updated on the first day of every month, with occasional releases in between. The About command brings up a window that shows the release date of the version you're currently using. Back to Contents 136 Conditions and Database I Program Preset Search Clear 7 Customized January 29, 2016 0 2 16 46 Database Plus 1 Abdominal Cramps I Abdominal Inflammation Abdominal Pain Abdominal Pain Extra Caffle Caffle Extra Abscess No Cardia Asteroid Extra 72, 95,190,304 2489, 2170, 1865, 110,000, 3000, 95, 3, 30, 40, 5000, 10,000, 228 trillion 231 billion 237 million 694 thousand 710, 80 slash 60 37, pound slash prov j, Bio LF7 Vega 17 Caffle P Extra PC USTP Rife J7 HCVKH ZV Alt L. L. J The top graphic shows the conditions list when the font size slider left is set to L Opt. The one beneath it shows its one highest position 16 pints. Sizes increment by 1 point from 8 pints to 16 pints Grab the slider handle to show the font size. One preset menu to the right of the search field. The program presets menu allows access to presets from simple view. ITJ search when Spooky2 launches, the main and custom databases load into the conditions list. If you enter a word or partial word associated with the condition, both are searched. Set names, text and additional notes, and organ system and illness text fields if used are searched. A search for a frequency will return all sets in which that frequency is used. The search results will replace the contents of the conditions list. Results can be loaded by double-clicking them. Back to Contents 137 Customize checkbox Activating this will switch from Simple View to Details View. Deactivating it will do the reverse. Clear button Click this to remove the search term and results, and return both databases to the conditions list. Date and Time The current date and time is shown at the top right. Database Spooky2's main database is made up of 10 sub-databases. To include them all in your searches, click the plus button. You can also check only those you want. To deselect all at once so you can quickly select just a few to search, click the button. PROV has produced consistent results in virtually all subjects it was used with. Bio and Vega are both excellent, based on Russian frequency research. CAFL is the Consolidated Annotated Frequency List, amassed from the experience of RIFE experimenters over years. Extra is a collection of sets from various sources, all chosen for their reputation for effectiveness. CUST is your own personal database. RIFE is a collection of Dr. Royal Raymond Wright's original frequencies. HC is Dr. Helga Clark's database. Use with a square wave, 100% positive offset, an amplitude of 9.5. KHZ is a collection of higher frequencies. Use with a square or inverse sawtooth wave, 100% positive offset, an amplitude of 9.5. ALT consists of sets based on Ayurvedic knowledge and practice, solfeggios, and planetary frequencies. The screenshot button makes a screenshot of the Spooky2 window and saves it to Spooky2's data folder as a JPG file. The support button sends an email to the Spooky2 support hub. This contains an error report, generator status information, and a screenshot. 
Note that a Popmail desktop email client is required for this. Conditions list displays the main and custom database files if the search field is empty. Displays results of search. Selection count the first numeral is always the line count from the top of the conditions list pane when a selection is made. When the search field is blank, the second numeral is the number of frequency sets contained in both databases. When a search has been performed, this changes to the total number of results returned. Back to Contents 138 Program Options This is Spooky2S Dashboard, providing complete control. From here on every channel, you can transpose a program manually or automatically. Repeat Frequencies, Sets, Programs. Set Duty Cycle for both outputs. Set Amplitude and Offset 5M Generators only. Set Phase Angle for both outputs. Enable and configure amplitude and frequency wobbles. Configure action for out of range frequencies. Enable gate for one or both outs. Prevent transmission of duplicates. Set a channel to auto start. Choose from a large list of frequency modulations. Sort frequencies ascending or descending, or leave as listed. Assign, configure, view, and design custom waveforms for each output. Control frequency voltage relationships between outputs. Back to contents 139 this is a lot of information to try to take in at once, so let's break the program options pane down into its component parts frequency multiplier used to multiply all frequencies. Decimals without limit can be input, an easy way to convert a set to octal or scalar harmonics without having to calculate individual values or edit the set. Most of the frequencies we use today were originally developed on Rife machines that could only transmit up to 10,000 Hz or 100,000 Hz. Since Dr. Rife and Dr. Hulda Clark discovered that the fundamental frequencies of pathogens and parasites were up in the MHZ range, which Spooky2 can transmit, this means that the frequencies we're using are actually very low subharmonics, and thus not as powerful as the much higher fundamentals. Here's what John White says frequency multiplier should be set to an octal harmonic, not a random number like 200. These numbers are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, etc. I find it best if I use a large number like 32768 and set frequency limits to the highest frequency of interest, normally around 2 mhz then I apply octal subharmonics. Works a charm. Repeat every frick each set program enter the number of frequency, set, and program repeats required. A value of 0 for repeat program will loop the program indefinitely. Use values appropriate for the transmission mode you are using. Back to contents dwell multiplier changes runtime dwells for all frequencies in a program. A value of 0.25 will cause your program to transmit in one quarter of its normal time. This enables you to increase or reduce all the dwell times in your complete program, this includes default dwells and any coded into the sets. It's mostly used to reduce dwell times because experienced users found that the enhanced power of the spooky remote produced the same results as the old DNA holder in as little as one third of the time. This means you can achieve results in 20 minutes that used to take an hour. To reduce the dwell to one third, enter point three three. For half the dwell, enter point five and so on. The reason we haven't simply changed all the dwells in the database is because not everyone can use a spooky remote many frequency sensitive people still use the older DNA holders because they find spooky remote too powerful for them. Duty cycle dictates a waves on off status minus 50% means it's on for half its cycle. This changes the waves energy content. 140 amplitude and offset enter amplitude and offset values for a spooky 2-5m offset is normally 0 for remote and contact, and 104 plasma and zapper sets. The UDB1108S generator must be manually set up. Phase angle requires both outs. Useful when driving an external device that can mix both signals, the difference between two out of phase waves can create harmonics that hit mortal oscillatory rates. For techies only. Frequency limits for best effect, use high frequencies for killing. Dr. Reif and Dr. Clark found that the fundamental frequencies of most organisms were in the KHZ range. But past tech limitations meant that only low subharmonics could be used on most machines. Entering appropriate delimiters in the infield solves this problem. Depending on your choice of harmonic type, Spooky2 will automatically transpose your frequencies, 
Low frequencies are raised to their lowest harmonic above the value entered in the field, and high ones are lowered to their highest subharmonic below the value in the field. 1 when I frequency limits hertz JI0 use harmonic type JI0 I hex VI equal experimental J the top checkbox applies the limits to out 1, while the lower one applies them to out 2. Back to content 6 different types of harmonics can be generated hex, octal, decade, Fibonacci, natural log, and scalar hex hexadecimal, number system based on 16, the only octal that's a product of two different Fibonacci numbers 2 and 8. It's like octal on steroids. So it comes very highly recommended, and tops the list. Octal our technical tests prove that octals work, and the right ones can work wonders. Decade numbering based on 10, a product of the Fibonacci numbers 2 and 5. This system also works very well. Fibonacci the number system that underlies all organic life's growth patterns. As you'd expect, this also works superbly. Natural log based on the formula 1 plus liter per lux 2 plus 1 slash 1 x 2 x 3 plus 1 slash 1 x 2 x 3 x 4 plus liter per lux 2 x 3 x 4 x 5, etc. Scalar system based on the constants EXP3, EXP6, and EXP9. In our technical tests, scalar harmonics remain unproven. The asterisk denotes experimental, which essentially means not proven to our satisfaction. The dash. Entries are placeholders for future useful additions. 141 Apply Octal Hex Decade Fibonacci Natural Logx Scalar Wobble Some pathogens can adapt to frequency attack. Amplitude Wobble Disabled 5 0% 16 steps J. Frequency Wobble I Disabled 0% 16 steps. The answer is to apply amplitude and or frequency wobbles to rapidly change the signal strength and frequency. When set here, Wobbles apply once the channel is running. Amplitude and frequency wobble controls are also found in the advanced menu. Settings made here will only apply to the toggle buttons for these functions you'll find in each channel's control panel. If you feel a definite reaction from a frequency, it can be good to apply one or both wobbles with these buttons, 1% is a good value for frequency wobble. The menu choices are disabled, sawtooth, inverted sawtooth, and triangle. These waveforms describe the shape of the wobble's progress. Example triangle starts with no wobble, ramps up to full wobble at the percentage chosen in the number of steps specified, then ramps back down to zero wobble, and repeats. Percentage is the amount of wobble you wish to apply, and step specifies the number of discrete jumps in a single cycle, 16 is a good value. More than this increases the back to contents resolution of the sweep, but also increases the time taken. The Apply menu allows you to apply a constant rapid change to each frequency in a set. The speed of this change is set in the Advanced menu. There are many different modulations to choose from, as well as the ability to disable the function. The choices will be explained later. This option is different, and in addition, to the configurable frequency wobble. Both can be used at the same time. Sort menu Some developers maintain that using frequencies in ascending order has different results from descending order. Choose ascending, descending, or do NOT sort. Amplitude ramp 5s slash up VDOW and J amplitude ramp the time for each frequency's voltage to rise from or fall to zero, giving contact mode a soft start. Up applies a ramp at the start of the frequency, down applies it at the end. Pause between jog 1 p.m. 71 and 130 lpm. This one lets you command each individual channel to pause transmitting automatically between the hours of your choice. Apply J plus 0.02% feathering E to NOT sort frequencies 142 out 1 slash out 2 gate. These are control signals which turn each output signal on and off very rapidly, 4 Hz equals 4 times a second. This helps prevent any pathogen adaptation. Gate rates can be independently set for each channel. Faster rates are generally better. Gate continues through hold. Values are from 0.001 Hz to 66 Hz. Gate is normally only used in plasma mode, but it can be very useful in the other modes, too, because it provides an additional hammering effect to keep pathogens off balance. Reduce amplitude stops low frequencies causing discomfort in contact mode. Skip concurrent duplicate frec if you're running multiple generators, it's possible that identical frequencies used in different sets may coincidentally be transmitted at the same time. 
This uncontrolled frequency duplication can cause unwanted phase problems, and even wave cancellation. With this box checked, Spooky2 will never allow duplicates to be transmitted simultaneously. Remove duplicate frequencies Some sets, particularly those developed on older machines, contain duplicates. Back to contents. F out or out 2 4 Hz gate. I reduce amplitude 10 kHz I skip concurrent duplicate frec J Jr. Remove duplicate frequencies. Auto start In some cases, this may be what you want some frequency foundation sets. In others, it serves no useful purpose. Checking this box stops program duplicates from being output. This will not alter the database, it's runtime only. Auto start This allows you to choose whether a channel will automatically start transmitting its program immediately as soon as you launch Spooky2. Out 1 equal 0 x 0 0 hertz out 2 equal out 1 x 1 plus 0. RHZ out 2 equal out 1 x 1 volts swap waveform 0 seconds p swap frequencies plus amplitudes for out 1 and out 2 outs controls out 1 equal lets you pick a different channel whose out 1 frequencies will be shadowed by this channel and apply a harmonic factor and constant to them multiple channels can be daisy chained or slave to a single master channel out 2 equal applies a harmonic factor and constant to out else frequencies to create its own output with the settings above Ticking the Hertz checkbox box will allow a spooky central to transmit CAFL and extra frequencies below 100,000 Hertz as beat frequencies. You can also set a voltage factor for out to here. Swap waveform with inverse plus sync, this reverses signal polarity at the interval specified, preventing chemical buildup under TENS pads and cleaning silver electrodes during colloidal silver production. Also useful in contact mode. Output pane signal this swap in red text. Swap frequencies plus amplitudes for out 1 and out 2 This sends out else frequencies and amplitudes to out 2, and vice versa. It's useful for programs that use a fixed carrier, and particularly for spooky central users. Output pane signal this swap in red text. With inverse plus sync or spike plus sync selected, these fields are irrelevant, and are thus grayed out and unavailable above. Waveform displays the top pane red shows a single cycle of the waveform for out 1. The middle pane blue shows out too, and the lower pane black is the combined signal. This is a damp sinusoidal with 11 entered in the wave cycle multiplier field to the right of the waveform selectors. Wave cycle multiply can be used with any waveform to enfold subwaves into single cycles, a back to content spooky to world first. This allows you to exceed the frequency limit of your generator, a spooky 2-5M5MHZ can easily output 25MHZ. Waveform selectors from the top down, these are sine, square, sawtooth, inverted sawtooth, triangle, damp sinusoidal, damp square, H-bond sinusoidal, and H-bond square. Each one, plus the spike plus ink waveform when selected, 144 may be inverted by ticking its checkbox. The damp sinusoidal wave was used by Dr. Royal Raymond Reif in his documented cure of 14 terminal cancer and 2 terminal TB cases in 1932. The damp square and both H-bomb waveforms are extrapolations of the principles involved in this wave. All four are orders of magnitude more powerful than the first five waveforms in the list. We recommend the square versions for your experiments, and the sinusoidal ones for scanning with spooky pulse. Colloidal silver. Sign, custom waveform menus. These menus allow you to choose any of the nine spooky two waves, plus three new ones colloidal silver, lily, and square harmonic. By selecting them from this menu instead of directly in the list, you can edit their values for spectrum. Your edits, together with any modulation settings you make for F2 equal F1, are written to file and saved in the waveforms folder inside the Spooky2 directory on C drive. You can rename these files in Windows, and create as many back to contents as you wish. Because they're CSV files, you can open, view, and edit them in any spreadsheet program. To load new waves, Simply drop the files into your own waveforms folder and choose Refresh Waveforms from the file menu. Wave Cycle Multipliers The X column of controls to the right of the waveforms turns Spooky2 into something very special indeed. Spooky2 creates each frequency as what's known as an arbitrary waveform. This allows all of its frequencies to be constructed from multiple copies of the waves. This is extremely important for the damped and H-bomb waves because the number of decay frequencies in each must be set correctly. 
However, this can also be applied to the other simpler waveforms, too. Example a plain sine wave with wave cycle multiplier set to 5 will be able to reach frequencies of up to 25 mHz. 1, 2 controls and the follow out one button if you're using both outputs, these controls allow you to make independent waveform selections for each one, or to have out to reflect out IS settings. 145 with Spooky Boost 2.0 Follow out one should only be used if the frequencies differ on outs one and two. Spike plus sync selecting this uses out two to create a high voltage spike which is then injected into the waveform on out one. The duration of the spike is set in the length field. There are 1024 sample points that make up a full waveform. However, lower values work best by providing a short, sharp burst of energy that can damage cancer or pathogen cell walls. This is called electroporation. The spike's voltage is controlled by the ratio parameter. If your amplitude is set to 20V, and you enter 4 in this field, the spike's voltage will be 20V, and the remainder of the wave will be 5V20-4. If you enter 2, the spike will still be 20V, but the rest of the wave will be LOV20-2. Plus spike slash spike checkboxes checking these allows you to specify whether you wish to produce positive spikes only, negative spikes only, or both. Spike count enter the number of spikes you wish to inject. Entering zero will inject the maximum number possible. Inverse plus sync in contact mode, this allows you to effectively quadruple the output power of your 5M generator. It creates a mirror image of out 1 on out 2. Back to contents 1 using either spike plus sync or inverse plus sync, your electrodes or remote must be connected with a Spooky Boost 2.0 signal processor if you don't have Spooky Boost. Connect two BNC to alligator clips cables, one to out one and the other to out two. Then attach each red alligator clip only to your electrodes. To prevent the unconnected black clips from accidentally touching, you can wrap each one roughly with sellotape. Be warned that applying high voltage low frequencies below about 10,000 Hz can cause painful muscle lockups, so please put a check mark in the reduce amplitude box before starting. This allows you to use high power in comfort. No different people have different thresholds at which this effect kicks in, my own is about 1000 Hz. So it's worth experimenting with the frequency value field in the reduce amplitude control to ensure you get maximum value from your frequencies. Frequencies throughout one alone, F2 is the second one. These must be mathematically related by use of a factor. F2 equal FIX add FI to F2 1 Hz 0 F2 multiplier Spooky 2 can transmit to 146 degrees allow the addition of a phase angle to F2 for frequency adding or modulating. Example if you enter 3, F2 will be the third harmonic of FI fix 3. If you enter 11, it's the 11th harmonic FIX 11. You'd normally enter a straight integer value in the factor field 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 64, etc. Dr. Anthony Holland recently found that adding an 11th harmonic to any frequency greatly increased its power. This can be used with any wave. F2 modulation menu and checkbox this is where you decide how F2 interacts with FI. To activate the entire F2 equal F1 system, check the box to the left of the menu. Your menu choices are add FI to F2, modulate F2 using Phi MDSB and modulate F2 using Phi MSSB to see the effects these options have on the various waveforms, please see Appendix C Making Waves. Back to Contents Notes Channel Data Web Channel 35 Channel Data Email Program Preset R Allow Channel Overwrites 1 Every Time 3 Notes Email Message JK Enable Email Selected Programs F Send Screenshot I Send Error Log Send Email Save as 35% 37% We've been here before. So you'll be fairly familiar with this section of Spooky 2S interface. Nevertheless, we'll go through the components one by one from left to right and top to bottom. Channel number shows the channel whose control panel was last opened, this is the current one you're working with. But it then clears the contents of the entire channel data pane. Program Preset Dual Purpose Control Most people will wish to use this to create and store presets. Clinicians can use it to keep track of subject treatments. In both cases, the drop-down menu with arrow to right displays a list of presets or subjects. You can save up to 32,000 entries, as long as you're prepared to scroll through a long menu, or organize a folder swap-out system. 
Back to Contents 148 Allow Channel Overwrites You must tick this before clicking on the channel button to run your program. This tells Spooky2 that you wish to delete the Memorist channel settings and replace them. If you forget to do this, you may lose your work. Plus and, but since the plus button saves a preset or subject name, plus email address, email message, notes, and selected programs and enters it into the menu. The, button will delete it after it's been loaded by choosing it from the menu. Email s useful for clinicians. Enter your subject's email address here and Spooky2 can send a notification of any change you make in treatment when you click the send email button. Enable emails tick to activate Spooky2's email system. This system works with POP email clients like Outlook and Windows Mail. It will only work with IMAP email accounts like GMAIL, Hotmail, or Yahoo if you use a POP email client that has been correctly configured to also access your webmail account s. Send screenshots and error log tick the first box to include a screenshot of the Spooky2 window with your email, you must first use the screenshot button to create this. Tick the second to attach Spooky2s error log, enabled in the advanced menu. Notes Personal users can enter any notes they wish concerning the preset they're about to save. These will be displayed in the additional notes text area. Clinicians can use this to enter subject notes. These will not be sent in emails. Selected programs This field contains names of the set as you've loaded from your conditions list search. If you change your mind about any, simply double click each to remove it. The entire list can be cleared by clicking the button at the top right of the field. Email message Enter the text of the message you wish to send to your subject. The names of all sets loaded into the selection field will be appended to your message. Send email Clinicians can click this button to send email to the subject. Save as you can also save multiple sets loaded into the selected programs field by clicking this button. It saves all frequencies in all sets under a new set name to your custom database, potentially saving time when setting up multiple complex channels. Back to contents 149 channel buttons 1 for each generator. Their colors have meaning 10 when pound J channel is stopped. 5K channel is running. J dot NU channel is paused. NRI 1 channel stop loop is on. Amplitude wobble is on. 1 frequency wobble is on. Top numeral is the port USB number, bottom is the program's percent completed. A dotted outline denotes the last channel accessed. Back to contents A blinking X means Spooky2 has found a problem with the generator. PC button this is your phantom channel. It opens a channel that controls a virtual generator. This can also be used for channel shadowing. This lets you experiment easily. Right clicking any channel button opens this dialog channel currently NOT dedicated to Spooky Central clicking yes loads the correct settings and ensures you won't damage Spooky Central. When you open that channel control panel, you'll see this label at the top left. Chan can for a 3 book ENBII meter for social media web pane enabled in the advanced menu. Obviously, your PC must be connected to the internet to use it. Click to visit the Spooky2 forum. Click to visit the Spooky2 Facebook group. Click to visit the Spooky2 YouTube channel. Click to visit the Spooky2 Vimeo channel. Click to visit the Spooky2 Scene.is group. Click to visit Pinterest. Click to tweet about Spooky2. Click to visit TUMBLR. 150 status bar RXOK re 0 cu 0 la as the name suggests, this area of Spooky2's interface is used to report system status data, mainly for operations tracking and error reporting. If you ever experience problems that can't be attributed to the normal causes, tech support may ask you to email a screenshot. GC generator count reports the number of generators found by Spooky2 at launch. CH the last channel generator that Spooky2 wrote a command to. DX the data that was sent to that channel generator. RX the response that the channel generator returned. RE when a command is issued to a channel generator, Spooky2 awaits a response. If none is received, this value increments. CU channel number where the last error occurred. LE the command that was not responded to is shown here. PO-4 raw values returned from a connected spooky pulse. But can click to clear all error report boxes. If enable sound is activated in the advanced menu, all errors will generate an audio alert. 
Back to Contents 151 Control Panel Channel Control 35 JW Killing Remote Start Pause Hold Stop Frequency 0 30 thirds Reverse Lookup F Indued Octo Point 1% Tolerance Biofeedback Scan Start Frequency 100,000 Finish Frequency 200,000 Initial Step Size 100 Decimal Places 0 Max Hits Defined 4 Start Delay 2110 Minutes Hertz Go Use RAC Use Peak 17 2 DP Max R Single Scar Scan J Detect Pulse C Max BPM C Min BPM Max HRV BPM HRV Av BPM AV HRV HRV emulating spooky pulse frequency adjustment slider estate total runtime treatment duration 033300000000 IX strongaloids falariform larva HC strongaloids biostreptococcus species group GHC streptococcus pi James Rife Stachibo trees Charterum CUST Sportrich and Pruinosum CAFL molds general extra output frequency waveform duty side amplitude offset phase angle out 10 and V saw tooth 50% of 0% 0% degrees out to zero inverse plus sync 50% of 0% zero degrees sync on you plus slash reset when hertz when a channel is stopped its channel button is red to reflect this when you click on the button to open the channels control panel this too is red this control panel is waiting to start the timer field beneath the list of frequencies reads zero seconds and the progress bar is empty Frequency 0 30 thirds the 0 tells you that this program has not started its first frequency yet, and 33 means there are 33 frequencies. Back to contents 152 lean you click the start button, the control panel turns green to show that it's transmitting, and so does the channel button. This control panel is currently transmitting its program, the timer field shows 126 seconds, and the progress bar is almost filled up with blue segments. Frequency 3 twelfths this channel is now transmitting the third frequency in the program, and there are 12 of them in total. Back to contents 153 there's a lot going on here, so let's go through all the control and information elements in the panel one by one one channel control 35 JW, killing remote. Est. Total runtime 033300x1 treatment duration 00000j1 j on the left is the channel number controlled by this panel and on the right you see your estimated total runtime. In this example, there are seven sets. Repeat each set is set to one, and repeat program to zero for the complete program to loop endlessly. So the estimated total runtime is three hours 33 minutes. If repeat program is set to a number greater than zero for a time treatment, you'll see the estimated total runtime for your complete program. Treatment duration beneath shows how long your program has been running for. XI the red X button closes the control panel and locks the channel so it cannot be changed. To its left, the J settings button with the wavy graphic also closes the channel, but leaves it unlocked so that you can change its frequency sets and settings. Finally, the leftmost button closes the channel and clears all frequency sets loaded, but leaves your settings in place. I channel control 35 JW, healing remote est. Total runtime 0036000YI treatment duration 00806, J above is a channel that's currently running. The only control that's available to close its control panel is the X button. The settings button and the button are both grayed out and unavailable because you cannot change settings for a channel that's already transmitting, nor can you change its frequency sets. The availability of some of the other controls in the channel control panel also depends on whether the channel is currently transmitting or not. Back to contents 154 start pause hold amplitude wobble frequency wobble stop pause hold amplitude wobble frequency wobble stop start transmission buttons some are grayed out till the channel runs. Bold text on a button shows it was clicked last. Pause, hold, and wobble are toggles that remain active till you click them again. Start, pause and stop are obvious. Hold remains on amplitude wobble frequency wobble stop back to contents the current frequency indefinitely till it's clicked again. The wobble buttons apply amplitude and or frequency wobbles as configured in the advanced menu, click to start. The wobbled frequency continues indefinitely. Click again to stop and continue progression through the program. The stop loop button to the right of the stop button is active only when a program is set to loop endlessly, as in remote mode. The top three images show such a program. The first shows the channel stopped. The second shows it running, stop loop is red, indicating that the program is looped, so this function is available. 
The third shows the control panel's appearance when the stop loop button has been clicked, the panel and channel button turn light blue, and stop loop is now green, showing that it's been activated. Even though it's been set to loop endlessly, this program will stop when it's transmitted its final frequency. Progress bar track progress through each frequency. The number to the right 180 is the current frequencies dwell in seconds. 155 16542.41, JDTOX GET 52 TRAJ 16939.43 Lung General CAFLI 16542.41 Breathing Deep CAFLJ 16939.43 Breathing Difficulty Dyspnea Extra J 16542.41 16939.43 9939.43920 36729021B frequency 0 4 teeths 4 sets are shown at right and at left their frequencies to start with a specific frequency double click it then click start to jump to a different one while the channel is running double click it but it then removes all frequencies from the list timer shows the number of seconds elapsed for the current frequency bottom left editable when the channel is paused Frequency count the first numeral denotes the currently transmitting frequencies position in the program, and the second tells you how many frequencies it contains, 0 4 teeth is shown above, indicating that the program hasn't started yet. Back to contents output out 1 out 2 frequency 1534 1534 waveform square wave inverse plus sync duty cycle 50% 50% amplitude 20 v 20 v offset 0% 0% phase angle 0 degrees 0 degrees output paints the two gray fields display all aspects of the signals being output by your generator from both outs frequency, waveform, duty cycle, amplitude, offset, and phase angle. If waveform and offset are shown in red, this means that swap waveform is active. A grayed out 2 means that a second output is not available, as with a UDB1108S generator connected, which has one out. These fields are not editable. The frequency you see here may not be what you see on the generator display. When this happens, look at your waveform's X field, you'll always find that its value is greater than 1. What's happening is that Spooky2 is transmitting an arbitrary waveform made up of the number of subwaves you see in the X field. Obviously, the generator can't display all of these subwaves at the same time, so it just displays one. If your waveform has 16 subwaves, you're seeing 1 16th of the frequency that's actually being transmitted. Generator graphic Spooky2 shows you an image of whichever generator you're using for each channel. If your channel uses a Spooky 2-5M, you'll see it here, with its sync status displayed above. Sync on means that the outputs are synchronized because inverse plus sync or spike plus sync is selected. To turn sync off, you must select follow out when instead. Sync off I sync off this is what you'll see instead. This is a UDB1108S. These generators have only one output. Sync is thus not applicable, and will always be reported as off. Waveform right-clicking this writes your waveform data to a CSV file which can be edited in a spreadsheet. Reset when the channel is stopped, click this button to reset its generator to factory defaults. Biofeedback scan this has its own guide section here. Back to contents reverse lookup this feature allows users to compare frequencies found in scans, or entered manually, with those in the database and associate them with diseases or pathogens for which they are commonly used. I have three scan frequencies here 333, 523, and 786, plus another I've entered manually minus 919. Please note that this is NOT a disease diagnosis. I've specified a tolerance of 0.1%, which will give me a fairly tight spread to search. I don't want octal harmonics, so I've left that option unchecked. When I click the Go button, Spooky2 searches the database, then returns the results in the window shown below. Channel Control 3D Reverse Lookup P Dude Octal, 1% Tolerance 919 Hz Start Hold Platoon ANHHLP Stop 523 786 157 Now I know the possible problems for which these frequencies are used. Again, be aware that Reverse Lookup does not diagnose diseases. It finds database frequency sets in which your found frequencies or their octal harmonics are used. 
many frequencies can be used for many very different conditions. So it's simply a broad panorama of possible problem areas. However, be assured that your frequencies will solve your real problems. You can save these lookup results as a text file to any hard drive location to pour over later at leisure, and perhaps do some further research. As always with Rife, knowledge is power. Frequency adjustment slider this lets you alter the frequency about 1 inch real time. Enter the value by which you wish to increment decrement in the hertz field. The button returns the frequency to its initial value. The slider is zeroed every time the program's frequency changes. Works with hold. Back to contents 158 biofeedback scanning by adding spooky pulse to a 5M generator, you can scan the body for frequency anomalies. The UDB1108S needs an external amplifier. Biofeedback scanning inputs frequencies directly into the body using electrodes, spooky remote, or a plasma tube. The spooky pulse clip is attached to the earlobe or left little finger. This monitors blood flow using an infrared light detector. If any input frequency is also present in the body, it will produce a momentary stress due to sympathetic resonance called a hit. This causes a minute change in cardiac activity which is detected by spooky pulse, and the frequency which provoked it is recorded by spooky too. There are two ways to use this function, for custom scans, and for personal program optimization. For both of these, you must first quit spooky 2, connect spooky pulse to your PC, then relaunch spooky 2. The words emulating spooky pulse will now have disappeared from the graph. 1. Custom scans I will be leading you through doing a full range scan very shortly, but first I have to explain all the terms and widgets. To scan for unknown problems, you must first erase all frequencies from the channel you are using. Then enter your scan parameters biofeedback scan start frequency 100,000 finish frequency 200,000 initial step size 10 decimal places 0 max hits to find 10 start delay 2166 minutes hertz detect pulse C max BPM C min BPM max HRV1 use RAC use peak F2 DP max slash single scan scan start and finish frequencies to find the sweep range. If you know the bandwidth of organisms you're testing for, enter lower and upper limits. If not, a good sweep to try might be, say, 139,000-790,000 Hz. Initial step size how big the jumps in your sweep are-100 Hz means Spooky 2 will input in discrete sub-ranges of 100 Hz-100 jumps in total. Depending on your range, reasonable values would be 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, or 100,000. Decimal places the level of accuracy required, good values are 5 under 600 Hz, or 2 over 600 Hz. Back to contents 159 max hits to find a reasonable value might be 10 spooky 2 will select the best 10 hits after the scan. Depending on your other settings, it will then go back and carefully sweep above and below each one to find its exact value. Start delay sets the number of heartbeats before spooky 2 will start the frequency sweep giving you a chance to get ready and to become accustomed to the frequency, 20 is suggested if you're being assisted, and 200 if you're alone. Detect Pulse Spooky 2 will detect and report maximum or minimum pulse rates based on BPM or maximum for HRV. In most cases for BPM, you would choose maximum. When max HRV is selected, the graph will change its modes to show the HRV trace. Many biofeedback devices use this rather than BPM for hit detection. Use RA use peak buttons RA is running average pulse rate, best used for longer scan sessions where the heart rate falls. The peak option is for those who wish to run short scans where the average heart rate is not likely to change very much. 2 dp max this checkbox constrains found frequencies to 2 decimal places accuracy. It's not relevant or available for custom scans, only for program optimization. Single scan when this is checked. Spooky 2 will scan the range specified only once. Found hits will not be re-inspected. Back to content scan button and time scan is self-explanatory. The time shown is the estimated number of minutes for your scan. Biofeedback readout displays the following values during and after your scan BPM, at BPM HRV, F HRV, BPM the heart rate in beats per minute, HRV HRV heart rate variability, a low report is good. Emulating Spooky Pulse GALV Conductivity of the Skin. Proper Hydration Boosts This. Av. 
BPM your average heart rate over the entire scan session. Av. HRV average heart rate variability during the scan. Av. GALV average session value of the skin's conductivity. The graph's title displays the method of pulse detection chosen, BPM or HRV. Note since the user can use either the RA or peak data values, this means that the biofeedback input is either compared with the RA, or taken at nominal value. In either case, the data received is conditioned so that there are no spikes as the user breathes. If any input data anomaly is detected, Spooky2 will pause for three consecutive good samples to ensure data integrity. When the scan finishes, Spooky2 returns to its hits list to sweep above and below each until it has found the exact value. It then presents the list as a custom frequency set which you can save to your own database. You should save this with a descriptive program name. We suggest you also enter the date in this name. Depending on the values you input, a biofeedback scan can take 10-60 minutes or longer. A bigger frequency range, or smaller initial step sizes, will take more time. However, please note that the input speed is at all times controlled by how fast or how slow your pulse rate is. You can do further scans on following days with different ranges, but save results as personal scan O2, etc. In this way, you can build a complete frequency profile and run chain sets in a single program, or extract only the ones you want to build a new personal set. Back to contents and vScan results are saved to a CSV file in the scan data subdirectory inside the Spooky2 directory. 2. Program optimization The biofeedback function can also be used to refine all the frequencies in a program to their optimum values for you. In this mode, the biofeedback scan pane's appearance will change and many of its parameters will be grayed out and unavailable biofeedback scan start frequency 100,000 finish probe 200,000 detect pulse max BPM C min BPM TP size 10 max HRV start delay 20 use RAC use peak Y2 DP max elements SMQL ESCAR scan load the program you wish to optimize and make all the settings you require. Selecting the option to limit frequency refinement to 2 decimal places 2 DP max can speed things up considerably. 161 Practical Advice Make sure you connect Spooky Pulse directly to your PC via USB before launching Spooky 2. Don't use a USB hub for scans because it introduces latency to the signal. To scan reliably, make sure you're properly hydrated, and that you've attended to bathroom needs before you start. To detect heart rate changes due solely to frequency hits, you need to be relaxed. Meditation, breathing exercises, peaceful music or even just zoning out for 5 minutes works. Or you can use a web white noise generator and leave it running in the background. We recommend this website. Ideally, you should be lying down flat on a comfortable surface, with your head supported by a pillow. You should also be comfortably warm. Avoid movement if possible. You may use remote or contact modes to input the frequencies. For remote mode, use a BioNorth model and a fresh DNA specimen. If using TENS pads, place one on the back of the right hand, and the other just below the outside ankle of the left foot. We recommend using inverse plus sync with a sine wave. Back to contents what will happen after you start the scan, the channel control panel turns purple and the white box is replaced with a graph showing the current and historical pulse rate. The graph is auto-ranging for optimum display resolution. Graphs always scroll to the left with current biofeedback values updating on the right. The horizontal cyan line is the running average rate RA. When the pulse graph is under this line, the background is green, indicating no stress. When the pulse is above the RA line, the background turns red, indicating a stress response. Note that a low quiescent HRV indicates poor health. During biofeedback scans, Spooky2 disregards the baseline. Any increase in the absolute value of HRV is a sign of momentary stress. Now let's get down to business and do a custom scan. These settings will find every pathogen and parasite in the rife slash Clark range, and the scan will take 63 minutes to complete. Okay, let's go. 162 First, make sure that the Enable Sound option is ticked in the Advanced menu. That way. You won't have to keep checking the PC screen because Spooky2 will alert you via audio if something needs your attention. Now enter these settings into Spooky2's green program options pane, as shown on the left. 
Note amplitude ramp MUSTB set to 0 for all scans. Make sure that there's a tick in the Allow Channel Overwrites box, then click the button for the channel you're using. Back to Contents 163 Channel Control PC Start Pause HN Stop Reverse Lookup WNCLUDE Octo.1% Tolerance Biofeedback Scan Start Frequency 76000 Finish Frequency 152000 Initial Step Size 20 Decimal Places 0 Max Hits to Find 20 Start Delay 50 35 19 Frequency 00 Hertz Go Hertz Detect Pulse R Max BPM C Min BPM Max HRV Use RA Use Peak F63 Minutes Single Scan Scan Drive Rife and Dr. Clark found that the mortal oscillatory rates MORs of almost all body invaders lie between 76,000 Hz and 880,000 Hz. This is a very big range to scan, but it's possible to do it relatively quickly by hunting for powerful high subharmonics within a subset of the range. These are the correct settings for a full range scan start and finish frequencies 76,000 Hz and 152,000 Hz. All MORs higher than this have powerful octal subharmonics in this range. Initial step size MOR tolerance tells us that any frequency within plus or minus 0.025% of a MOR will hit it. Since 0.025% of 76,000 Hz is 19 Hz, a step size of 20 Hz will cover the entire range without gaps. Decimal place is zero, and very high frequencies, decimal place accuracy is not as important because of MOR tolerance. Max hits to find 20, this will find the 20 most important hits. Start delay 200, this gives you 200 beats of your heart to get comfortable, relaxed, and accustomed to the frequencies. You may reduce this if you find that it's too long. Single scan ticked. Rescans are unnecessary with such a fine step size. Note that the frequency list box must be empty for biofeedback scans. Click the circle button to clear it if necessary without losing loaded sets. Back to contents 164 obviously, your PC will need to be close enough to your bed or lounge or sofa to be able to control spooky too comfortably. Biofeedback scan start frequency 76000 finish frequency 152000 initial step size 20 decimal places 0 max hits to find 20 start delay 263 minutes hertz detect pulse C max BPM C min BPM G max HRV VR FK. Use RA use peak 2 dp max single C scan biofeedback scan start frequency 1,500,000 finish frequency 1 slash 0000 initial step size 375 decimal places 0 max hits to find 10 start delay 200 RFS mins 1 Hertz detect pulse C max BPM C min BPM S max HRV use RA use peak 2 dp max single scan if not, you may wish to add 20-30 heartbeats to your start delay. Then click the small scan button in the biofeedback pane to start. Without rushing, get comfortable, then attach the finger clip to the left hand finger most comfortable. An ear clip is best attached to the left pinky finger or the fold of skin between your left thumb and forefinger. Now click the scan button, get comfortable, and, above all, relax. Below are the settings needed to scan for the cancer BX, BY, and HPV viruses. Important notes if your scan is interrupted, you must start again. Scans cannot be paused once they've started. You may find yourself falling asleep. This isn't a problem as long as you remember that you're connected to the PC when you wake up and possibly to the generator. However, if the spooky pulse clip has been dislodged and fallen off, you must repeat the scan from the beginning. When your scan completes, you'll see the results in a new window. Save these to your custom database by clicking Save and Exit. This will take you to the Create Frequency Set window with all information except the set name already entered. Name your set appropriately, then save it. Spooky2 will refresh the database in memory, and your new frequency set can now be used. I've found that best results come from scanning once a week, then using the results set in contact mode daily, augmenting with non-stop remote mode. If you wish. You can do two sessions a day, then rest in every fourth day. Don't forget to detox. Back to contents 165 when you're doing a scan, you shouldn't be paying any attention to the PC screen. But this is what happens just in case you're curious. Here, a custom scan has just been started. The numbers to the right of the BPM graph show the graph's range. The number at the bottom 15 is a countdown while Spooky2 fills the running average data array. In this example, the start delay has been set to 200 heartbeats. 
Back to Contents 166 The custom scan is now well underway. The numbers under the graph display the range of frequencies that are being scanned. During the second phase of the biofeedback scan, when the resolution of its is increased unless single scan has been checked, the ranges will change appropriately. When the scan completes, you will hear an audio alert. Enable sound must be ticked in the advanced menu. Back to contents 167 back to contents here, frequencies are being optimized. Almost all the biofeedback scan text fields are disabled, but the option to limit frequency refinement to 2 dp max is available. Checking this can speed up results markedly. Note that some very useful biofeedback functions are also available in the advanced menu. If you receive many data error alerts during a scan, enable double HRV tolerance in the advanced menu, then restart your scan. 168 Spooky Pulse Not Connected If you initiate a biofeedback scan without first ensuring that Spooky Pulse has been connected prior to launching Spooky 2, the scan will be conducted in emulation mode and you'll see this alert No Spooky Pulse Detected TC1 Spocky Spooky Pulse was not detected on the KT or system. ROK assaults will be invalid and not saved. When you click OK, the scan will commence. However, the found frequencies will be entirely notional, and you will not be able to save them since there's no point. If you try to stop the scan by clicking the graph, you'll see the snow or puko RKV1 equal 1 spotky. Please wait for the O biofeedback OK scan to complete. Click OK to dismiss this alert. If you initiated the scan in error, simply click the main stop button to abort. If your emulated scan is intentional, you'll see the following window when it completes back to contents test mode, saving disabled I1 equal 1 1 scan re. Spooky 02, close suits equal frequency hits best at top 79,140 J 143,660 114,140 79,220 98,300 150,600 90,460 98,060 93,620 83,460 102,760 86,120 112,140 116,060 86,200, 79,260, 144,000, 131,420, 114,280, 151,280. Write to one database. The list of found frequencies is presented in order of importance. This is the same window you'd see if your scan was valid, except the Save to Database button wouldn't be grayed out, and you'd be able to save your results as a set. Before undertaking a scan, it pays to open the advanced menu first to check if Spooky2 has detected Spooky Pulse. If not, exit and relaunch Spooky2. 169 wobbles and feathering amplitude wobble disabled 0% 16 steps frequency wobble disabled 0% 16 steps certain pathogens can be hard to kill straight away. So they will require multiple treatment sessions. One problem that can arise with this is that they may become adapted to the treatments, and so take longer to eradicate. The answer is to prevent this from happening by constantly and minutely varying either the exact values of the frequencies being applied, or their amplitudes, or both. You have three methods, and you can use all if you wish. The first are amplitude and frequency wobbles. The latter is target-centered, that is a frequency of 100 Hz may be wobbled as 99.5, 99.75, 100.25, 100.5. Amplitude wobble ramps to target. The menus above allow you to select from three waveforms that describe the trajectory along which the change will be applied sawtooth, inverse sawtooth, and triangle. The percent field dictates how intensely the change will be applied. And the steps parameter lets you specify how many discrete steps or jumps the change will make from one value to the next. For amplitude, 10-15% is a reasonable value for intensity, and 1% is good for frequency. Inverse sawtooth 8 steps sawtooth 15 steps J steps are the red dots in the illustrations above. They are discrete values along the trajectories of the waveforms. So these wobbles aren't applied smoothly and continuously, they jump from each step position to the next, without any change in value in between. A good general option for steps is 16. Back to contents 170 the apply menu the second method of preventing pathogen adaptation is a different kind of frequency wobble found in the apply menu. This menu also contains two feathering options, 
Feathering is true randomization of values within a fixed percentage above and below the frequency being processed. There are 28 choices, all of which are detailed below. The difference between the apply menu options and the other wobbles is that these ones are all pre-configured, no user input or tailoring is possible. The general rules on frequency wobbles and feathering are for something that's non-living. The apply setting should be frequencies directly for example metals, pollutants, toxins. We don't wobble non-living things because they cannot mutate. If it's a living thing, and it belongs naturally in your body, the apply setting should also be frequencies directly for example. Normally sliver, relieve pain, stimulate the immune system. This is because we're usually applying precise entrainment frequencies. If it's a living thing, and it DOES and T belong naturally in your body, the apply setting should be anything other than frequencies directly. This is because living things can mutate over time, thus changing their frequencies slightly, and you need the feather to catch those mutations for example bacteria, fungi, parasites, viruses. Our research and observation has shown that plus minus 0.02% feathering is generally best for remote mode, although there are also other excellent choices. So please feel free to experiment. But whichever setting you choose, it's important to examine the frequencies you're running so that you can be aware of what that setting will do to them. Here are some examples back to contents 171 frequency 1000 1000 Hz dash 1 khz setting 1 plus minus 0.02% f feathering. Result 1 random from 999.80 dash 1000.20 randomization range equal 0.4 Hz. Setting 2 octal harmonics 12 stage wobble. Result 2 1000, 2000, 4000, 8000, 16000, 32000, 64000, 32000, 16000, 8000, 4000, 2000. Frequency 100,000 100,000 Hz slash 100 khz setting 1 plus minus 0.02% f feathering. Result 1 random from 99,980-100,020 randomization range equal 40 Hz. Setting 2 octal harmonics 12 stage wobble. Result 2 100,000, 200,000, 400,000, 800,000, 1 million 600,000, 3 million 200,000, 6 million 400,000, 3 million 200,000, 1 million 600,000, 800,000, 400,000, 200,000. Frequency 1 million 1 million hertz slash 1 mhz setting 1 plus minus 0.02% f feathering result 1 random from 9998000200200 randomization range equal 400 hertz. Setting 2 octal harmonics 12 stage wobble. Result 2 1 million, 2 million, 4 million, 8 million, 16 million, 32 million, 64 million, 32 million, 16 million, 8 million, 4 million, 2 million. Feather creates rapid random changes in the frequency so it changes up and down in value within a set maximum percentage. Wobble creates rapid controlled changes in the frequency so it changes by constant values dictated by the choice you make in the apply menu. Let's take a closer look at the choices here F equal the frequency frequencies directly applies the frequencies directly with no changes. HI plus minus 0.02% feathering output will fluctuate rapidly by 0.02% above and below the set frequency randomly. Useful where the exact frequency of a pathogen may be uncertain. Excellent for remote treatment. Plus minus 0.05% feathering same as 0.02% feathering but the variation is greater. Frequencies have mathematical relatives called harmonics. Higher harmonics can be very powerful. These options create the following continuous harmonic step sequences at a rate set in the refresh rate field in the advanced menu. Back to contents 172.02% 4 stage wobble F, F plus 0.02%, F, F.02% 0.02% 8 stage wobble F, F plus 0.01%, F plus 0.02%, F plus 0.01%, F, F.01%, F.02%, F.01% 0.05% 4 stage wobble F, F plus 0.05%, F, F.05% 0.05% 8 stage wobble F, F plus 0.025%, F plus 0.05%, F plus 0.025%, F, F.025%, F.05%, F. 
025% octal harmonics 2 stage wobble F, FX2 octal harmonics 4 stage wobble F, FX2, FX4, FX2 octal harmonics 6 stage wobble F, FX2, FX4, FX6, FX4, FX2 octal harmonics 8 stage wobble F, FX2, FX4, FX6, FX8, FX6, FX4, FX2 octal harmonics 10 stage wobble F, FX2, FX4, FX6, FX8, FX10, FX8, FX6, FX4, FX2 back to contents octal harmonics 12 stage wobble F, FX2, FX4, FX6, FX8, FX10, FX12, FX10, FX8, FX6, FX4, FX2 A perfect square wave is made up of odd harmonics. Spooky 2 can force these to work harder by fluctuating to higher ones odd harmonics 2 stage wobble F, FX3 odd harmonics 4 stage wobble F, FX3, FX5, FX3 odd harmonics 6 stage wobble F, FX3, FX5, FX7, FX5, FX3 odd harmonics 8 stage wobble F, FX3, FX5, FX7, FX9, FX7, FX5, FX. 3 odd harmonics 10 stage wobble F, FX3, FX5, FX7, FX9, FX11, FX9, FX7, FX5, FX3 odd harmonics 12 stage wobble F, FX3, FX5, FX7, FX9, FX11, FX13, FX11, FX9, FX7, FX5, FX3 The Fibonacci series of numbers can be seen everywhere in natural organic growth patterns. It's an excellent choice for good results 173 Fibonacci series 3 stage wobble F, F, FX2 Fibonacci series 5 stage wobble F, F, FX2, FX3, FX2 Fibonacci series 7 stage wobble F, F, FX2, FX3, FX5, FX3, FX2 Fibonacci series 9 stage wobble F. F, FX2, FX3, FX5, FX8, FX5, FX3, FX2 Fibonacci series. 11 stage wobble F, F, FX2, FX3, FX5, FX8, FX13, FX8, FX5, FX3 Fahrenheit's X2 Fibonacci series 13 stage wobble F, F, FX2, FX3, FX5, FX8, FX13. FX21, FX13, FFX5, FX3, FX2CH1 Fahrenheit equal 0016673. 8 Ample equal 20.00 VI duty equal 50. 0% P equal I back to contents Fibonacci series 15 stage wobble F, F, FX2, FX3, FX5, FX8, FX13, FX21, FX34, FX21. FX13, FX8, FX5, FX3, FX2 The natural logarithm is based on the mathematical formula 1 plus liter per lux 2 plus 1 slash 1 x2 x3 plus 1 slash 1 x2 x3 x4 plus liter per lux 2 x3, x4 x5, etc. But it can also be used to calculate frequency harmonics. One highly respected Rife developer recommends using it exclusively natural log 2 step wobble f. FX 20.085536923 Natural Log 4 Step Wobble F FX 20.085536923 FX 403.428793492 C8 FX 20.085536923 The waveform symbol you see here causes some confusion. Users wonder why, when they've selected a square or an inverse sawtooth in Spooky 2, they see this squiggly line instead. Well, as you now know, Spooky2 creates all of its waveforms as arbitrary waves, then downloads them to the generator. And this squiggly symbol on the Spooky2-5M display simply shows that an arbitrary waveform is being used rather than one of the generator's own built-in waves. Mystery solved. 174 waveform and frequency even though they may look mysterious, waveforms are actually very easy to understand. They are simply graphical illustrations of how the amplitude, or power, of energy changes over time. Let's look at the waves in Spooky 2. 
The vertical red line at left measures positive and negative amplitudes, with zero being the divider. The horizontal red line at bottom shows time, one second. Sine wave like all the waves shown below, this one completes one full cycle every second, so its frequency is 1 Hz. A amplitude rises from zero in a positive direction at a changing rate. B amplitude has reached its highest positive point, or peak. C it goes below zero and continues in a negative direction at a changing rate. D amplitude reaches its highest negative point, or peak. E amplitude once again starts to move in a positive direction at a changing rate. Good for healing, detox, killing at very high frequencies. Square wave this also completes one full cycle every second, so its frequency is 1 Hz. A amplitude is running at its highest positive level at a constant rate. B amplitude immediately drops below zero and continues in a negative direction. C amplitude is running at its highest negative level at a constant rate. D amplitude immediately moves through zero to its peak positive level. Good for killing, healing, detox. Back to contents 175 sawtooth this completes its full cycle in one second, so its frequency is 1 Hz. A amplitude moves from negative peak towards positive at a constant rate. B amplitude passes through zero. C it continues to move in a positive direction at a constant rate. D amplitude immediately drops through zero to peak negative level. Good for healing, detox. Inverse sawtooth this completes its full cycle in one second so its frequency is 1 Hz. A amplitude ramps down from positive peak level at a constant rate. B amplitude passes through zero. C amplitude continues to move in a negative direction at a constant rate. D amplitude immediately moves through zero to peak positive level. Good for killing. The sawtooth and the inverse sawtooth are the only two waveforms that are mirror images of each other. Sawtooth always rises slowly and drops quickly where inverse sawtooth always falls slowly and rises quickly. Although this may seem insignificant, it's actually very important, and we'll look at the different results in a later section. Back to contents 176 triangle also completes its full cycle in one second, so its frequency is 1 Hz. A amplitude moves from negative peak level at a constant rate. B amplitude passes through zero. C amplitude reaches its peak positive level, then starts to fall at a constant rate. D amplitude passes through zero. E amplitude reaches its peak negative level. Good for experimentation as a possible linear substitute for sine. Damp sinusoidal this is the exclusive spooky two recreation of Dr. Royal Raymond Wright's famous damp sinusoidal which was used in a documented cure of 14 terminal cancers and two terminal TB cases. This, like all the following waves, is different. It's composed of a sequence of 12 internal signs, each with progressively decaying cycles from positive to negative. Spooky 2 automatically compensates for all composite multi-cycle waveforms so that their output frequencies are always correct. A amplitude is at peak level. B amplitude ramps down with 12 internal progressively decaying cycles passing from positive to negative through zero on each one. C amplitude immediately moves back up to peak positive level. Good for healing, detox, killing at very high frequencies. Spooky 2 note the total number of internal cycles in a single composite cycle is controlled by the value you enter in the wave cycle multiplier field 12 inches this case. Back to contents 177 damp square a new waveform based on the principles of the damp sinusoidal. Its 12 internal square waves progressively decay and Spooky 2 automatically adjusts the composite waveform to make its transmitted frequency correct. A amplitude is at peak level. B amplitude drops sharply with 12 internal progressively decaying cycles passing from positive to negative through zero on each one. C amplitude immediately rises back up to peak positive level. Good for killing, healing, detox. Spooky 2 note the total number of internal cycles in a single composite cycle is controlled by the value you enter in the wave cycle multiplier field 12 inches this case. H-bomb sinusoidal another new wave based on the damp sinusoidal. Technically, it's more complex and involves duty cycle computations. It's built from eight internal sine cycles, and the composite waveform is automatically adjusted to make its transmitted frequency correct. A amplitude is at zero. B amplitude ramps to peak positive level, then ramps back through zero to peak negative level. 
C amplitude rises and proceeds through six smaller internal cycles. D amplitude ramps to peak positive level, then ramps back through zero to peak negative level. E amplitude moves back up to zero. Good for healing, detox, killing at very high frequencies. Spooky 2 Note the total number of internal cycles in a single composite cycle is controlled by the value you enter in the wave cycle multiplier field 8 here. Back to contents 178 H-bomb square this is a third new waveform based on the principles behind the damped square. It's built from 8 internal square wave cycles, and Spooky 2 automatically adjusts the composite waveform to make its transmitted frequency correct. A amplitude is at zero. B amplitude rises sharply to peak positive level, then moves immediately through zero to peak negative level. C amplitude rises and proceeds through six smaller internal cycles. D amplitude rises sharply to peak positive level, then moves immediately through zero to peak negative level. E amplitude moves back up to zero. Good for killing, healing, detox. Spooky 2 Note the total number of internal cycles in a single composite cycle is controlled by the value you enter in the wave cycle multiplier field 8 here. So let's sum up frequency is how often the energy in something changes from a positive state to a negative state in one second of time. Waveform is a visual representation of how the energy's power ramps up and down during one such change. But we're not finished yet. We need to take a look at two other important properties which have great importance for how waveforms behave. The first is offset, and this applies to all waveforms. The second is duty cycle, which applies only to plane square waves. So let's do that that now. Back to contents 179 waveform and offset you've seen that normal waveforms have two phases, positive and negative. What this means in practice is that positive energy is applied by the waveform for half its cycle and negative energy is applied for the other half. Some renowned energy medicine researchers, most notably Dr. Hulda Clark, maintain that it's more effective for pathogen killing to apply an e-directional energy only. You can do this by using offset. So that you can see the effect of offset clearly, I've chosen a triangle wave here. This one has 0% offset, the wave is in its positive phase for 50% of its cycle above the red zero line, and in its negative phase for the other 50% below the red zero line. Above are the settings to enter for a normal zero offset waveform like this. On the left, you can see that this is still the same triangle waveform, but its position on the graph is now different. I've given it a 100% positive offset, and the wave is now entirely in its positive phase for its whole cycle. Above are the settings for 100% positive offset when using inverse plus sync with Spooky Boost 2.0. If you wish to use follow out when instead of inverse plus sync, the values to enter for both outs are 100 and 100 both positive. For direct connect to out when only, you'd enter 0 instead of minus 100. Back to contents 180 if you choose to use a positive offset, one very important thing you mustn't forget is its effect on available amplitude. The 5M generator has a voltage range that goes from minus 10 volts to plus 10 volts. This gives us a total range of 20 volts when measured from the highest negative peak to the highest positive peak, so the generators output 20 volts peak to peak. However, since we've applied a 100% positive offset here and pushed the waveform up into the positive phase only, this means that the voltage available for a potential negative phase is not used, since no part of the signal is now negative. As a result, Applying an offset to any waveform may reduce the overall amplitude of your signal C table below. XM amplitude setting XM offset setting percent output signal VMA XV output signal VMI and V total output signal VPP50 plus 2.5 dash 2.5551 100 plus 50510 plus 5 dash 510 10 100 plus 10 0 10 20 0 plus 10 dash 10 20 20 100 plus 10 0 10 VMA X equal volts maximum. VMI and equal volts minimum. VPP equal volts peak to peak. Note applying a 100% offset means that only one LED on your spooky remote will light. This is normal. Back to contents 181 duty cycle duty cycle can be a confusing concept to grasp from any newcomers to rife technology. So let's try to unconfuse things as much as possible. Every waveform has a cycle, this is one complete iteration of the wave from its beginning to its end then it repeats the exact same pattern for the next wave cycle. Duty cycle is related to this, 
but it dictates strictly one thing, for how long during a wave cycle the signal is held constant at its maximum amplitude. And this is the key to understanding it. Because if you cast your mind back to a few moments ago when we went through all the different waveforms, you'll remember that each of them is constantly changing its amplitude. Except for one, the square wave. A square wave goes from zero to full amplitude almost instantly, then holds that amplitude constant for a period of time before falling almost instantly back to zero again. Duty cycle is what gives us control over the length of the period for which the constant amplitude is held, so duty cycle really can only ever apply to a plane square wave. This one on the left has a default duty cycle of 50%. This means that the signal is delivered at full amplitude for half of the wave's natural cycle, then it's turned off until the next wave cycle begins. If you set its duty cycle to 0%, you'd have no signal at all, and if you set it to 100%, you'd have a constant uninterrupted signal, neither of which are useful in Rife therapy. So duty cycle gives you control over how long the square wave's maximum amplitude is held steady inside every cycle of the wave. As a result, it can be thought of as a kind of built-in gate. However, due to the nature of the square wave, duty cycle is much more useful than this. A square wave is naturally rich in odd harmonics, third, fifth, seventh, ninth, and so on. However, it is almost as if these harmonics are not generated instantly in time, but revealed instead in a lightning-fast glissando, much like someone running a finger up the back to contents 182 keys of a piano. So the larger the square wave's duty cycle value is, the more harmonics are revealed because the glissando is being played for longer. And once you start to go much higher than 50%, the even harmonics start to show themselves, too. For me personally, this makes a great deal of sense. Here's why the heart of every symphony orchestra is the strings section, full-bodied, rich, and powerful. As a former professional composer and sound designer, I can convincingly emulate an entire orchestral strings section on a music synthesizer using only sawtooth waves. I can do that with square waves, which are good for emulating brass instruments only. Nice, but not the same thing. Back to Contents 183 Understanding Spooky Remote Spooky Remote was introduced before the 5M generator was available. So the only generator you could use with it was the UDB 1108 seconds. At that time, calibrating this generator had to be done manually with a multimeter. Because this cheap and cheerful unit's components tended to drift over time, you had to do your calibration routine at least once a month, but preferably every week, a painful chore if you were using a bunch of UDBs as I was. But Spooky Remote offered a brilliantly simple way to calibrate quickly and easily without needing a multimeter. Every remote has two red LEDs. One LED uses the positive part of the signal to illuminate, and the other uses the negative part. So when you loaded the signal test set and ran it, you turned the amplitude knob up full, then adjusted the offset knob until both LEDs shone equally brightly. When they did, your setup was calibrated meaning that the positive and negative aspects of the signal were equal in strength. In other words, the signal's offset from the point of equal power was zero. This meant you could recalibrate as often as you wished, even in the middle of a program, and I believe that the constant application of properly calibrated frequencies was responsible for at least some of the excellent results that started to come in after the remote entered widespread use. However, after the introduction of the 5M generator, which is calibrated by the user entering values for amplitude and offset in the Spooky 2 software, the remote LEDs didn't seem to have any purpose other than letting the user know that a signal was being transmitted. Many users were confused. Seemingly baffling LED behavior ranging from only one LED lighting to neither of them working was reported. But to those with the knowledge, this was all normal, and to be expected. Back to Contents 184 the truth is that the LEDs are far more useful than they appear, and once you understand how they work, you'll be able to judge at a glance a lot more of what's going on in your generator. Three things control how the LEDs respond to the signal, frequency, waveform, and amplitude. I don't own an oscilloscope, so I've constructed the graphics in Spooky 2 by using wave cycle multipliers to give you an indication of what's going on. First. Let's look at frequency remote and frequency this is a 1 hz square wave. It completes one positive to negative cycle every second. A signal is positive for half a second, 
so the left LED lights for half a second. B signal immediately drops through zero to negative. C signal is negative for half a second, so the right LED lights for half a second. The LEDs turn on and off very slowly, and are never both lit at the same time. Now here's a 32 Hz square wave, it completes 32 positive to negative cycles every second. Count the peaks, there are 32. With this frequency, the entire ABC cycle described above takes place 32 times every second. This means that for every one of those 32 cycles, the signal is positive for 1 slash 64th of a second, so the left LED is lit for 1 slash 64th of a second. The signal then goes negative for 1 slash 64th of a second, so the right LED lights for 1 slash 64th of a second. Back to contents 185 now the LEDs are both flashing very quickly. Nevertheless, it's always the case that only one of them is lit at a time. Note that if you use a wave cycle multiplier of 12, the frequency set to the 5M is divided by 12. Now let's move it up a notch. Here's a 256HZ square wave. Please note that a real one you'd see on an oscilloscope doesn't look exactly like this. What we're running up against here are the resolution limits of computer screens. Nevertheless, 256 cycles in a single second moves the peaks of each one so close to one another that the PC screen cannot show any degree of separation between them. Now, the original ABC positive to negative cycle happens 256 times every second. And for each of those 256 cycles, the signal is positive for 1 slash 512th of a second, so the left LED lights for 1 slash 512th of second. I, I the cycle then goes negative for 1 slash 512th of a second, so the right LED is lit for 1 slash 512th of a second. Now each LED will appear to be constantly lit, at equal brightness. However, as you now know, it's not possible for each LED to be lit at the same time, because the signal can never be both positive and negative at the same time, so what you're seeing is an illusion that's caused by the limits of the human eye. That same illusion is what allows movies, which are a series of still photos transmitted in sequence at a frequency of about 24 per second, to appear to be a facsimile of real life. We come up against a different type of limit when we start to transmit very high frequencies in the megahertz range, which is millions of cycles every second the limits of some of our present day technologies. What happens with high MHZ frequencies is that the cycle switches from positive to negative so fast that neither LED has time to switch on fully before it receives the signal to switch off again. The result is the LEDs appear to go very dim, and may even appear to be turned off completely. Back to contents 186 this doesn't mean that Spooky 2, the generator, or the remote have stopped working, just that current LED switching technology isn't fast enough to keep up with what's happening with an extremely fast signal. This is nothing to worry about. Remote and amplitude however, there's another scenario where the LEDs can appear to be very dim, or even unlit, and this one doesn't involve very high frequencies at all. Every time an LED lights up, it uses a very tiny fraction of the frequency's motive power, amplitude, otherwise known as voltage. At amplitudes above about 5 volts, you won't really see any difference in the luminance of the LEDs. However, if you set your amplitude lower than this, the voltage available to light up the LEDs drops off, and the result is that they appear to be dim. At very low amplitudes, they will look like they're not working at all. This is also nothing to worry about. In fact, it's a good thing because it means that all of the frequency's voltage is being used for the purpose intended, healing. Remote and waveform would it surprise you to learn that you can get a pretty good idea of which waveform is being used on a channel from watching how the remote LEDs behave at low frequencies? For all of the examples I've already shown you, we used a square wave. With a square, the power is always constant at positive and negative polarities, and the change from positive to negative is almost instantaneous. However, exactly the same positive to negative switching principles apply to all the waveforms in Spooky 2, and at low frequencies, you'll be able to see that the changes in brightness of both LEDs reflects the actual shape of the waveform. Let's go back to some of the original waveform graphics to explain what happens back to contents 187. Here's what happens with a 1 Hz sine wave. A positive amplitude ramps up, so the left LED gets progressively brighter. B amplitude has reached its high point, 
so the left LED is at its brightest. C amplitude falls, so the LED dims and goes out, while the right LED starts to brighten. D negative amplitude reaches its high point, so the right LED is at its brightest. E amplitude once again starts to go positive, so the right LED starts to dim. Here's an inverse sawtooth waveform, also at 1 Hz a positive amplitude falls at a constant rate, so the left LED slowly dims. B amplitude passes through 0, the left LED goes out and the right one comes on. C negative amplitude increases at a constant rate, so the right LED slowly brightens. D amplitude rises through 0 to peak positive, so the right LED goes out, and the left one immediately brightens fully. Let's take a look at the 1 Hz damp sinusoidal A amplitude is at peak, so the left LED is fully lit. As amplitude ramps down, the LED dims and goes out, and the right LED comes on dimly and starts to brighten. B amplitude falls away with 12 internal rises and falls passing from positive to negative through zero. So each LED will brighten and dim 12 times in succession, and the brightness ramps up and down gradually. With the damp square, the LEDs wouldn't ramp up and down, they'd simply switch on and off alternately. See at this point, both LEDs are very dimly lit because of the low amplitudes. Finally, the amplitude returns to peak positive to start the cycle all over again. Back to contents 188 by now, you should be able to predict LED behavior when spooky remote is fed a 1 Hz H bomb square A amplitude is at zero, so neither LED is lit. B amplitude rises to peak positive level, then falls through zero to peak negative level. This means that the left LED will light fully, then go out as the right LED illuminates fully. C amplitude rises and proceeds through six smaller internal switches. So each LED switches six times in succession, but not to the same intensity of brightness as the first peak. With a H-bomb sinusoidal, the LEDs will dim and brighten gradually rather than switch. D step B is repeated. E amplitude returns to zero, so both LEDs go out. Finally, before we move on, there's one very important thing you will have realized from reading all the foregoing the spooky remote LEDs are powered and controlled by frequency, waveform, and amplitude. If Spooky2 is not sending a program to instruct your generator to create these, the remote will naturally receive none of them. So neither one of the remote LEDs can possibly light up. Now you, too, have the knowledge. You should experiment for yourself with the various waveforms and very low frequencies at different amplitudes so you can see for yourself the different results they produce in various combinations. With a little practices and patience, you can learn to use the remote's LEDs as a useful tool rather than simply a way to answer today's burning technical question is this thing on? Back to contents 189 understanding spectrum when I told John I wanted to do a section designed to make spectrum easy, he laughed and wished me luck. Now I know why the mathematics underlying it baffles even the best engineers, and many professional mathematicians would be hard pressed to understand what's going on under the hood. So the best I can do is to explain how the spectrum parameters affect the output signal, and give you some examples. This will give you a good handle on it all. But the first thing you must understand about spectrum is what it's meant to be used for. Spectrum was designed to kill every organism foreign to the body. Its primary purpose is not to heal, not to support, not to detox. It's really meant to be an executioner, for viruses, bacteria, fungi, mold, yeast, and parasites. So whenever you use it, you should also run detox and support programs. There are five sweeps that use Spectrum in the Spooky2 database. And the Create Spectrum Sweep facility makes it easy to design your own. However, you should remember that a sweep slowly moves from one frequency to another, so you will need to know the low and high frequencies that define the range in which your chosen target lives. But sweeps are pretty straightforward. What's less well understood is the idea of applying spectrum to static single frequencies. The first technical area we must look at is power, or amplitude spectrum is a mathematical way to make when parent static or moving frequency produce up to 1024 child frequencies simultaneously spread equally above and below that frequency. While this is an amazing feat, you must never forget that a generator's available amplitude is divided between all the frequencies it's currently transmitting. The 5M, 10M, and 20M generators operate at a maximum of 20 volts. 
So if you build a spectrum that creates 1024 frequencies at the same time, the amplitude of each would be 0.01953125 volts less than 1 50th of a volt. While this might be useful in remote mode, we can't say for sure yet because we haven't had time to research it, it's certain that it would be no good in contact mode, which needs higher far voltages to penetrate the skin. Back to contents 190 there are two answers to this problem. The first is to reduce the number of frequencies being transmitted so there's more power available to each of them. The second is to use Spooky Central, available in early 2016. Since it's presently our only option, let's start with the first case by defining our term center frequency. This is your frequency on which the spectrum will be centered, child frequencies will range above and below. Spectrum percent This is how you set the range within which frequencies will be created. Spectrum is always a percentage of your center frequency. Wave cycle multiplier x This is how you set the number of child frequencies to be produced. Because frequencies are created both above and below the center frequency, the number of child frequencies you create will be twice the value you enter here. To make things easier to follow, let's say we want to apply spectrum to a frequency of 500 Hz. This is our center frequency. Example 1 We want to create 100 child frequencies that will range from 450 Hz to 550 Hz with the values 450, 451, 452, 453, 454, 455, etc. So 500 Hz is our center frequency and each frequency is spaced 1 Hz apart. Here's how to find the value to enter for spectrum percent to make this happen A We want 100 child frequencies. So our wave cycle multiplier must be half this, 50. Multiply this value by 150 x 100 equal 5000 B. Multiply this result by our required frequency spacing, 1 hertz 5000 x 1 equal 5000 C. Divide this by our center frequency, 500 hertz 5000 slash 500 equal 10. Back to contents 191 so 10 is the value we must enter in the spectrum percent field and 50 in the wave cycle multiplier field to produce our result. Example 2 Let's make Spooky 2 output 20 individual frequencies ranging from 990-1010 Hz in 1 Hz steps. This is a far more effective way to produce a cluster of frequencies around a set center frequency than by using any frequency wobble. Wobbled frequencies are produced one after another they are linear, and thus their dwell is momentary. Spectrum frequencies are produced in parallel and their dwells are thus all equal to the center frequencies dwell A we want 20 child frequencies, so our wave cycle multiplier must be half this, 10. Multiply this value by 110 x 100 equal 1000 B multiply this result by our required frequency spacing, 1 hertz 1000 x 1 equal 1000 C divide this by our center frequency, 1000 hertz 1000 slash 1000 equal 1 so 1 is the value we must enter in the spectrum percent field and 10 in the wave cycle multiplier field to produce our result. Example 3 let's say that we wish to produce 20 evenly spaced frequencies centered around 1000 hertz ranging from 500 hertz to 1500 hertz to produce the sequence 500, 550, 600, 650, 700, 750, 800, 850. 900, 950, 1000, 1050, 1100, 1150, 1200, 1250, 1300, 1350, 1400, 1450, and 1500. There are 21 frequencies in all, our center frequency plus 10 below it and 10 above it. Oh we want 20 child frequencies, so our wave cycle multiplier must be half this, 10. Multiply this value by 110 x 100 equal 1000 back to contents 192 B. Multiply this result by our required frequency spacing, 50 Hz 1000 x 50 equal 50,000 C. Divide this by our center frequency, 1000 Hz 50,000 slash 1000 equal 50. So 50 is the value we must enter in the spectrum percent field and 10 in the wave cycle multiplier field to produce our result. Example 4 Let's introduce another factor mortal oscillatory rate tolerance. This is the actual frequency of the pathogen. Dr. Reif found that if you used any frequency that was within plus slash minus 0.025% of the pathogen's MOR, it would still be killed. To see how this can be very useful, we'll take a look at two frequencies, 150 Hz and 1,500,000 Hz 1.5 MHz. 
the tolerance for 150 Hz is 0 0.0375 Hz 0.025% of 150 Hz, which means that any frequency from 149.9625 Hz to 150.0375 Hz will kill a pathogen whose MOR is 150 Hz. Interesting, but not too useful. However, it's very important to remember that virtually all the frequencies we have today were developed on machines that had a top frequency limit of 10,000 Hz or 100,000 Hz but Dr. Reif and Dr. Clark had found that the actual MORs of pathogens were up in the megahertz range, which these machines couldn't transmit. This means that we're still dealing with low weaker subharmonics because of the technical limitations of the past. But that day is over now, Spooky 2 can transmit up to 25 million Hz. So here's where MOR tolerance becomes useful to us the tolerance for 1,500,000 Hz 1.5 mHz is 375 Hz, which means that any frequency from 1,499,625 Hz to 1,500,375 Hz will kill a pathogen whose MOR is 1.5 mHz, but it will also kill everything else whose MORs lie within that range. Back to contents 193 and that's not the only benefit. MOR tolerance up in the MHZ range means we can take far bigger steps through frequencies and still be guaranteed we're going to kill bad guys. Here's one example of this using 1.5 MHZ as our center frequency of let's say we want 100 child frequencies, so our wave cycle multiplier must be half this, 50. Multiply this value by 150 x 100 equal 5000 B multiply this result by our required frequency spacing, we're allowed up to 375 Hz. But let's play safe and choose 350 Hertz 5000 x 350 equal 1,750,000 C divide this by our center frequency, 1,500,000 Hertz 1,750,000 slash 1,500,000 equal 1.17 so 1.17 is the value you must enter in the spectrum percent field and 50. In the wave cycle multiplier field to produce your result by transmitting 1.5 mHz with the spectrum percent and wave cycle multiplier settings, you will hit every pathogen whose MOR lies between 1,482,150 Hz and 1,517,850 Hz. That's a lot of territory that can be covered by just one frequency. So by carefully designing custom spectrum frequency sets with the right center frequencies, you can start to take giant strides through the entire MHZ range, which is where all the bad guys really hang out. Suddenly, those very big numbers are not quite as daunting as you may have thought. Back to contents 194 2 formulas 1. The formula to calculate the required spectrum percent value is spectrum equal half the number of child frequencies required x100 x frequency spacing desired slash center frequency 2. The formula to calculate the frequency spacing that will be produced by any given spectrum percent value is frequency spacing equal center frequency x spectrum slash wave cycle multiplier x100 note that calculations enclosed in parentheses should always be resolved first before carrying out any other mathematical operations. So in the example above, you'd first multiply center frequency by spectrum percent, note down the result, then multiply the wave cycle multiplier by 100. Only then would you divide your first result by your second one. One final word of advice about spectrum always sit down with pencil, paper, and calculator first and plan exactly what you want to achieve. Once you get the hang of it, there's no limit to what can be done. But for the moment, if you wish to try doing contact spectrum sessions, don't forget to divide the generator's amplitude by the number of child frequencies plus the center frequency to see how much power each frequency is going to be allocated. Back to contents 195 multi-lented spooky 2 I've owned three very expensive top-line commercial rife machines that together cost me the price of a small car. I returned the most expensive one for a partial refund because it kept breaking down. A second one never worked from the moment I took it out of the box. The third works fine, and it's built like a tank, so it fulfills the first necessity for any machine that's going to be literally vitally important, reliability. Yet I choose to use the cheap and cheerful Spooky 2. I use it because I believe it's the most powerful, effective, and versatile rife machine that money can buy. Very little money. But Spooky 2 isn't just a rife machine. Right now, it can also make superior nano-colloidal ionic silver. Function as a powerful Clark Zapper, 
with spectrum zapping as an added bonus be used very effectively as a foot tubs rife system new section coming soon. Eradicate insect pests and molds in the home. And more is planned for the future. A lot more, colloidal silver some forgotten facts were once common knowledge. Almost 100 years of ceaseless marketing and lies has convinced the public that drugs are the best way to combat illnesses, a lie becomes the truth if repeated often enough. Why? The most effective way to control any society is to get, and keep, an iron grip on the health of its members. Sick people can put up a much of a fight. It's time for a change. Spooky wants everyone to take control over their own health. It all begins with education. And the truth. Before money dictated health matters, cheap remedies were effective. The ancient Romans used plain honey to prevent cuts from becoming infected. Burdock a common thistle has been used for treating chronic diseases such as cancers, diabetes, and AIDS. It is a blood purifier that can also be applied directly to the skin to treat problems such as eczema, acne, and psoriasis. Back to contents 196 no profits can be made from weeds, so drugs were created. The term side effect was invented to make drug dangers appear unimportant. The correct term should be unwanted effect. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Division of Chemistry later renamed the FDA question the effectiveness of many of the time-proven cures. Finally, the big push came to make most natural cures illegal. Before refrigeration was common, people would drop a silver coin into their milk jar to keep the milk fresh for longer. Silver cutlery was, and still is, used to combat bacteria. Silver has an amazing ability to kill viral, bacterial and fungal organisms. An independent test by Larry C. Ford, the MD of the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology from UCLA School of Medicine, concluded that colloidal silver kills more than 650 bacteria, fungi, parasites, molds and fungi, all of which have the potential to cause diseases. Silver is a threat to drug sales, so doubt needed to be placed on its safety. Reports of two people who drank massive amounts of incorrectly made ionic silver were widely distributed. Their skin had turned blue. These reports omitted the dangers of common drugs such as paracetamol, which can cause devastating liver damage if just a few pills too many are taken regularly. This drug can be bought at any supermarket without prescription. In 2009, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, a notoriously conservative and some would now say untrustworthy body released a report which showed that prescription drugs killed 37,485 Americans in that year versus 36,284 killed in road traffic accidents. Common drugs believed by many to be innocuous caused more deaths than heroin and cocaine combined in that year. In contrast, silver is safe and effective. It has been used for over 2,000 years to prevent sickness and heal. Our bodies need silver to function properly. It's important to understand the difference between colloidal silver and ionic silver. Colloidal silver is small silver particles suspended in a liquid. These particles are stable and suitable for both external skin and internal use. It is the most desirable form of silver solution. Spooky 2 can make true colloidal silver. Back to contents 197 ionic silver is silver atoms dissolved within a liquid. The atom size is much smaller than colloidal silver particles. Each atom is missing one electron, making them highly reactive. Ionic silver is converted into a desirable silver chloride when it encounters body salts, so may be suitable for external skin use only. Marketing hype has created confusion. Most colloidal silver being sold and made is in fact more than 90% ionic silver which is only suitable for topical use. Once inside the body it becomes ineffective. The particle size of ionic silver is one molecule. There are visible differences between colloidal silver and ionic silver. These drinking glasses contain two different batches of silver solution, each with roughly 15 ppm silver concentration. The glass on the left was made using the old-fashioned direct current battery method. It has a high ionic content, no color, and is clear. Adding salt, however, will make it turn cloudy as the silver ions convert to silver chloride. The glass on the right has a high colloidal content and a golden hue. Adding salt will not alter its clarity. It was created over two days using very low current and the special spooky two-wave form. 
instructions follow the simple steps on the next couple of pages to create true nanoparticle colloidal silver with a high silver content. The silver particle size will be very small. This increases effectiveness. Back to contents 198 American wire gauge diameter diameter AWG inches mm 000 0.46 11.68000.40096 10.40000030648927001 0.32498251 0.28937.35202576654300 O six four one one sixty three fifteen zero O five seven one one point four five sixteen zero O five O eight one twenty nine seventeen zero O four five three one point one five eighteen zero point zero four zero three one point zero two nineteen O O three five nine zero point nine one twenty zero point zero three two O eight one twenty one O O two eight five zero point seven two twenty two O O two five four O six five twenty three O O two two six zero point five seven twenty four Zero O two O one zero point five one twenty five zero O one seven nine zero forty five twenty six zero O one five nine zero forty back to contents cross sectional area MM two one hundred seven point one six eighty four ninety seven sixty seven point four zero fifty three point four six forty two thirty nine thirty three sixty one twenty six sixty five twenty one point one four sixteen seventy six thirteen point two nine ten point five five eight thirty six six hundred sixty three five hundred twenty six four point one seven. 3.312.632.08.1.651.3110.4082.0.6505.201033.0.2020.0.16.0131 Fill a glass or ceramic container with distilled water. Do not use tap or filtered water. These will almost certainly contain unwanted impurities and chemicals. 2. Place two clean and shiny silver rods in the water. They must be more than 1 inch apart and larger than 14 AWG in thickness. 9 AWG is ideal because the surface area is greater. This makes smaller particles and has the bonus of being stronger. The rod should be at least 99.99% pure silver. Find silver rod start page search list. 199 back to contents 3. Connect one output channel of the 5M generator to each rod. You can do this either by using a Spooky Boost 2.0 signal processor, or the red clips of two individual BNC2 alligator clips cables. The Spooky 2 Silver Kit Left comes with Spooky Boost 2.0 and two 99.99% pure silver rods, and you can find it here. Alternatively, connect a 10,000 ohm resistor in series with one rod to limit the current. This resistor can be connected to the silver rod by twisting or screws. Do not solder the resistor as it may introduce dangerous lead into the system. These components are also called 10 kilom or 10K resistors. You can buy them very cheaply at any electronic supplies store, or direct from Amazon USA here or Maplin UK here. Note using this resistor is not absolutely necessary to make CS, but it will greatly improve the quality of your brew. 204. Launch Spooky2 and use the calculator to estimate the dwell you need to enter for the colloidal silver generation program. You may have to go to step 5 and briefly run the generator to measure the current megaampere with a multimeter so you can enter it in the calculator. The six fields in the by calculation pane are interactive. Changing a value in one will alter the values in the others. Enter your numbers in the top three to find the dwell multiplier you need to enter in the program options pane. The total time needed to make your CS will be shown. In the by measurement pane, enter the TDS of your distilled water before you start, then the TDS of the final product or during production. The estimated PPM will be shown beneath. Or enter a PPM value to get the target TDS value. Note that a TDS total dissolved solids meter will NOT measure the colloidal silver content of a solution. Colloids are not dissolved solids. If you don't have a multimeter to measure the current, simply make the supposition that your system will consume 0.2 megaampere. 
This is a very rough average estimate that assumes you have two 9AWG rods 1 inch apart submerged to a depth of 12 inches in distilled water. Back to Contents 201 File Database Global Online 1 U Tiles Advanced Menu Help Identify Generators Search Abdominal Crab 3 Abdominal Inflammation Absminal Fain Absminal Pain Abscess No Cardia Astrocyte Abscesses 2 Abscesses 3 Abscesses Secondary Program Options Frequency Multiplier Repeat Every Freak Repeat Each Set Repeat Program Dwell Multiplier in NRTHDR for edible M disabled identify users identify USB devices install UDB drivers install spooky XM 32 bit drivers install spooky XM 64 bit drivers show generator status rescue devices colloidal slash ionic silver calculator show errors and warnings 5. Load the JW colloidal silver generation preset and the colloidal silver waveform. Enter the estimated dwell into the dwell multiplier field and start the channel. The waveform has been designed to produce very small silver particles of varying size. Do not rush the manufacturing process. Slower is better. Now start your channel. And good luck. Back to contents 202 important notes the quality of CS will increase if it is made slowly. It can take more than a day to make a truly great batch. Use cold water. Hot water will speed up the process but the particle size will increase. Stir the water every hour to ensure the silver particles are evenly distributed. When your batch is done, it will be cloudy with sloughed off silver oxide. Allow to stand for an hour before decanning so that this can fall as sediment to the bottom of the container. When the CS solution is ready for use it may be a light yellow golden color. This indicates a very small particle size. You can shine a laser light in the solution and see a visible red line indicating microscopic silver particles in suspension. Store the CS solution in a dark glass container. Plastics and ultraviolet light from the sun may cause the silver ions to lose their positive charge and clump together, losing their ability to heal. What makes the Spooky CS protocol special? Three unique features help Spooky to produce remarkably high quality colloidal silver. 1. The triangular shaped waveform uses pulses of varying amplitude DC. The amplitude sets the silver particle size drawn off the silver rod. Differing sizes of particles will be drawn off, each nanometers in size. 2. The waveform has a 10% DC offset that speeds up the manufacturing time. 3. The silver rods do not require cleaning. Swap waveform inversions will turn the silver hydroxide buildup on the anode plus into plated silver that sediments to the bottom of the container. This prevents contamination of your silver solution. Back to contents 203 JW on making superior CS it's hard to find the strength of CS. People often use a TDS meter. However, colloidal silver is silver particles that are suspended in solution, only silver ions are dissolved. So TDS meters will only measure the ionic silver strength, not the colloidal strength. TDS meters measure the conductivity of water, and convert ohms to ppm. The CS that Spooky 2 makes has an exceptionally high ratio of CS to ionic silver. The calculator takes the initial TDS reading only the distilled water, this should be one or less and compares it with the later final TDS reading. From the difference in readings, Spooky 2 ascertains the true amount of silver in ppm, or parts per million that is in solution. A more accurate way of determining the ppm is to use a multimeter set to milliamps. Before you begin, set it all up and start a program using any dwell multiplier. Measure the current that passes through one of the rods by putting the multimeter in series. This means removing a clip connected to one of the silver rods and attaching it to one of the multimeter leads. When the other multimeter lead touches the rod you remove the clip from, a current will be shown. Entering this current value into the calculator along with the volume of the water will give a good estimate of the time necessary to make CS. Back to contents 200 for the current that passes through the solution increases over time as more silver sloughs off the rods. The purpose of the 10K resistor is to keep the current more constant and low. I'm making CS as I type this. The program has run for 191,519 seconds, and the current has increased from 0.21 MA to 0.3 MA. It will take 360,000 seconds in total to make 4 liters of amazing CS. This is just over 4 days. I don't mind waiting. The job is slotted into my rig, 
and one generator dedicated solely to CS production is really a no-brainer. On the previous page is a photo I took last night showing the quality of my current batch. Remember, this is only halfway through production. The laser beam gets even brighter later. Ionic silver has no beam since it has no silver solids in suspension to reflect the light, because silver ions dissolve. As regards using it, I don't swallow my silver. I swish some in my mouth for two minutes, then spit it out. You can gargle it, too. The silver particles are small enough to enter cells directly. I haven't cleaned my silver rods at all and they don't need cleaning. And you don't have to wake up every hour to stir the solution. Just get a magnetic stirrer. I forgot to mention that I use one of these set to approximately 4 RPMs. Above is a photo of the setup in its entirety. Back to contents 205 Clark Zapper before Spooky 2, only the well upholstered could afford to play with Rife Therapy. If you weren't well off, your only alternative was the Zapper. Invented by the wonderful and humane Dr. Hulda Clark, the schematics and instructions to build this at home using widely available and expensive electronic components were given away freely. So Spooky 2 stands in exalted company. Since those days, a whole new industry has sprung up around zappers. There are some very good ones, and there are some not so good ones. And virtually all of them cost more than a Spooky 2 rig. At its most basic, the original Clark zapper used one frequency. 30,000 Hz and it killed everything you pointed it at. So how can one single frequency possibly do this? The answer lies in the settings Dr. Clark chose. Because her device had to be battery powered, she was limited to an amplitude of 9 volts. She chose a square wave because she wanted as many odd harmonics both higher and lower as possible. Her real genius lay in specifying a 100% positive offset because pushing a square wave like this makes it produces a back to contents huge spread of harmonic frequencies, from O Hertz up into the MHZ range, all of them spaced 60,000 Hertz apart. Later, another zapper frequency was developed, 2500 Hertz. When used with the same settings, this produces a spread of harmonics that are 5000 Hertz apart. Many Zapper users believe that this lower frequency is more effective for problems in hollow organs and body cavities. Both versions are now in the Spooky 2 database. We've also added a dual version that uses the two outs to transmit both frequencies at the same time. But why stop there? A second version of this for remote use incorporates Spectrum, too, making life frequency hell for pathogens and parasites. Zapping is still most effectively done in contact mode. Although Dr. Plinkai Mishra has kindly provided very useful remote versions since the last frequency transmitted in contact mode zapper sets is always O Hertz for 21 minutes, we've decided to remove it, so these sets now take 63 minutes. But you should use the 21 minutes save to relax and give your body a chance to get organized to deal with clean up. Then you can help out by running a detox program. If you haven't tried zapping, you should because it's very effective and it's still the best way to kill a tapeworm safely. 206 pests and molds my own and final environmental experiments with Spooky 2 and the Spectrum sweeps have given me some pretty astonishing results so far. It all started at the end of summer 2013 with a black mold on my natural wood and tiled floors. My home is the driest place I've ever lived in, so finding this was a shock. The mold was sticky and couldn't be either swept or vacuumed. Both bad ideas anyway. So the only way to deal with it was to get down on hands and knees to physically dislodge it, then very carefully clear one tiny area at a time. Because I'm spinally disabled, this was out of the question for me, so I had to find another solution. I took a sample of the mold and put it in tape, then inserted it into my homemade DNA holder attached to an older UDB1108S generator I was using at that time. I then ran the CAFL fungus and mold set in an endless loop. It took a month to six weeks, but eventually the black mold turned gray, which I took to mean that it was dead. A couple of weeks later, a correspondent whose home was infested with springtails wrote to me at my delusional insects website. She didn't have spooky, but she did have a commercial rife machine. So I told her how to set it up for back to contents remote, use a dead insect as a remote transmission DNA sample. Then transmit a frequency set that had been reported by another correspondent to drive Columbola out of the body. It worked, her home was cleared of Columbola. 
Shortly after the release of the spooky Spectrum Sweep, I noticed one morning that I had large black ants in an unused bedroom, about 50-60 of them, all coming up from under the floor. So I decided that I'd try the same trick. I killed one, put it in a paper tape wrap, then ran the spooky Spectrum Sweep non-stop. The numbers dropped dramatically almost immediately, and within a week they were all gone. I also noticed that my fresh organic produce was developing molds very quickly. So I did the same with two different types, one blue, one white. No more molds grow on my fruit and veggies now. Another escapade was with hordes of red ants in my kitchen. A dual remote 5M ran the converge sweep on two corpses, and they were all gone in three days. After that, I had yet another ant infestation by a different species. Again, I dealt with it using Spooky 2, and they all 207 disappeared from my kitchen, within five minutes this time. Since then, I've had another three ant infestations in my kitchen. Spooky 2 dispatched all my unwelcome visitors within an hour each time. They're invading from my garden, where they're very welcome to live unmolested. But I don't wish to share my home with them. I also eradicated an infestation of pesky drain flies in my bathroom. I ran the sweep for 30 days, and unwelcome visitor numbers reduced from 30-50 flies a day to zero. I strongly suspect that there was most likely more than one gene pool involved in this particular infestation because of the length of time taken in comparison to the other insects. Nevertheless, no more drain flies. How does it work? Well, just like us, insects have bacterial and fungal symbionts in their gut to help them digest food. The sweep kills these very quickly, and suddenly the pests are starving to death in the midst of plenty. There have also been reports of Spooky 2 being used successfully to eradicate fleas. The Spooky Spectrum Sweep wasn't used in this case, but the CAFL set for fleas. Back to contents I found this interesting because it means that insects for which a frequency set exists can be killed in the environment. Since there are frequencies for bird mites in the database, this is good news for those infested both personally and environmentally with these dreadful pests. It means that adults in the home will die at the same time as emergent young in the skin. And because there are also frequencies for dust mites dermatophagoids, it's also good news for asthma and allergy sufferers because it's a non-toxic way to quickly eradicate dust mites in the home, simply by putting a few samples of sweepings in the remote. Unfortunately, Spooky 2 is probably not going to be able to solve gardening problems. Outdoor infestations are far more likely to be composed of insects from many different gene pools, so only those genetically related to the transmission insect will be affected. If you have insect or mold infestation problems, please give this a try and let me know how you get on. Two of our users did just that, and they've allowed me to share their successes. The first involves beetles which were infesting a piece of artwork in a user's friend's home, and the second involves a dangerous black mold in the basement of a user's home which was making the family seriously ill. This is the sculpture. If you look closely at the bent leg on the left, you can see the holes left by the beetles. On the black plinth, you see some dead ones. When the clearance started, the sweep settings weren't quite correct, so progress was slow. However, back to contents 209 when they were amended. Many more were driven out to die back to contents 210 in the ladies' own words about every six months for the past 10 years, 20-30 beetles would come out of the sculpture. They would crawl around the enclosure for a few days and die. Until the spooky spectrum sweep, I never had more than a few at a time. When several dead ones were placed in the spooky remote and the sweep was run, beetles exited pretty much every day. This job took three months. A very large infestation like this means that vast numbers of eggs have been laid. The sweep can only kill feeding adults, not eggs, so these continue to hatch. For the last week of May, however, only a few beetles have appeared. And this lady now also reports another success driving out ants that were invading her home. Back to contents I'll let this friend speak for herself this whole wall 8x40 was almost all black mold. This is what is left. It's about an 8-inch circle. You can see the raised areas that used to be mold. We had a serious issue when we found that a water line running to our BAM was leaking behind the walls of our finished 211 basement. When we tore down the drywall, it was horrifying. The day all the drywall was off, our spooky two generator showed up and we started the remote killing with samples, our two mold samples, 
One is black mold, which after checking this morning, is now gray. The other was some green mold from the same area. Last night I went to my basement to look at the mold situation. I found that about 99% of it has turned to a white powder. The green and the black mold are almost gone now. I'm so happy. When I came back up after the inspection and started to tell my husband, I just started crying, we have been very sick and tired. This nightmare is nearly over. I felt so sick for the past few years, and a few times I thought I was near death. I'm so happy. Thank you Spooky too. Note that the black patch in the photo which took longer to be killed than the rest is now also gone. These two stories are just some of the many we've received from Happy Spooky 2 users, they're also the only two we're aware of where photos of the results were taken and subsequently shared with us. And since seeing is believing, we're also sharing them with you. The Spooky team has now decided to make available a new Spooky 2 home care kit, designed specifically to deal with home insect pest and mold eradication. It will consist of 1x Spooky 2-5M Frequency Generator 1x Spooky Boost 3.01x Spooky Remote 1.1 Scalar Transmitter The kit will cost about $170, and it will be available here very shortly. Back to Contents 212 How the Universe Works If you want to get the most out of Spooky 2, it's essential that you understand one very basic thing, energy. And in order to do that, you have to be prepared to completely discard your present beliefs about reality and the nature of the universe. Because things are not what they seem to be. Right now, you probably believe that the world you live in is solid. And it certainly seems that way, if you bump into a coffee table, you'll hurt your shin and hop around the room in pain. The coffee table is matter, and so are you. But what is matter? Matter is made up of molecules. And molecules are made up of elemental atoms. The nature of those elemental atoms, and the way they're joined together, determines the type of matter you're dealing with. Here's an illustration of the difference between atoms and molecules. The top row of spheres are single atoms of oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen. Single atoms are called elements. Below them are simple molecules that are made up from those atoms. O2 is the type of oxygen we need to breathe, and it's made from two single oxygen atoms. Next is carbon dioxide which we exhale. That's made from two atoms of oxygen that have bonded with one atom of carbon. The final molecule is water, made from two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Back to contents 213 these are all very simple molecules. Two are gases, and the third is a liquid. Now we'll look at a more complex molecule. This is a molecule of heroin. It's made from atoms of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. The solid links between the atoms in the illustration don't actually exist, they're simply used in models of molecules to show how each atom is bound to its neighbors. This method of modeling is called stick and ball. As molecules go, heroin is fairly straightforward. But there are a great many others that are far more complex than this. When you look at this molecule, you can see that it actually consists of one other thing besides its constituent atoms. Empty space. In fact, it's more empty space than it is atoms. Yet heroin isn't a gas, and it isn't a liquid, it's a solid. A solid that's mostly made up of empty space. Okay, but it's still got a whole bunch of atoms in there, and they must be what give heroin its apparent solidity. So let's examine a single atom and see what it's made from. We'll pick carbon, since diamonds are made from this, and they're one of the hardest and most solid things on earth. Back to contents 214 the nucleus in the center is composed of neutrons and protons that are tightly packed together. The rest of our carbon atom is six electrons, all orbiting the nucleus very rapidly. Every type of elemental atom has a different number of protons, neutrons, and orbiting electrons. You'll notice that protons all have a positive electrical charge, and the electrons all have a negative charge. Neutrons, as their name suggests, carry no electrical charge and are neutral. But, just like a molecule, an atom is once again mostly empty space. And when you start to probe even deeper into the structure of neutrons, protons, and the electrons, you find that they're composed of even smaller subatomic particles. Interesting, but not terribly exciting so far. Now let me show you something that will shock you, it certainly shocked me when I first found it out. 
let's gather together every single molecule that exists in the observable universe. We'll split all those molecules into their constituent atoms, removing all the empty space. Now we'll make a necklace of all those single atoms end to end. How long do you think that necklace would be? It would be the same length as the Earth's orbit around the Sun, 600 million miles. Back to contents 215 if you think that's amazing, let's go further now and remove the empty space in all those atoms, so we're only left with real solid material. And then we'll roll all these solid leftovers up into a ball. How big do you think that ball would be? Get ready for this all the atoms in the observable universe, with all their empty space removed and compressed into a single ball, would be the size of one single pea. Solid matter is an illusion. Matter is energy. And energy is movement from one state to another and back again. This movement of energy is called vibration, or oscillation. And it's the mind-boggling speed at which this oscillation occurs that gives energy its appearance of solidity. Think of a propeller on an airplane. When it's stopped, it's two or three distinct single blades. When it's moving, it looks like a semi-solid disc. If you could build an engine that was capable of turning the propeller faster than the speed of light, the semi-solid disc of the propeller would become solid, and you could reach out and touch it without harm. At this speed, linear time breaks down, and the individual blades are now in all their possible positions at the exact same instant. In other words, what were originally positions in time have now become positions in space. So now we've identified three interrelated aspects of energy that relate to its manifestation as matter, and they're not just the building blocks of the universe we're all part of, they're also the foundation stones of rife therapy. They are speed, space, and time, and we'll look at them in the next section. And we'll see how the combinations of these three variables explain the infinite multiplicity we experience all around us. Back to contents 216 speed, space and time speed is a function of space and time. When you take a leisurely stroll, you're moving through 5 miles of space in 1 hour of time, 5 mph. When light takes a stroll, it moves through almost 671 million miles of space in 1 hour of time, 670,616,629 mph. When something vibrates, or oscillates, it's energy moving through space and time. The difference is that the distance through space is almost infinitesimally small, and the time taken for the journey varies with whatever is doing the vibrating. Another difference is that vibration is always a journey from A to Z and back again, it's never in one single direction. To simplify things, let's call this journey from A to Z and back again a state change. Where energy is concerned, the state change is from positive to negative and back again, and as energy undergoes it, its amplitude, or power, changes. The speed at which this state change happens isn't measured in miles per hour, instead, we measure it by finding out how often it happens in a given time. This is called frequency. Everything in the universe, from an elemental atom to a star, has its own unique frequency. And the reason for this is the different number of protons, neutrons, and the electrons that make up each elemental atom. But there's more. When you take elemental atoms and make a molecule from them, that molecule now assumes its own unique frequency. This happens every time you move one level up the scale of complexity. So the frequency of an elemental atom of oxygen is different from the frequency of the oxygen you can breathe two atoms making up a molecule, and both are also different from the frequency of water two elemental atoms of hydrogen bonded with one elemental atom of oxygen. So frequency is a measurement of how fast energy moves through one single state change in a given time. This used to be called cycles per second CPS, but it's now called Hertz Hertz. But there's another very important attribute of energy we haven't looked at yet. Amplitude is a measure of how strong or powerful the energy is, and it changes throughout every state change. The change can be orderly or chaotic. Chaotic energy change is called noise. Here, we need only deal with orderly change and we'll do so in the next section. Back to contents 217 how RIFE works depending on what it's being used for. RIFE therapy works in a number of different ways. Perhaps the most common use for frequencies is to kill pathogens, and the best description of how that process works that I've ever heard comes from John Imagine the Cowboy with a Whip. He brings the whip back, then forward. When the sinusoidal energy wave traveling down the lever reaches the end, it must change direction very quickly. When it does, 
there is a loud crack as the speed of the tip exceeds the speed of sound. It is only when the direction changes that the energy is expended. This is a close analogy to why only the peaks and troughs of a waveform create the output frequencies. These are the points in the wave where the voltage and fields change direction. Technically, it can be explained as conservation of momentum. Momentum is a vector that has direction. Momentum will not turn corners, so some of it is expelled as energy. This principle explains how whiplash injuries sustained in car crashes can be so physically devastating. So now, here's the unsuspecting pathogen, minding its own business, busy making your life miserable, and buzzing along at its own natural frequency. Out of the blue, it now finds itself vibrating with much greater force because you've just transmitted its own natural frequency into your body by cracking the spooky two whiff repeatedly. Adding two identical frequencies to each other greatly increases the energy in the target system, just as two ocean waves become bigger and more powerful when they can join as one. But your overlaying waveform now controls how those conjoined energies behave. If you've chosen a wave with abrupt direction changes in energy, the rapid and repeated rip cracks will cause electrical state changes that can damage, disable, or devitalize the pathogen. Back to contents 218 some frequency sets are specifically designed to disable specific life systems, cell wall components, or functions, so that a pathogen can no longer reproduce, take in sustenance, or even move. So it will quickly die. For detox, the repeated application of energies serves to bump pollutants out of cells and tissues to where they can enter the blood or lymph and be removed by the liver and kidneys. So it works on pretty much the same principles as pathogen killing, except that its result is the mechanical movement of materials foreign to the body. For healing, the process is completely different and works on the principle of frequency entrainment. Take two grandfather clocks and stand them against the same wall. Now set the pendulum swinging out of sync with each other. Within a few days, both pendulums will have come back into perfect sync with each other, and will remain that way until they're disturbed again. That's entrainment. Another example is a little more mysterious and is seen only in girls' boarding schools and university dorms. At the start of the term, the girls' natural cycles are all out of sync with each other. Within a few months, they will all have synchronized to within a couple of days of each other. That's also entrainment. So if you take the frequencies of a healthy liver, or a robust immune system, and you transmit them into a body where these are not so wonderful, within a few days frequency entrainment will have taken place and things will start looking much better. Some experienced rife researchers also maintain that since life itself is frequency, the simple act of transmitting beneficial frequencies into the body, any beneficial frequencies, will act to wake up the immune system, remind it of its function, and set it to work again properly. Back to contents 219 The golden rule of riffing any living thing that lives in or on you, that consumes your energy or resources, and that confers no benefit upon you in exchange, is a parasite. This includes insects, fungi, bacteria, and viruses. It may surprise you to learn that, with the possible exception of viruses, all parasites themselves have parasites. Viruses and sporochets can parasitize bacteria. Fungi can parasitize larger fungi. They can also host viruses, bacteria, and insects. And insects can harbor many different parasites internally and on the surface of their bodies. Entirely understandably, insect infestation sufferers wish to be rid of the pests the moment they get their hands on a rife system. I did this myself, and it brought me a world of nightmare and suffering. When you kill hundreds of thousands of large parasites like mites large by comparison with bacteria, you're leaving all their internal and external parasites alive. When the insect bodies decompose, all those living fungi, bacteria, and viruses are released into your bloodstream. And now you're in big trouble. Since you've just killed their hosts of choice, you will have to take their place. You've just given your already overburdened immune system a few million extra headaches to deal with. So the rule when riffing is this work from smallest to largest. This can also be stated as work from the inside to the outside, from the things contained to the container itself. If you proceed like this, you won't end up in the awful trouble that I did, because when you finally get to kill your biggest parasites, you will already have killed everything they might have unleashed. Back to contents 220 appendix a terrain when you're dealing with a serious condition, 
it's a very good idea to start by preparing your body for the war you're about to wage. This treatment plan was devised by Johann Stegmann as part of the original Morgellons protocol. However, its use is also recommended for anyone preparing to tackle cancers, Lyme, or any other non-trivial illness. By completing this first, you will remove metals, toxins, pollutants, and some common parasites, all of which can impede your progress unless they're dealt with first. You will also ensure that your eliminatory system is prepared for the onslaught to come, and that your blood and lymph are cleansed and functional. All timings here are given for a single XM generator using a dwell multiplier of 0.33. Run programs consecutively with 4-24 hour breaks in between if required. Best used with a spooky remote VIL-1 Bio North. Settings use JW, Healing or DH, Killing Healing click either link to go there. Settings changes are indicated by the blue text settings within a program. Back to content step 1, metals and chemicals program when removed metals arsenic as extra mercury toxicity v careful heavy metal toxicity, extra run this program non-stop for 48 hours. Next program to remove chemical materials detox pesticide, extra detox fluoride, extra run this program non-stop for 24 hours. Next step 2. System Detox Program When Remove Systemic Toxins Detox Toxic Proteins, Extra Detox Toxins Elimination 1 Extra Run This Program Non-Stop for 8 Hours. Next Program to Remove Systemic Toxins Detox Toxins Elimination 2, Extra Run This Program Non-Stop for 24 Hours. Next Program 3 Remove Intestinal Toxins Detox 1 Toxins in the Intestines, CAFL Run This Program Non-Stop for 8 Hours. Next 221 Program 4 Remove Systemic Toxins Detox 4 Toxins Throughout the Body, CAFL Run This Program Non-Stop for 8 Hours. Next Step 3, Organ System Support Program 1 Remove Parasites, Restore Normal Liver Function Liver I Prov Liver 2 PRO5 Liver Flukes, CAFL Liver Function Balance, Extra Run This Program Non-Stop for 16 Hours. Next Program to Restore Normal Kidney Function Kidney Function Balance. Extra run this program non-stop for 16 hours. Next program 3 Restore normal kidney function kidney insufficiency, CAFL run this program non-stop for 8 hours. Next program 4 Remove blood toxins and pathogens lymphangitis, CAFL streptococcus pyogenes, CAFL settings spectrum percent point zero two. Run this program non-stop for 8 hours. Next back to contents program 5 remove kidney liver toxins detox 3 toxins in the kidneys and liver, PROV settings spectrum percent 0. Run this program non-stop for 8 hours. Next program 6 remove intestinal parasites detox 2 parasites in the intestines, CAFL settings spectrum percent point zero two. Run this program non-stop for 8 hours. Next program 7 remove lymph toxins. Restore normal function lymphs and detox, PROV settings spectrum percent zero. Run this program non-stop for 16 hours. Next program 8 Restore normal lymph function lymph support, CAFL run this program non-stop for 8 hours. This completes the terrain preparation please note that all program timings are the mini mums recommended, so don't worry if you overrun any of them. This protocol is also available as a single preset in the menu, or as a bank of individual presets on the downloads page. If you suffer with liver or kidney problems, you should consider doubling the time allotted for these programs. Appendix B Spectrum Story If you're aware of the history of riffing, you'll have heard of the legendary Rife Hoyland Sweep. Normally performed using a 3.3 MHZ or 3.1 MHZ radio carrier wave and a plasma tube. This 4-hour sweep is reputed to kill all pathogens. By inputting a large audio frequency range into the carrier, a great many sidebands are created that ostensibly hit the MORs of all pathogenic organisms. You can see a graphical representation of this process here, scroll down to the blue image near the bottom of the page. You'll see that the most powerful frequency is the 3.3 MHZ carrier which has no therapeutic value and no function other than to act as transport for the audio frequencies. You'll also see that the subharmonics to the left, and the higher harmonics to the right of the carrier all diminish in power as they get further away from the carrier frequency. It's important to be aware that these sidebands are depicted logarithmically rather than linearly. The effect of this is to make them look more powerful to the uneducated eye than they actually are. 
Since the design and mechanics of this sweep are based on examinations of some of Dr. Wright's original machines, and on incomplete and sometimes cryptic documentation and reminiscences reputedly made by him and some of his collaborators, we decided to look at the mathematics and science rather than the history and conjecture. This is not the place to go into details, but we will say that what we found made it clear that the Reif Hoyland sweep was flawed, and whole areas capable of vastly improving its efficacy had never, to our knowledge, been explored. So we decided to start again, with a blank sheet of paper. And one single frequency. Because we knew that if we could do what we needed to do with just one frequency, we could extend the principles to sweeps. And we did. The result is nothing short of a rife revolution. We call it spectrum. It's an apt name because it's a bit like using mathematical prisms to split each frequency into up to 1024 subharmonics and higher harmonics. It needs no useless energy devouring carrier wave. And, best of all, the sidebands it creates back to contents 223 are all equal power, no matter how distant from the center frequency, another world first. The implications of using spectrum on a single static frequency are astonishing enough, but when you apply it to a frequency sweep, it really comes into its own, and the sky is truly the limit. So we sat down and designed the sweep that we believe the Reif Hoyland sweep could, and should, have been. Because our sweep doesn't need radio carrier wave technology, it can be used in contact, remote, or plasma mode. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. First, some explanations, then we'll show you how to use spectrum effectively. This is the first composite image of the Spooky 2 settings, and the oscilloscope readings that proved we were on the right track. At this point, we were experimenting with a square wave. The center frequency used here was 10,000 Hz-10 kHz. We specified for back to contents 224 subwaves, or wavelets, and a spectrum value of 100%. Across the bottom of the image, you can see the oscilloscope readings of the different frequency clusters this produced in the 0-20 kHz range. Now, here's what happens when you increase the number of subwaves from 4 to 100 spike spectrum OOLILM kHz R red R4 H R SK R R R O R P P Y V F per M length ratio percent R C zero to one hundred A R I I one hundred R R U one zero to R R R R R F R fry R R R M M R R sixteen to follow out R spike R inverse plus sync biofeedback scan and pulse R B P M H R V G A L V F B P M F H R V F G A L V four zero percent mu M L twenty Q we're still using a center frequency of ten thousand hertz and a plane square wave. But now take a look at the number of frequencies produced. At this point, we knew we were getting somewhere. But how far could we push it? The answer surprised us. Back to contents 225 we used 256 subwaves for this torture test. Normally, this would be quite a bit lower to allow for extended subwaves taking up twice the sample points of the center frequency. And there must also be sufficient resolution to accommodate the reduced waveform if a lower spectrum value is used, then a higher subwave count is possible. But this composite image clearly shows that Spooky 2 and Spectrum can now easily do exactly what a plasma machine does. Except that Spectrum sidebands are more uniform across the entire range, and stronger. But we still weren't happy. Notice the difference in height of most of the frequencies? We went back and took another look at our mathematical prisms, and discovered a way to tweak them to work with subhertz accuracy on sine waves instead of square waves. We'd successfully produced the range of sidebands we needed, without any fall off in amplitude with distance from the center frequency. But now we needed to see what our altered prisms could do with sine waves, while comparing like with like. Back to contents 226 so we input parameters for the fabled Reif Hoyland sweep. And this is what Spooky 2 produced a center frequency is the Reif Hoyland carrier, 3.3 mHz. We wanted frequency spacing of 25 kHz, so we divided 3.3 mHz by 25 kHz to give us the number of subwaves needed, 132. And we applied a spectrum value of 100%. Now our frequency spectrum is much more uniform in power, from 0-6.6 mHz with no typical plasma fall off in amplitude. But remember, we control the width of the frequency spectrum and the number of bands. So we altered one setting. 
20.00.01.02.03.04.05.06.07.0 EHMHZHI 50% I measured EJ simply by changing the spectrum value from 100% to 50%. We now output only frequencies in the range from 1.65 MHZ to 4.95 MHZ 3.3 MHZ plus or minus 50%. This means that all our power is much more focused in a narrower band. And you can see the hugely positive effect this has on the uniformity of frequency amplitudes. Another world first. Back to contents 227 everything you've seen so far is using single static frequencies. But what happens when you input a sweep? The answer is just about everything. A sweep from 3.3 MHZ to 3.325 MHZ will hit ALL frequencies. If we produce frequencies ranging from 1 MHZ to 2 MHZ, we'll hit the octal subharmonics of ALL viruses. The generally accepted tolerance for frequencies to be effective is plus slash 0.025%. To fall inside this limit, our smallest distance between each frequency here needs to be 825 Hz. This is achieved by using a center frequency of 1.5 MHZ, 128 subwaves, and a spectrum value of 33%. See how almost all the generator's energy is focused on the selected band, making the frequencies more powerful? The awesome power of spectrum cannot be understated. Spooky 2 now has the ability of transmit up to 1024 frequencies simultaneously, each as high as 5 MHZ. And you can tailor the frequency range as well as the number of harmonics you wish to output. This is true multiple simultaneous output, not high-speed digital signal or packet switching. Using the settings above, a very slow sweep from 1.5 MHZ to 1.5078125 MHZ will hit the MORs of all known pathogens. Which brings us nicely to a sweep that will hit the MORs of all pathogens, known and unknown. Back to contents 228 first, here's our initial version of it using a square wave once again, the frequencies are not uniform in power. We should explain at this point that this is because the odd harmonics in square waves interfere with signal strength smoothing. Now let's see the sine wave version all the amplitudes here are uniform, and there are far less power wasting harmonics above our end of range target of 3.2 mhz. But despite this, we still weren't happy with it. Because there are 64 frequencies being swept, and the output voltage of the new spooky 2xm generators is 20 volts. This means that each frequency is allocated an average of just 0.3 volts. So we moved it up to the next level and built a new sweep algorithm that achieves exactly the same results using 16 frequencies instead of 64. And here's what we call the spooky remote sweep back to contents 229 R2.0 1.0 J00 JIII JIII 0 0.0 1.0 2.0 3.0 4.0 5.0 BSW MHZ now the average frequency voltage has shot up to 1.25 volts, delivering four times more spectrum power. But that's only half the story. Because we also engineered our new algorithm to produce matching octal harmonics at exactly the same time, for example, when the frequency is 1604000 Hz, its octal harmonic of 3208000 Hz is also being transmitted. This technique is known to be much more effective than fundamental frequencies alone. Best of all though, it also means that the total voltage applied to every MOR is actually 2.5 volts, half of it powering the harmonic. This sweep uses the Cancer BX virus frequency as its center, and the original spooky remote sweep was made up of six one-hour sweeps designed to run in remote mode for a total runtime of 24 hours. However, the six-hour single runtime made it impractical for contact use that's why we called it the spooky remote sweep. Incredibly, within a few days of its release, we'd already found a way to make this 24-hour sweep run in a little over an hour by increasing the number of wave cycle multiples from 16 to 96, without any lessening of pathogen exposure times. We call this version the Spectrum Sweep, and we updated Spooky2S database specially to make it available. But, as usual, development continued to try to make our sweep the ultimate pathogen killer. It culminated in another special database release that featured the very special spooky spectrum sweep. Back to contents 230 transmitting through an additional spooky remote on out 2 or 1 remote connected to a spooky boost 2.0, this adds a second smaller sweep that, when added to the main sweep, 
saturates the entire frequency range occupied by viruses and larger pathogens. This second sweep is added above in red. Even when run without the second spooky remote, this is still the most efficient pathogen killing sweep we know of. The finishing touch was to re-engineer our spectrum technology so it could create simultaneous ascending and descending sweeps from the same pair of frequencies. The new spooky converge sweep also uses an additional spooky remote connected to OUT2, or a single remote with a spooky boost 2.0. Bottom line these spectrum sweeps overwhelm all pathogens with frequencies, amplitudes, and application durations that meet or exceed all the original requirements laid down by Dr. Royal Raymond Rife. Although Spooky2 is packed to bursting with forward-facing technology and new thinking, the Spooky team is most proud of our newest addition, Spectrum. Without it, the extraordinary Spooky sweeps just wouldn't be possible. For us, Spectrum is the main event, the real power, the star of the Spooky2 show, and our coder extraordinaire John White considers it to be the pinnacle of his career so far. We agree. Now we better explain how to use it. Back to contents 231 the basics frequencies on either side of a set center frequency, or pair of frequencies expressed as a sweep, can be created. The spread of frequencies that will be produced is called the spectrum. The size of the spectrum is set by entering a value in the percent spectrum field. This determines how far above and below the center frequency will be covered by the spectrum, it's a percentage of the center frequency. The spacing, or distance between the spectrum frequency bands is governed by the number of subwaves or the wave cycle multiplier, to give it its technical name. The formula where F equals center frequency S equals spectrum percent W equal wave cycle multiplier then spacing equal FS slash 100 W examples center frick hertz wave cycle multiplier spectrum percent frick band hertz frick spa 1000 to 2800 dash 1200 100 1000 10 2800 dash 1200 21000 10 5500 dash 1500 51000 100 100 0 dash 2000 10 10000 10, 10 28000 12,200 back to contents 232. Appendix C making wave spooky 2 generates 12 different waveforms. Here's what they slash slash vi slash slash sign useful for healing with the gentle rise and fall in energy. Triangle smooth constant power rise and drop off. Mainly experimental. Jewelry fi square normally used to kill pathogens, with almost instant rises to full power. AAAAAAV. PYVVVVW damp sinusoidal used by Dr. Rife in the 30s. Very powerful. H-bomb square world first, square version. Back to contents lily compressed sign with built-in pulsing. R, and what they can do. First, the plane on altered wave sawtooth a smooth rise in power, then an abrupt drop, useful for healing. Inverted sawtooth powerful killer, with an almost instant power rise. 1 fin I M N N N N Yuli L J L Damp Square World First, Extrapolation of Dr. Rife's Damp Sinusoidal. World First, a very powerful new sign. Spooky 2 offers two additional waveforms from the custom waves menu, Colloidal Silver and Square Harmonic. These are designed to be used without any changes, and no frequency addition or modulation should be performed on them, so none will be shown on the following pages. 233 now. Here are the new waveforms generated by adding a second frequency that's three times the first sign add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. Triangle add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. H-bomb SQ add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. Square add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. Sawtooth add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. I and V saw add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. Damps and add F1 to F2 damped SQ add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. F2 equal 3x F1. H bombs and add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. Lily add F1 to F2 F2 equal 3x F1. Back to contents 234 these are the waveforms that result from adding a frequency that's 11 times the first Holland 11th harmonic effect sign add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. Square add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. Sawtooth add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. I and V saw add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. Triangle add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. 
Damps and add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. Damped SQ add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. H bombs and add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. H bomb SQ add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. Lily add F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. Back to contents 235 double side band DSB amplitude modulation. This adds upper and lower harmonics. Frequency 2 is 3 times the first sine mod F2 using F1 MDSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. Triangle mod F2 with F1 MDSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. H bomb SQ mod F2 with F1 MDSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. Square mod F2 with F1 MDSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. Sawtooth mod F2 with F1 MDSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. INV saw mod F2 with F1 MDSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. Damp sin mod F2 watts per Fahrenheit 1 AM DSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. Damped SQ mod F2 with F1 MDSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. H bomb sin mod F2 watts per Fahrenheit 1 AM DSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. Lily mod F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 XF1. Back to contents 236 dsb amplitude modulation again, this time frequency 2 is frequency 1's 11th harmonic the Holland effect viaduct dsbm sine e mod f2 using f1 m dsb, f2 equal 11 x f1. Square mod f2 with f1 m dsb, f2 equal 11 x f1. Sawtooth mod f2 with f1 m dsb, f2 equal 11 x f1. INV saw mod f2 with f1 m dsb. F2 equal 11 X F1. Triangle mod F2 with F1 M DSB. F2 equal 11 X F1. Damp sin mod F2 watts per Fahrenheit 1 AM DSB. F2 equal 11 X F1. Damped SQ mod F2 with F1 M DSB. F2 equal 11 X F1. H bomb sin mod F2 watts per Fahrenheit 1 AM DSB. F2 equal 11 X F1. H bomb SQ mod F2 with F1 M DSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Lily mod F1 to F2 F2 equal 11 X F1. Back to contents 237 single side band SSBAM adds powerful upper harmonics, frequency 1 is multiplied by frequency 2's third harmonic sine mod F2 using F1 M SSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. Triangle mod F2 with F1 M SSB, F2 equal 3 X F1. H bomb SQ mod F2 with F1 MSSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. Square mod F2 with F1 MSSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. Sawtooth mod F2 with F1 MSSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. INV saw mod F2 with F1 MSSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. Damp sin mod F2 with F1 MSSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. Damped SQ mod F2 with F1 MSSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. H bomb sin mod F2 watts per Fahrenheit 1 AM SSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. Lily mod F2 with F1 MSSB, F2 equal 3 XF1. Back to contents 238 finally, SSB AM again with frequency 2 multiplied by frequency 1's 11th harmonic the Holland effect viaduct SSBM sine e mod F2 using F1 MSSB. F2 equal 11 X F1. Triangle mod F2 with F1 MSSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. H bomb SQ mod F2 with F1 MSSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Square mod F2 with F1 MSSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Sawtooth mod F2 with F1 MSSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. INV saw mod F2 with F1 MSSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Damp sin mod F2 watts per Fahrenheit 1 AM SSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Damped SQ mod F2 with F1 MSSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. H bomb sin mod F2 watts per Fahrenheit 1 AM SSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Lily mod F2 with F1 MSSB, F2 equal 11 X F1. Back to contents 239 Appendix D serial numbers when the Spooky 2-5M generator was first launched back in January 2014, 
the auto sync function triggered by the selection of inverse plus sync or spike plus sync wasn't incorporated in the firmware because these features hadn't yet been developed by John White. This was rectified about a fortnight later. However, this means that the first batch of generators built must have their outputs manually synchronized. We have now identified the range of serial numbers involved PN2414001, PN2414018 when these XMs have no autosync function. PN2414082, PN2414365 if the revision node is 2.85, autosync is built in. If not, the generator must be manually sensed. Back to contents 240 my thanks go to. Although my name appears on the front of this guide, the knowledge it contains comes from many sources, without whom it could never have been written. Inevitably, it will contain errors, which are mine alone, and omissions, which you can help correct by letting me know what I've missed so I can include it next time. Your comments are also welcome. My thanks go out to John White for vision and passion Echo Lee for decency and goodness Johan and Tanya Stegman for seeds and fruits the team Millie Banagale for heart and determination Keith Body for wisdom and example Gwen Burley for integrity and will Jason Elliott for constancy and energy Jeffrey Hun for solicitude and helpfulness Jeff Kotcher for grace and fortitude Henrik Lorange for understanding and patience Manuel Malo for enthusiasm and skill Jodron Morgan for insight and empathy Why told Pavlovsky for knowledge and willingness Brian Yamamoto for kindness and dedication John M. Cain for devotion and courage Linda Ray for foresight and zeal Paul Grushka for relentless pursuit of knowledge and truth Synergy 7 for being the YouTube spooky 2 Lone Ranger Peter Karlick for pointing us at Footubs months ago, yes, still coming soon Spooky 2 forum members for taking control and spreading the word you, dear Spooky 2 user for your trust and your spirit back to contents 241 precautions for users HD if you suffered from impaired liver or kidney functions please exercise caution when using spooky 2 for H frequency generation systems should never be used while pregnant HI please do not operate the spooky 2 frequency generation system while driving or using dangerous machinery HD please keep your spooky 2 frequency generation system out of the reach of children 4-H if you feel nauseous, faint, dizzy, or have flu-like symptoms or headaches after exposures to Spooky 2's frequencies, please drink lots of pure water and shorten your future Spooky 2 session times appropriately. 4-H because no electricity is passed into the body when using the Spooky 2 frequency generation system to broadcast frequencies via non-local space remote mode, this system should have no ill effect on the electrical or mechanical components of cardiac pacemakers or internal defibrillators. But, as always when using frequencies, please proceed with care and caution. HD if you do suffer with heart problems, or wear a pacemaker or other electrical implant, you should never attach electrodes to the Spooky 2 system. Please use Spooky 2's remote mode only. HD in general. It's best to experiment with Spooky 2 before about 5 p.m. because the excitation effects of frequencies on human cells can affect sleep. However, depending on the nature of your experimentation, Spooky 2 can be run overnight if desired. HD Finally, when experimenting with Spooky 2 or any other frequency generation system, proper hydration will produce better results. As a general rule, it's best to drink 4-8 pints of pure water daily, half of it before noon. On behalf of all the people who assisted in the development of Spooky 2, we wish you all a long and healthy life. John White and David Burke, April 2014 Back to Contents 242 Legal Notice and Disclaimer The Spooky 2 software and frequency generation system is not approved by the FDA as a medical device. It is intended for use as an experimental electronic device only. It is not intended for the diagnosis, prevention, cure, treatment, or mitigation of any disease or illness in human beings. Neither is it designed or intended to affect the function or structure of any human body system. I, John White, and I, David Burke, make no medical claims whatsoever for the Spooky 2 Frequency Generation System. If you have a problem with your health, please consult a licensed healthcare professional. In the U.S., you can legally use frequency systems like Spooky 2 for testing, energy balancing, life extension, and relaxation. You can experiment using frequencies on bacterial cultures, laboratory animals, and yourself. For what it's worth, 
you still have a legal right to self-medicate under the Ninth Amendment of the United States Constitution. In Germany and South Africa, as well as some other nations, frequency devices are legally licensed as medical instruments. Please note that neither I, John White, nor any of my associates involved in the design and development of this system, are responsible whatsoever for the use, abuse, or misuse, intentionally or unintentionally, of the spooky two-frequency generation system or any of its component parts due to any circumstances beyond our reasonable control. In any case, I, John White, or any of my associates, shall have no other liability by using the spooky two-frequency generation system, you, the user, understand and accept that you have no expectation of curing any ailment. You also understand that possible negative physical and or mental effects, unknown to John White or his associates, might result from the use of the spooky two-frequency generation system. Moreover, you intend to undertake only responsible experimentation, and you voluntarily accept all responsibility for the use and application of all frequencies generated by the spooky two system. Furthermore, you agree that you will not hold John White or Associates responsible for any consequences, whether harmful or otherwise, that may occur as a result of using the Spooky 2 Frequency Generation System. Back to Contents 243 Spooky 2 Software License Although the source code is John White, this software is free, and has been written for the greater benefit and knowledge of all mankind. You are actively encouraged to pass it on freely to everyone you know, as long as it's accompanied by this document. Back to Contents 244